might as well turn that off. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this of the day. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, I'm actually really excited to play The Evil Within 2. Uh, for those of you who don't know, The Evil Within is a really good uh, sci fi I wouldn't say sci fi. It's more of like a like a science fiction thriller <clears throat> mixed in with horror, but the first one was really good. Thank you for clicking on the video. This uh, I do all these live, so uh, well, majority. I don't think I really do a lot of um, videos non-live. Now that I think about it, I, I, I don't do any videos. I should. It's easier to do videos. I can edit them at my own leisure. I don't have the pressure of being live all the time. Maybe I'll change the format. But for today, the format remains the same. Big Chungus. What's up, man? Hope you're doing good. Blue. Hope. Hope you're good. And you had a good Easter. Yeah, Easter was good. Easter was good. I even took another day off. I think it was... Uh, so we did Easter. Came back. <clears throat> had a lovely time. And then... I streamed for one day as soon as I came back. I think for four hours. I said hi. And then the next day I took off again just to, to relax. We did some grocery shopping. We did a bunch of stuff. Took another day off. I think that was on Monday, Tuesday. I think, I think maybe Tuesday. But it was good. Yeah. How was your Easter? What did you guys get up to? We had a uh, huge... We had actually Portuguese... Uh, chicken, we we got stuff from a Portuguese place, I think. Yeah, yeah, and rice, and uh, it was it was good. It was good. It was definitely different. The potatoes were nice. Everything was pretty good. Um, the chicken was good too. All in all, it was it was a, it was decent. I've never had um, Portuguese chicken, so or maybe I did, but it's been a long time. I probably have, but not too often. But yeah, that's what we had, and it was good. Yo, what's up, George G? How you doing, George? Have you played The Evil Within two? Because now it's the second part. So, uh, those of you who don't know, obviously, smash like, smash subscribe, do whatever you want. We have member stream on Sunday for all the members, all the people who support the channel, want to see the longevity of the channel. Uh, that is the time when I chat the most, everybody. Today, I'm just waking up, so I'm having a coffee. Um, I slept well last night. I woke up at 8 this morning, and then I went back to bed. I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning, started watching Angry Joe review of Battlefield 2042. And also, I was watching the Gears of War, all Gears of War cutscenes, honestly, like a movie. Uh, back, like, I had the Gears of War stuff on my TV and Angry Joe on my phone. And I was up at 8, 8, 8, 8 in the morning. I was like, well, what else am I going to do? Uh, eventually, I was cuddling with my son. We were chilling. God, I love, my son is so cute. He's the cutest little boy. Uh, so cuddling with him. And then, uh, and then I, uh, my, I guess my girl was there. She took him away at one point. I must have fell asleep. Oh, you know what it was? Oh, I know what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Anyways, so yeah, there, there. It was fun. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Uh, just chilled. You just chilled, blue. Nice. Very good. I gotta drink, drink this coffee. I've been wanting to drink it. Ah, yeah, I'm just waking up. So. I didn't do anything with my family on Easter. I'm antisocial. Long story. Yeah, it's okay. I, the only reason I do stuff is for the kids. Really big. If it was up to me, dude, I'd stay home and play video games. Honestly, the only the only holiday I genuinely like doing stuff for family time is Christmas. Just because it's like it's cold. There's snow. You know, you get you get all this nice stuff like chicken and stuffing and presents and like all the sweets and chocolates and. Um, just the, the overall vibe and atmosphere of Christmas. I like the colors, all the lights. Uh, that's like my only holiday that I genuinely like. Like Halloween's nice as well, but now the older I get, everything's going to be more for, for the kids. So it's like rediscovering all the holidays again. You know, Easter is more for like the egg hunt, the scavenger hunt for the kids to see their face light up and all, you know, my niece and nephew, right? So it's all that kind of stuff. Uh, hope you had a good drive. Yeah, Blue, I did actually. Thanks, brother. Yes, thank you for asking. Um, I did have a really, had a really good drive. The weather was really nice. We stopped off. There's this McDonald's halfway, which is kind of like uh, a staple of what we do now. It's, it's almost tradition. It's two hours to the McDonald's and then two hours to my mom's house. So four, four hours, sometimes four and a half hours, really, uh, or five, depending on traffic. So we stop halfway and uh, we grabbed, what did I grab? I grabbed like 20 nuggets, dude. And I don't get McDonald's too often, so it's a, very, it's a special treat uh, to stop off at, um, at McDonald's. We got like 20 nuggets. Like I think I grabbed three, three cheeseburgers and a, and a tall root beer the first time. And then on the way back, we grabbed 
they had these Cadbury Cream Easter uh, McFlurries, so we had two of those. And I think I grabbed one cheeseburger on the way back. That was like three days after, four days after. But, yo, the ride was good. The ride was good. George G, love you, bro. George, how are you doing today, George? And there's Gertrude, my main man. Dude, we were having fun, fun on Battlefield yesterday. The game's intense. I love it. Yo, uh, Gertie, I was watching the Angry Joe review for Battlefield 2042. It's so funny. I never realized how bad that game is when it was when it first came out. Like, a lot of the stuff they have in it, it's cool. But can you believe that when the game first came out, they didn't even have leaderboards? Like, there was tons of stuff. Glitches. Uh, it's crazy all they fixed. Uh, I, didn't, I never got to experience that because I never got it at the beginning. But, um, yeah, I, I uh, there, there are some things that Angry Joe brought up that I was like, yo, true. Because the game was the game was suffering for some other things. It was a fun enough game. And I had fun playing with you and, and Groupon Code and... Uh, Magnum Sun, like you guys are always great. I could throw rocks at a tree with you guys and still have fun. Um, but yeah, man, Battlefield 2042, like yikes. I don't know what they're going to do after this series. I hope they go back to the kind of the original format with like, you know, engineer, uh, medic, assault, like kind of stuff like that. But yeah, dude, I hope you're doing good. Uh, did some stuff around the house, mostly tidying and scooping kitty, kitty poo. Short Gertrude, a very interesting dude. Sounds smelly. Uh, Dustown, no, I haven't played Evil Within 2 yet. I might have to skip your playthrough, actually. Yeah, yeah, don't watch today, George. Don't don't watch it. If you, I don't want to spoil it. Don't watch the stream today. Just smash the like, donate $50,000, and then get out of here. Because I don't want you to uh, spoil your experience of uh, the Evil Within 2. No, seriously, like you shouldn't watch. I don't want you to spoil it. I want to see you play it. Or play it eventually and then have a have a brand new experience i've never watched anybody play it so it's important if you have a decent relationship with your family to do things for the little ones yeah 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 i mean yeah <laughs> yeah it is sounds like sounds like where i'm at dust it's an hour north or south if you want anything else other than subway and mcdonald's oh yeah an hour north or south oh an hour to even order it I we don't see the thing is I don't like to order a lot of fast food because you get into a lazy mindset of just ordering things all the time and then next thing you know you're like 600 pounds with asthma and angry at the world. Um Reason Dixon, let's go baby. Freaky Friday is back. Yeah, so sorry about last week. No diddy, <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> Reason's good to see you, man. Uh I haven't seen Angry Joe for a bit, but I know it was terrible when it was these. Oh yeah, Angry Joe's good, man. The game is not the video. The game is not the video. Yes. Yes. Werewolf, good to see you. I don't know what you're talking about. The game is not the game, not the video. Oh, you mean to your last statement. Yeah. Werewolf, I hope you're doing good. <coughs> I might be getting a little sick. But, yo, I'm really pumped about The Evil Within 2, man. Like, The Evil Within 1 was really good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that game. This is going to be great. Carlito. Carlos, smash that like. Thank you, Carlos. How you doing, Carlos? If within one was a good time, though, I didn't know if it was going to like it at first, but then I guess like, the evil within is Resident Evil 4 2.0. It's it's a it's a much more refined version. The evil within one is a much more refined version of Resident Evil 4 mixed in with its own storyline. But the mechanics, the feeling of the game is very Resident Evil 4. It, it took off after Resident Evil 4 success. Uh, and it and it did a great job with it. So there's there is that thing going on with the Evil Within. The storyline, little bit little bit complicated. Uh, obviously not as easy to understand as Resident Evil Four, um, but uh, it's still a good time. You know, it's still a good time. Now you have to drive an hour north or self. Yeah, big chungus. That's what that's what I I thought you were saying. You have to drive an hour north or self for fast food. Yeah, I mean you could do that. I'm I'm pretty sure what you'd probably have like. A, Uber and Just Eats, and you'd be paying a lot of money to, to order some of this food, a substantial amount of money. But a lot of people even, I mean, that's, I don't even know if they will deliver food if you live an hour away from a from a place. But a lot of people tend to get into, regardless of uh, going to eat fast food, like going to Domino's or ordering pizza or wings or uh, McDonald's hamburgers or whatever. A lot of people just order stuff because it's easy. And I don't want to get too much. Obviously, it's expensive, which is one thing. Like, we did it the other night. <clears throat> Remember, we were talking about, yo, honestly, I, I got KFC the other day, and I didn't, like, bro, I had to put the KFC in the air fryer for it to even taste good. We got KFC that was, like, 
50 bucks. I think I spent 50 bucks. And if we would have ordered this KFC, which I told Toasty because we were leaving for the week. I didn't want to have any groceries in the fridge because we were gone for four days. So we cleared out everything in our house, right? And make sure we have nothing, no milk, stuff like that can go bad. Um, we ordered, we checked the price to order KFC. Dude, it was $70, which was ridiculous. We went to go and pick it up on the way back, actually. So when we came back from Easter, yeah, we stopped into uh, to KFC and grabbed KFC. And it like it was fine. Decent. I don't know what's with Toasty though, bro. She didn't even grab gravy. Toasty picked the meal that didn't have gravy. I was like, "What are you doing with your life, bro? How are you going to to KFC, which we shouldn't even rightfully be there? How are you going to KFC and then you don't get the bucket meal with the gravy on the fries, bro? It's like eating the desert in my fry, dude. The desert was sprinkled on my fry. It was so dry." I was like, how do you eat KFC fries without gravy, dude? Anyways, it was 50 bucks for the whole thing. But we got like a two liter. <clears throat> we got like macaroni salad, which is pretty good from KFC. And uh, fries and popcorn chicken, which is such a waste of money. I don't know. Popcorn chicken. So such a waste. It's just like breading. Anyways. Yeah, people who, who buy KFC and don't get gravy, like, phew, dude, I don't know what to say. Uh, you, you're crazy. Uh, played the second, not the first one. Gertrude for this one? Ended up trading one of the South Park games for it. Wait, what? For the Evil Within? You played the second Evil Within, not the first one? Reason says, what's up, Blue? Werewolf, I hope you're doing good, man. I thought I hope I said hi to everybody. Uh, see, I like, it. I like when I play games like this too, guys. Instead of like shooter games where I can actually talk to you guys. Because when I play like... Playing Battlefield, like, I'm not chatting to anybody in chat. You can't chat to people when you're playing. Playing, um, what was the other one? Sniper Elite. You're not talking to anybody. You play a game like this, though. It's a little more chill, so I like that. I like I can actually see everybody and make sure you guys are doing okay. $70 for KSC for ordering. Yeah, Mad Mad Max. That's soggy. It's like 10 pounds here. Is it like 10 pounds? For a whole box menu, though? Like I think it was like, it was like 10 pieces of chicken and stuff like that. Lost my first three bets. Oh, Groupon codes at the racetrack today. Yeah, yo, wish you luck, man. I thought it was his fucking uh, birthday today. And I was like, yo, happy birthday, man. He's like, it's it's tomorrow. It's Saturday. So, guys, remember to uh, to send if you don't have Groupon uh, on Discord, whatever. Just tell him happy birthday now, so he can't say you never said happy birthday or that you don't care about him. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gertrude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Uber Eats or DoorDash here. My little town is too small. Oh, that's good. That's good though. Big Chungus. Trust me, you don't need it, man. You don't need it. Trust me, dude. And then it makes it more special when you go out and you get something. Eh, it's nice. Uh, happy birthday for tomorrow. See, there you go. Blue, blue nose. Uh, Urza, what's up? How you doing, Urza? Just done almost uh, there to 3K. Yeah, yeah, almost 3,000 subscribers. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Urza, how you doing today? How's your day going? Yes. KFC is only worth it if they throw in one of those McCain Deep and Delicious Cakes. I don't think they do that anymore, Gertie. I think they have like their own little things. But yeah, that used to be kind of cool. That used to be fun. Uh, Mad Max says, what's up, Blue? Blue says, what's up, Urz? Gravy is definitely one of the best parts. I usually get the mashed potatoes and either chicken chicken sandwich or regular chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't usually get the mashed potatoes um, from... Actually, I don't even know if they do it in our area. I'm going to be honest with you. Because some of the stuff in the States are different. Reason Dixon. Like... Taco Bell in the States. Um, you're from Florida, right? Yeah, you're from Florida. So Taco Bell in the States, at least, I don't know. I was on West Coast. I mean, yeah, I was on West Coast. Um, they, they, did, they don't have French fries at, at the Taco Bell in the States. Where, where we're from, they have French fries. But I don't know. Do we have... I don't think we have biscuits either uh, at our KFC. And I don't think we have mashed... Gertrude, do we have mashed potatoes? We must have mashed, mashed potatoes. Or maybe, do we even have biscuits either? I don't even know. Gertrude probably might be able to help me with this. I don't go there too often, but... Um, yeah, gravy is definitely the best part. Chicken sandwich sounds nice too. Just regular chicken. Yeah, you gotta get like... You gotta get the regular... You gotta get regular chicken, gravy. I mean, if you want either mashed potatoes or... They used to have these like gravy bowl things where it was like sweet corn... Potatoes. They did have mashed potatoes. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, gravy on top of it. And that was that was okay. I think they put popcorn chicken on it too. Don't knock popcorn chicken, dude. It's the only thing worth buying at KFC. So here, Mad Max, popcorn chicken is very bready. 
maybe over there they do it differently, but over here it's like it's almost like they changed it. It's like bread now. It's this is not the same. It's all right though. I'm, I'm not knocking it. Like I wouldn't say I never eat it, but um, why waste the money, man? Like why? You know, it's mostly bread. Even the chicken I got was like bready. It was just wasn't the greatest. But that that's what you get when you order KFC. But anyways, I took the chicken and and heated it up in the air fryer because it was like. Bro, it was literally like soggy. It wasn't crispy. I was like, what the fudge? What the fudge? Happy birthday, group on. Yes, give him the love. Give him the love. Why am I missing all this chat? You guys are talking too fast. Okay, so Gertie played the evil within two, but not number one. And I ruined it for myself. Thanks a lot, at Gertrude. What? <laughs> Gertrude, you silly dude. Uh, does sound doing all right. Thankfully, no overtime work. Uh, caught a cold, though, and my voice is gone. Other than that. I just devoured McDonald's spicy chicken wings. Oh, they have chicken wings for you? We don't have chicken wings. That's amazing. Yeah, I have a cough too. I don't know. Let me see if I can activate it. <coughs> no, it was worse earlier. I had a really bad cough this morning. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I'm talking now. Uh, Urza, I hope you feel better though. I hope you feel better. And that's awesome. So where you're from, um, I guess you're in the Philippines, right? So they have spicy chicken wings there. We don't have spicy chicken wings. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I know they have potato salad. Yeah, no, the macaroni salad at, at KFC is top tier. Honestly, anything other than I don't do the col I don't do the slaw, I don't do coleslaw, I don't do potato salad. Uh, it's all about that macaroni macaroni salad, dude. Yeah, Groupon, take care, dude. Take care. Blue says, hope you get better, Urza. Uh, oh, I'm chatting shit. Been a while since I've been to KFC. It's like 28 for the family bucket here. 28 pounds. For the family bucket, yeah, fries and like a like a two liter Pepsi or whatever. That's actually well, I mean, it's similar pricing to me, right? Because fifty Canadian is like, you know, twenty five uh, English pounds. Makes sense. Different countries tend to have different menus. No biscuits in Florida would literally be be illegal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We I don't think I don't know Gertrude. Do we have biscuits? I don't know if we have biscuits. That's making me want to take a drive an hour. Oh, shit. My bad. It, Jungus, honestly, it wasn't even that. Like, it wasn't. It's just, I'm just explaining because Blue Blue and I were chatting about how the drive was and how everything was. And, yeah, we went there. We got McDonald's because, like, we don't treat ourselves too often. I mean, we do. We save a lot of money and uh, we, we get a lot of good food and make food at home. Like, yesterday we had a beautiful, she made a spaghetti yesterday. We had spaghetti with ground beef. She put in a bunch of seasoning. Uh, it was really, really tasty. She even put, like, mozzarella cheese. She, it was weird. Toasty has a weird thing with putting cheese in her spaghetti a certain way. Not like me. Like, I use Parmesan on top. I sprinkle Parmesan on top. That's that's the most I'll go. But she has gotten me used to, like, sh she says her mom used to do it. She'll take the noodles after the noodles are cooked, and she'll sprinkle, like, yesterday was mozzarella. Like, good mozzarella, too. Like, good, good one. Sprinkled it on and then put the sauce on top of that and let it like melt in. And it's pretty good. Like it's not bad, but you know, it's just different than what I have. So we, we usually eat meals every night. Like we were going to make beef stroganoff. <laughs> we're going to make a bunch of stuff, but yeah, um, KFC is pretty good. It is pretty good. Let's just quickly skim by here because we got to get started. Um, thanks for the early birthday wishes. Birthday wish is for Dust Town to play Control. I could check it out, but you know I'm going to be honest with it. Groupon, I'll play the game, and I will literally point out every single flaw with Control and why it's an it's a subpar video game. I'll do it, man. I'll play it, and I'm going to tell you every every single thing. Everything You want to listen to me go critical, go ham on this game, and tell you why Control is not worth your money, why Control is a, is a waste of time for a consumer base, for a product that came out when it came out. I will do it. I'll tell you. It's a waste. Jordan Deason, good to see you. I hope you're doing good, Jordan. How's your day today? Uh, watch you play most of it, if not all of it. Oh, Gertrude, for the first one, did I ruin it? Yeah, I don't want to ruin it for George D. So, George, I'm going to be starting up here. Yeah, Philippines is limited time. Uh, they're releasing the chicken wings. Very yummy and crunchy. Quite addicting. Oh, yeah, chicken wings. You can't go wrong. I'll need some for my, for my cold to wake the sinuses. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Yeah, Urza. Hell, yeah. I See, we don't have chicken wings here. That's awesome. I love some of this stuff. I want to, I want to try, like, a... In certain places, you can get a chicken Big Mac. Like, just crazy cool stuff. Gertie says, uh, happy birthday to Groupon. 28 for a 10-piece original recipe. Eight hot wings. Four mini fillets. Mini fillets. Four signature fries, which is 48 Canadian. 
Uh, ten pieces. Ten pieces. Okay, eight eight hot wings. See, we don't have. I don't think we have wings. Four mini fillets. What's a mini fillet? I'm just curious. Four regular signature fries. Okay, that's that seems forty eight. Yeah, like forty eight Canadian, fifty bucks. Yeah. George D, thank you for the two. Uh, I still owe you. No, no, I was just joking. George D, I was joking. Hey, dude, thank you for the two dollar donation. <laughs> He's like, I still owe you $40, 40, $49,998. Dude, thank you very much for the uh, $2 donation. Get some love for George G in the chat. Okay, so um, if anybody doesn't want to watch this playthrough, which, like I said, George, you know, totally. I would do the same thing. I would I would not watch the stream if I wanted to play it myself. Totally understandable. We're going to be loading the game, and we're going to go through it. I hope you guys are having a nice day. Uh, I'm just waking up, so just mind my tiredness. And uh, we're going to get through this here. I have to skip by some comments. I apologize. But I do I do quickly see what all of you guys are saying. Um, KFC won't get me today. Nice. Big Chungus, my man. Um, Asher, good to see you as well. I don't think I said hi to you. Hell yeah. I didn't miss the beginning. Yes, we're just we're just warming up now. We're just getting started. There you guys have a fun stream, everyone. Yeah, George, man. Thank you very much for the two, dude. I appreciate you. And uh, let's let's start to, let's start the game, shall we? I'm very excited, actually, man. The Evil Within one was good, so I have high expectations for this game. George, you know I love you, man, but I do it. It's for the best. If anybody uh, wants to play this game, I'm I'm totally just leave the stream, play it at your own time because I don't want to. I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil the game for you guys. I don't want to spoil the game. This game has been out for a while. But yes, I don't want to spoil the game. Uh, I I believe I believe in the sacred sanctity of non-spoiling games. I do. The sanct sanct the sacredness. Mini fillet is like boneless chicken. No wings. The KFC. Where are you? I don't know if we have wings. I don't I don't I don't think we've ever had wings. Uh yeah. What do they sell? They sell like they sell chicken tenders, like chicken fillets, chicken tenders. Uh, they'll do like chicken burgers. They'll do chicken, popcorn chicken. Dude, I don't even think we have wings. No, I don't think we have wings. Gi Giant Colonel Sanders heading off. Stickman body. What? Head of a stick. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Gertrude, we don't have boneless nuggets. Boneless nuggets or tenders? Do we have boneless nuggets? I know we have popcorn chicken. I've never even seen boneless nuggets. I have no clue. Guys, oh, here, let me put on my stupid youtuber voice guys welcome to the live stream i hope everybody's doing wonderful today thank you for clicking on the video my name is markiplier and this is the evil within two suck my balls let's play <laughs> i'm having so much fun <laughs> no, i'm just joking the mini fillet is a chicken tender yeah yeah we have those we have those we just don't have uh we just don't have chicken wings i don't think we do <laughs> Marky Moo, it's Markiplier. Wait, it's Markiplier. All right, let, I, I clicked on this the other day, so hopefully all the settings work good. I'm just going to go right to new game. Hopefully the audio is fine. Okay, what the hell is that? Even a single hit is deadly. This ultimate challenge is not for the faint of heart. Akumu. Won't work again while playing this difficulty. Skills that directly prevent you from dying will not work while playing on this difficulty. Wow. <coughs> this is Nightmare. Why would I play on Nightmare? It says recommended for players who enjoyed the difficulty of the previous game. Yeah, well, what difficulty did you play on the previous game? Because there's three difficulty difficulties. For those who want the basics of survival horror experience, keep an eye on your resources, approach situations, cautions, and don't get overconfident. Yeah, I'm going to play on survival. Uh, aim assist disabled. You know what I mean? Tragic fire kills family. Okay, this is taking place off of uh, Lily, I think her name is. That's our daughters. That's our daughter and our wife was an ex-cop. So I think that's going to be the forefront of this game. What's the guy's name? Mr. Castellanos? I, dude, I don't think we have wings. I don't think that KFC has wings where I'm from. <laughs> that has a picture no. of the colonel, yeah. No, this is not <laughs> happening. Uh-oh. Our house is on fire. 
A house is on fire. Oh. Can I use my controller for this game? Oh, I can. I can use the controller. Maybe I'll use the controller. Oh god, Lily! A. What? That's gonna be hard. P on the fire. Damn it! Put it out! Smash! That's making me use Xbox Lily, controls. I don't want to use a controller. It's giving me Xbox oh, control tears. vibes. I want to use mouse and keyboard. I don't like that. Because if it's forcing me to use How did this the happen? symbols, uh, it makes me mad. No, it's not A. It's E. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that it's forcing me to do, uh... I'm coming, Lily. Just hold on. The symbols. It should be, like, X. Like, it should be recognizing it's a PlayStation controller, but it's not. And that's gonna confuse me. I'm, I'm worried. I'm here, Lily. I'm here. See, when I stop... Okay, there we go. I gotta, like, shut off the controller now. So now it's regging. Okay, that's fine. Minor inconveniences. That's my bedroom. Where's her bedroom? Damn it, where is she? Dad, where are you? I don't know, I'm trying to find you, girl. Oh, this is clearly your room. Lily? Come on out. Lily, where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. You weren't here for me, Dad. <laughs> what? Turn off Steam inputs under controller options on Steam. It will show PlayStation prompts. Oh! No! No! I think you're wrong. Let's, let's try it. Oh my goodness. I think you're wrong because this game only showed uh, Xbox under the controller tab. It only showed Xbox when I was trying to adjust the controllers. Did you see her face, man? This house is on fire. Dude, did you see her face? Pretty sad. Hello, Sebastian. Kidman, what are you doing here? It's been a long time. It has. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. How does his voice sound different? You thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. I don't... Is that it? I don't know. And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. Find her at you the bottom of an empty bottle. He's in a bar, so he kinda, it kind of worked. What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But oh, he didn't my. have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. <laughs> I'm here because of this. Something Lily drew? Where did you get this? Whitey, thank you for the 16 months, brother. He's still alive. Yeah, doing good. How you doing, Whitey? How was the, uh, what was the last time we chatted? You did some date. You did a date with the girly. And you got the new car. How's everything going, dude? Lily How's the car running? dead. I read the police report. I was at her funeral. We can rewrite history if we want to. What? Staging a death is child's play. What? Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. 
We need you to help save her. This is a twist. Save her? What are Craig you Craig Weaver, with? yo, it's Craig Weaver. What's up, Craig Weaver? Get your hands off me. Why does his voice sound different? Did they recast his voice? Oh, shit. Oh, you just got tranked, dude. You're done, though. Come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. The controller's vibrating. I gotta try this thing Max is telling me about. I don't know. Lily needs. They do kind of look like Agent Smiths. Yeah. Well, they pumped us full of drugs, and now. We're going right back in. He is not that good. He does. He's not that great at not getting Nothing. drugged up. Oh, not You're again. Awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Pepsi Cola. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. What? So this is the Almighty Mobius, huh? Who's pushing Careful me? Why am I strapped say. down again, don't dude? Don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Pepsi. Hashtag White Walker. All your answers yeah, baby. Right here. Uh, look what it is. It's the STEM program again. Wait, they still got the people Beacon inside? The mental hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. Who, who's, who's brains in the thing? What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. Lily Castellanos? Innocent child. Why would you choose my child? What is going on? You connected Lily to that machine? <laughs> Your daughter is quite special. Oh my the god, most stable dude. Core candidate we've Ever What's going on, man? Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix. So we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I don't like this guy already, I man. I am providing you an opportunity. He hasn't slept for decades, look at his raccoon eyes. Wait, again. which guy? This guy in the suit? Or Ca Mr. Castellanos? Something you thought you failed to do before. I got baggy eyes. Oh, this you guy's got some... I think my eye bags are worse die. than his. He doesn't know what it's like to stay up Church late choice. playing video games. The guy in the suit. Yeah. He's not a gamer, though. He only has... I am I ruined the world baggy eyes. He doesn't have either late night video gamer eyes. It's worse. Dude, you're strapping in, Good dude? Luck, Sebastian. What are you thinking please, helping these people? Try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. Ugh. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. Can it's I at least right. see my Fun daughter? Myself. Like, is it her brain? Just remember to call is it her the burnt body? So What's going on with this game? Process. I'll be out here for you. Doesn't make any sense. They're kind of just kicking off the story. Like, yeah, your da your daughter's in there. You don't get to see her. And someone else will be in there for you. Oh. Uh, Are you ready? My wife. No, maybe not my wife. But my wife, my wife went missing in the last game. Apparently, she's, apparently she got too close to the truth, and it was with this guy. So they know more about my I'm wife. Definitely. Dude, this is not this is not a good idea, man. This is not a good idea. 
This is not a good idea, dude. You should not be doing this. Well, first of all, you never even asked about your Stand wife. It's just... Three, two, oh, God. Here we go. One. All right. I got to read White Walker's comment after this cutscene's done so I can get a break. Car is on order. Uh, should get in the next week or two. Vicky and I have been together for eight months now. Things are great. All apart from 150 mile round trip to hers. She's worth every mile. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Whoa. I'm, I, I'm happy to hear it, Whitey. Yeah, I'm happy to hear it. Ooh. This is kind of a cool entry thing. I, I've never seen this before. That's kind of cool. Psychological horror thriller game is great. Oh, man. The, the way this one's starting off, it, it's... It makes me question things. The Evil Within 2. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's go. The, the first one was really good, so I'm holding this. I'm going to hold this to high expectation. The intro is definitely... Um, knowing what we know after the first game... Is this... Uh, where am I? Hold left to consume stamina. What did Max say? Max, where are you? What did you say to do? Max, where are you? Come on. I need you now. You you said to go into the Steam games, the controller settings. So go into settings. Go to controller. What did he say, guys? Enable Steam input for Xbox controllers. What was it, Max? Enable Steam input for generic controllers. Enable Steam input for Switch Pro controllers. No. Guide button focuses Steam. Uh, I don't know if you'll need to restart, but go to Steam. Go to controller options. Yeah, yeah. Disable controller options. Disable. There's a bunch of controller options, bro. I'm in controller. Look at all these controller options. You have guide button focuses. What? PlayStation controller support. Enable in games without support. No, right click on evil within. Oh, library. Okay. The evil within two. Okay. Properties. Then controller. Uh, Axel, what's up, man? This game is not... This gameplay is top-notch? It better be. Better be, Axel. Yo, you lost your membership. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nobody's buying any more memberships, Axel. Channel's dead. No more memberships. Uh, so what else? Use defaults? Disable Steam input? Damn, I know, dude. What is it? Disable Steam input? Enable Steam input? I've never used this one before. You're going to wait? Good man. Good man. Good man. It's the last thing I do. It's the last thing I do. Thank you, bro. How was your day today? Axel, how was your day, man? Use, use the default setting drop down. Default. Use default setting. Okay. Turn it to disable. Disable Steam input. Per game override. Really? Disable Steam. But I don't know why that seems wrong. I don't think it's going to work. Now you're saying I might need to restart the game? Okay, now the fucking controller is not even working. Let's try this. Exit the application. Fuck! Oh, apparently there's a cloud sync thing. Okay.
works in some games, not all. I don't think it's going to work, man. Because when I go to the options for this game for controllers, it only shows Xbox controllers. And I don't think it's working right now. We're trying to we're trying to get... Okay, the controller works for this game. But all the prompts are in Xbox. Like Y, A, B. And I use a PlayStation 5 controller. So that's not going to work for me. This is a PlayStation game. This is a PS game. So it should work. I think Dustin needs to trade in that PS5 controller again. I don't like the Xbox controller, man. I like the feel of my PlayStation 5 controller. Now the controller's not even working. Yeah, I don't want Xbox icons. It's not even... The controller isn't even working now, dude. Straight up. It's just like signing into your EA account yesterday. These are things you kind of wish you knew about before booting the game up. Play it for the first time? Yeah. Yeah, it's not working. The controller isn't even working. Look, and if you go to options and you go to... Controls. Or was it? Button button assignment. See, I chose type C. But if you go to type A, it's like Xbox controller. Type B, Xbox controller. Right? So it's designed around the Xbox. Like, why would it just show... You know? What are you going to do? Go turn it back on. Yeah, I guess so. What the hell? Where is it? Why is it? The fuck? Properties. There. There we go. Controller. Enable general settings. Right. Mostly playable with controller. This game is playable, but show incorrect glyphs required a key keyboard at some points. Ah, see. Look, it even says here. Using Steam input translation. This game is built in controller support for some controllers, but not yours. So we're using Steam inputs to translate. So. Official even. Yeah. So it will not show. It even says it there. It will require a keyboard. Baked into the game. That's stupid. It came on PS4. Yeah, but apparently in the PC version. You can even go and, like, you can try to find other, like, community layouts. There's not even any community layouts. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, shit. I'm, oh, you can't see what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this screen. So, like, you can you can find the better controls within. DualShock 4, left trigger, soft pull. Less dead zone on right analog stick. Evil Within 2. Config. Gamepad. Okay, so we do have community layouts. Touch menu, okay. So these are like controls that the community will give you. But if you look here, you require multiple console controllers. Yeah, yeah. It says here, controller, mostly playable with your controller. This game is playable, but it may show incorrect glyphs or require a keyboard at some points. Right? And you click on keyboard settings and it shows you it supports like the PlayStation 4. This is PS5, so it doesn't really support my controller. But it's not even that it's the fact that the layout i'm using the official layout for with the gamepad uh this template is for games that already have built in game supported intended for dual stick games okay that's fine right but the thing is is i there's no way to change see a b x y right and those are automatically layered as a b x y there's no way to like switch the mapping so so you know what that means we're not uh we're not gonna play with uh we're not gonna play homie don't play that homie don't play that shit i never seen game show that before oh yeah yeah uh george g showed me that on the la on the when we were playing Heavy Rain, uh, Heavy Rain had some had some weird bug with the PlayStation controller, and we had to like use a community um, modded controller setup. Mind you, only have PlayStation Four and Xbox controller. Uh, could be as yours as PS Five. I think 
It is. I think it's because it's PS5. Because it did show it supports a PlayStation 4 controller. But I don't know if it would change the glyphs or the symbols. I don't know if it does. Anyways, we're taking really long to get this. Your DualSense controller isn't supported by this game. Steam inputs. Okay. Yeah. It's, okay. It's bullshit. If you guys are around tomorrow, want to smash out some Battlefield 2042? If you, Gertrude and Magnuson, want to team up on squad, you can yell at us more. Um, Saturday's usually my day off, Groupon. Uh, I mean, yeah, we could. I, I would like to, but I can't guarantee it. When, when am I ever going to have time to put my penis inside buttered toast? It's not for Saturdays. Funny how PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controller input could be so different for a game. See, the thing is, I can't really test it, though, Jordan. I don't know if PlayStation 4 symbols will will they, they pop up because that doesn't make any sense i don't know it's just weird um i would like to play some some games battlefield 2042 um i just wish battlefield 2042 was better i gave it a five out of ten it's still a good game but it's dude it's not battlefield material like it's not it's not it's not it's not battlefield in my opinion it's like a weird hybrid mix Dude, this controller's bugging out. Like, shut this shit off. How do you shut off a PlayStation 5 controller? Does anybody know how you just shut it off naturally? I have Battlefield 4. I think I do as well. Do you guys know how to shut off a PlayStation 5 controller? You just hold down the power button for a certain amount of time, throw it out the throw it at the window. I just want to shut it down, like I don't need it anymore. Does anybody know how to do that? Can one of you gamers help me? Come on, gamers, throw it through the window. How come you guys are all saying throw it through the window? That's not how you do it. Come on, what's the actual way? Unplug it and put it in the bin. Steam fully changes the icons displayed in games. Just hold the PlayStation button down for ages. What? So, so you're saying Steam does change the the thing? Got to switch from phone to PC at the shop. Okay, yeah, okay, it's off. Nice, thank you, Max. See, Max is smarter than you guys. You guys are all fucking stupid compared to Max. Max is way smarter than all of you guys. That's why I like him. Um, Jordan Disa, I love you. Uh, see you in a bit. Get that, get that transfer over. Craig Weaver's like, oops. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Oh, make sure we're on the right screen. Yes, we are. Mad Max with a big brain. Wait a second. We did all this. Didn't we? What? No. No. That autosave no, feature didn't work that well. Happening. Can we save it ourselves? Dude, why didn't it save here? You're telling me I gotta rewatch all these cutscenes? Guys, come on. What happened? Oh, God, Lily. What happened, guys? Damn it! Yeah, man, Steam will change the icons on pretty much all games I've played, but as Lily, I said, I don't have a PS5 Where controller, just likely why it's not done that for you. Just, just too new for Steam? Uh, possibly. I don't know what the issue is. You would expect, though, that it's the same symbols. Like, you would expect if it displays for a PlayStation 5 this that it would, you know, it's just weird. But what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Some games, I've been finding a lot of games nowadays. If you don't have an Xbox controller, you're like chop liver I'm coming, on Steam. Lily. Just hold on. Well, I guess it's PC gaming in general. I mean, I just, I just, I don't know, man. I like the feeling of, of the PlayStation here, 5 Lily. controller. I'm here. I like the feeling. I think Xbox controllers are a little too bulky for me. Lily? Come on out. 
<laughs> I just skip. You're awake. Good. Yeah. Sorry, we kind of gotta watch this Great. over again. Where are we? I like I like the PlayStation controller. I'm not a big fan of uh, one of, our facilities. of X. I mean, I'll play it if, if, if Xbox is the only thing I have. Then yeah, I will play it. Be careful about what you say. But other than that, you no. don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. Oh yeah. Wait, does Xbox not have the uh like the Beacon Mental Hospital incident? Microphone built into the controller the and touchpad? Setback. They don't have that? But we use the, the Xbox Elite doesn't have that controller. Why why would they do improved stem system? You can only use these features with the PlayStation games. What does yeah. this have to do with yeah, my yeah, daughter? Yeah. Imagine it. Millions of minds huh. connected together. Oh. I've always been more into PlayStation. Happiness for one. Like, I, I like Xbox, all. and I think Xbox is fine, but I've always been this more... Machine, I've always liked having a PC and a PlayStation, whatever, the newest one. To achieve I've always thought that was be like better combination because you get a lot of Xbox, Microsoft stuff, so you have your PC for that. Enough to support thousands but uh, of nowadays, nowadays it just mind. seems like you have to have everything. Sorry, why am I watching this? and skip this. Nowadays it seems like you have to have everything. Skip. Okay, we're here. Finally. Long gone are the days of getting callous buildup on your thumbs from the NES D-pad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't really, you don't really do that anymore with, uh, now that we have analog, um, controllers. Is this... Where am I? I guess I, like, don't have a stamina gauge? Dad, help me! I'm coming, Lily! Dad! I know it's hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No! I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. What the hell is this place? Detective, we've got a call. All units, all units, 1199, exploit cover code 3, Beacon Metro Hospital. I remember that. Oh wow, Mad Max, that's it? That's interesting. They didn't really go the full distance on the controllers. Huh. After Mad Max describing how shit the Elite controller is, and then Gertrude's like, I'd like to get an Elite controller, but damn, they're expensive. Mad Max is just like, it, <laughs> just describing how utterly worthless it is as an actual piece of equipment. What? And then Gertrude's like, you know what? I'd like to buy one of those. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> like the worst hangover Sad. ever. All right, Don't Gertrude. Worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. All right, man. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to make Daddy. communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? As a cup. I'm if that's cup. the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Couldn't have cleaned it up in my self-conscious? God damn. <sighs> PS5 controllers, despite a lot of the features not working on PC, it's nice to have them from odd games. That does work, yeah. I'll buy that for a dollar. 
Daddy. Let me drew this picture of me. So wait, there's an Just Elite 2 controller now? What does the Elite 2 controller have? That's better than the Elite. My first commendation. Feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. So now we're getting a little bit more into our cop. Uh, man, he had a really big office, dude. Crimson University. Oh, it's a uni. What did I take in university? Bachelor of Science and something? <sighs> Bachelor of Science something justice. It's not really rendering that well. Maybe it's because I had the graphics. I put the graphics settings to high, didn't I? Film grain zero. This is the advanced controls. Advanced settings. These settings have serious impact on performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Motion blur quality. I didn't want any. Well, I disabled all motion blur. Everything else is on ultra. T A A F X A A. Okay. Wait. T A A F X A A. What's the other anti aliasing? F X A A T A A. Oh, the combination. Uh, it's kind of old anti aliasing. But this is the best we're going to get quality wise. It actually doesn't look too bad. I'm going to be honest. But uh, I don't know how we're going to get more. Criminal? Is that what it is? Criminal Justice? Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice? Yeah, maybe. Asha, you're probably right. I, I just can't see it. It's not... Yeah, you're probably right. Criminal Justice. The only difference in 1 and 2 is that 2, you can pull all the buttons off and stick out the replace and everything. Oh, comes with some alt buttons. Oh, that's that's not really the, the selling feature. Fix the drift on my Xbox One controller. Maybe change the shell out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's kind of nice. One sec. My mic was messing up. That's kind of nice. You can, like, pull out the charging case. Why do I hear a... Is that my child? Oh, that's a cat. cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. What the fuck's up with its eyes? It sounds like a, a baby. It sounds like a child. Yeah, literally. It's, it sounds like my kid. I was like, do I hear my son? Looks like it has, it looks like it has buttons for eyes. What is up with your eyes? Why are they red? Why do you have red eyes? What? Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school. Photographic slide, a relic from a pre-phone camera era. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. Can be viewed using a slide projector in Sebastian's room. It's a cute cat. I don't know why its eyes are red, though. I don't know who it is, because it's got to be something. I, I, it didn't come from my imagination. Oh, God. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. Bullshit. You would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. <laughs> Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay. Gertrude, I don't know what I you're going to use. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never Damn. had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved Oof. and lost. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. What is this, a tit for tat thing, Kidman? You stole my daughter. I don't even know if she's alive. I don't know if you have just her brain. Bro, I don't even know if her body survived. How did her body survive a burning? We In the first image we have of our daughter, her skin was, like, gone. It was disgusting. 
Oh, I mean, it happens, right? But seeing her in that image, oh my gosh, there's brain goo in this game again. The cat's hooking us up with that brain goo, baby. Green gel, it's gross, and it usually comes from dead enemies, but if you collect it, you can obtain increased abilities. Thanks, kitty. Who is this cat? Maybe the cat's like my wife. Or maybe it was like the gift I was gonna give Lily or something. Oh, I love I love cats in video games, man. They're so cool. Yeah, the eyes are red though. Why are the eyes red? It's very cute. Anyways, we gotta leave it alone. Don't judge the cat for doing what he has to do. Take care of its anxiety. Oh, yo, the cat's eyes are red. He's, yo, you've been you've been smoking the catnip, haven't you, kitty? I forgot you damn cats like to get high. Where's that catnip? He's smoking it, Reason. He's smoking the catnip. Because you know you don't have none of that marijuana in here. This is an officer. This is a law office, man. I have none of that Mary Jane. <laughs> He's relieving his anxiety. Oh, what do we got here? Save terminal. You used to save progress at any time. It can be found in the safe house in Sebastian's room. Okay, that's kind of new, I guess, right? Before, you used to have to... New slot. Chapter 1 into the flames. Okay. Kind of cool. Charge up my... Oh, okay, it acts as like a charge thing, too, so that's kind of cool. I see they've um, they've sim symbolically got rid of the mirror. Or for some... Like, the mirror is down. So it's saying kind of like, ah, we're kind of done with that idea, I guess, Maybe. I don't know. How do we get out of here, though? Something, something was weird. Something weird has to happen, right? Unless we dive into like the projector. Is that what we do? That's indica catnip. Sativa catnip. This game gets really effed up. I would assume as much. Yeah weird because like I don't really know what to do here there's no real exit it's raining outside okay we did save it right right we did yeah we saved it Is there a phone call that comes through? Do we have to like go back into our office maybe? That cat is super cute. Red eyes, so weird. Not finished it, but there's a reason I don't like playing games like this myself. Yeah, some people don't like horror games. I just, I don't understand it. it I love them, like I, I live for this shit. I love creepy stuff. Oh, here we go. Investigate. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? The STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really interested in you, you Kiko you Hoffman. Team Medic. Yes, you Kiko Hoffman. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. Ooh, baby. She's 32. Right up my alley. Julian Sykes. Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. Yeah. Liam O'Neill. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Wait, you're telling me that dude is 31? He looks like he's at least in his 40s, man. The guy did not age well. Baker. 
13. 39? He looks pretty young He's for 39. He's the guy I should try to find first. William Baker. Harrison. Combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. Okay. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need mm. to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. So I, I guess I gotta suspend my disbelief for a bit because like how did we get oh, in if the know. core is down? They can put Looks people like in, they can't take them out, it's just weird. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. <laughs> Looks like it red. Doesn't seem like you've got much control this <laughs> time either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. Just like you told he me. He looks like you red you from that '70s show. Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's try to do some detecting. He's just trying to get his foot out of the ass of Mobius. Okay, so we, we checked out all this bullshit. That's fine. Union, we understand. Apparently we can get inside the core of whatever this is, but we can't get out. We searched all that. There you go. That fucking cat is still going crazy. I swear, that cat's going to trans transform into some weird shit or something. I don't know, man. You know, like, I can operate this projector again, I guess. Okay, finally. Just, just like, like beacon. beacon. Yes. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? I don't know, man. Your memory is <sighs> fucked, bro. Here we go again. Yeah. Into the looking glass. Ah, hey, bright white lights. White bright lights. Oh no! They're setting me up for. Oh, there's Lily. What's wrong? My doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you all right? I've got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? I don't know what that shot was supposed to establish. No, that scene was supposed to establish. I'm not too sure about that, but okay. okay I'm far from the mirror. And I'm... Is this no way the back. Right place? Movius is a hell of a project. What a hell of a project, man. It's just weird. Like, okay, so... Are they trying to say that I'm naturally, like, crazy or something? They didn't really touch on what happened in the last three years that she was he was trying to find Kidman. I'm just trying to p piece everything together from the last game. Where we left off in the last game to where we are now. Um, and these weird flashbacks and stuff. Okay. What the? OK, 
Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. That was that was really cool. So I have no weapons. No weapons yet. This game will make you naturally crazy. That is, it almost seems like they, they were trying to foreshadow our... Oh, what the hell? 102. It's like they were trying to foreshadow... Um, or give us some, some background reference to the fact that we were getting delusional. That's what our wife said. I don't even know if that was a real... 102. Hey, that's room 102. William Baker. That's the team leader, isn't it? Oh, shit. What the fudge? Whoa, that's cool. Oh, V to toggle flashlight. Kind of creepy. <sighs> what the hell? Oh, I don't think Victor's, uh, or Baker. It's one of the search team. Baker. Yeah, isn't that the team leader? Oh. What is the significance? Okay. Oh, this is super weird. Okay, um, let's investigate. Why, why is it doing this? This is weird. Okay, he got shot in the head. It appears he got shot right in front of the head, like in the, in the center. step into what's going on here what what is that supposed to oh the team leader one bullet straight through the head okay Uh, a lot of blood everywhere. Okay, brain particles everywhere. Okay, you can just go into the. What the heck? Okay. Okay, it's kind of messed up. Um, so what's the? The whole camera thing. It's it's a very interesting scene. What's the whole camera thing about though? The music is very uh weird. I'm probably gonna get copywritten for that. Maybe. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay. Well, he's definitely not having a good time. Let's see if we can help him out. Uh oh, music's done. But he has briefcases. What are all these briefcases? Investigate. Obviously, you can move it. There's a door Someone right behind to it. Block the way out. Or in. Or in. Operate. can't re-block it once it's done. I'm curious to see what's in this room, though. Real quick. Um. 
Oh, files. One out of 40. What of William Baker? Baker, the search team leader. He was frozen in time when I found him. This must have been taken by the camera right by him. But how is this even possible? <sighs> Don't know. Uh, AD to turn over. There's nothing. You can zoom in on the mouse. What a crazy shot, though. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Who's responsible? Is this... See, it's weird because is it part of my... Construct of this world? Or, like... It's like a world within a world, right? I mean, the only thing that I have constructed, I guess, with my mind from what it seems is my safe, safe room. Everything else is up to speculation right now until we know more about it. Pretty creepy, though. What do we have down here? The pacing in this game is very slow to get you started. In the last game, it kind of bumped in a little bit more. Whereas this one... Um, I don't know what they're thematically trying to do. Uh, it's obviously building tension, but let's see how that tension, like, let's see how creepy they can bring that tension. Okay, phone call. Manuela Roberto. That's somebody that wasn't on the team, Manuela Roberto, right? There's only one female on the team that was you. Manuela's a f female name. Manuela Roberto. I don't think they were on the team. <clears throat> well, obviously, we're going to answer the phone. Hello? Who was that? Hell if I know. Is there somebody back there? Is that... No, it's just a light reflection, isn't it? Yeah, it's just light reflection. Okay, we're gonna have to head upstairs. So, some, one of these people, or one of these things, like, it's a photographer, right? Or it's trying to tap into that? Because it obviously has a theme of photography. It's a staple theme. Decrepit, morbid photography, but photography nonetheless. What's up, Gertie? I ever watched a movie called The Cell with Jennifer Lopez, Vince Vaughn, and Vincent Donofrio? That's what this reminds me of somewhat. I do, don't think. The Cell. No. I thought that movie was with somebody else. The Cell. I thought that was with like. Denzel Washington or something. I don't know. So I can already tell that the pacing of this game compared to the first one is it's not really that good um, straight up like they're waiting too long to get you it's just way too long okay more files okay uh, extravagant leather letter sorry applicant SV congratulations truth seeker Thank you for taking our spiritual acuity test. We're pleased to welcome you to the next level of knowledge. Please report to the nearest MU center with this letter to ascend from probationary applicant to the position of MU disciple. This letter guarantees an ex exalted position at the next cleaning cleansing ceremony. Handwritten on the back of the envelope lies all lies. Yeah, pretty much. No emotions, hey buddy. Uh, movie from 2000, so it's definitely aged. Yeah, Alpha Wolf, good to see you too. 
I'm married to Kidman. Death, what's up? I hope you're doing good. Kidman is nice. A nice character. Very slow pacing, though, to this one. Compared to the first, the first one started off very interesting. You're, you get a call dispatched to a, to a uh, hospital. You go inside the hospital. There's a bunch of dead people. You're like, what the heck's going on? And then you see this guy, and it's established like the enemy right at the beginning. In this one, it's just like, yeah, walk around this weird place. Oh, well, that was good. Oh, hey, Damn that was pretty good. That was that was all right. Okay. What's going on here? That was the first little. It's good. It was good time. Well timed. Well timed. Okay, that's closed. Can't open that. No broken glass though, eh? That was the first jump scare so far within like 20 minutes of playing the game. I don't know how fast they expect you to run through this place. Who was that, by the way? That's weird. I guess they're kind of leaving a lot for the imagination, which it really does. Really, really does. Your first like at 1 a.m.? Good. Good job, man. Keep smashing those likes. Got to keep hitting them. What the heck is that? That's a tough one. Got to keep hitting those likes, baby. Let's push through this again. Light just went off. Hello? How was your day going today? No emotions? Who's that? What the hell? Took a photo. Okay, this is the guy who's... What was that? Shit. Um, entering and exiting cover. Space. Enter, exit. Cover icon is display. The cover icon figure one will be displayed when you are facing a valid... Okay. Okay. Can I not? Who the hell was that? I don't know, man. I guess he went out through the door, but... So it's W. Okay, how do you jump from cover to cover, though? Is that not an option? You can't, like, go from this cover to that cover? Why would they even show an arrow, then? What's the fucking point? Oh, space bar. Right, is it space bar? It's kind of glitchy. Kind of glitchy is, yeah. And Alpha Wolf, how are you doing today, man? Death, I don't know who that is. Death. Oh, it's this guy who comes by every now and again. <laughs> His name's Death. We know him well. Spank that like button like a good girl. <laughs> what the hell? How was your day today? Uh, it's barely started though with having to restart and all that you probably have been playing for like 40 minutes Yeah, about yeah, maybe about 40 minutes or so um, but I'm just comparing it to the last one reason the last one you start off It's just puts you right into the, the it's, it just throws you into the story and it's it's nice Whereas this one they've taken more of a they've taken much more of um of a story uh, Breaking down a story approach you can already tell it's very broken down Like they want to, they want to make sure that you, you as a player are uh, kind of like ensconced into whatever this their narrative is. Just trying to figure out how to like the cover system is a bit weird. Let's say I, okay. Like why does it pop me out so far? It's kind of weird. This goes around. That's cool.
See how it like pushes me back? I'm just trying to get this cover system down, Pat. That's super weird. Okay, that's new to the game. Obviously, it's going to be more stealth focused, but it's still new to the game and it just feels weird. Do I not get another? I guess, obviously not. It's only on the back of here. See how the arrow pops up? You press spacebar, right? Just spacebar. And then it, boom, it puts you over again. So, okay, I think that's pretty cool. I'm doing all right, Alpha, yeah. Going all right, jumped off Warzone to jump in here. Nice, no motions. Yeah, Alpha, I'm doing good, no motions. That's pretty good. It's a super evil spirit using kinetic energy and power from people's souls to be this powerful. I have no clue what you're talking about. Uh, no motions. So far, he's a guy with some weird aura around him that takes photos. All right. If I find out that you're spoiling shit, I'm going to be so fucking mad. I should put no spoilers in the, the ghost you just saw. Bro, stop telling me things about the game. The guy I just saw in the suit is there was no fucking ghosts I saw, bro. Because I don't know that because it hasn't been established as an arc. I'm going to ban you. I swear to God. I'm going to have you on fucking watch from the moderators. Keep opening your fucking... Keep running those little fingers across your keyboard. All right? Stop it. Just like the search team. What happened here? So he totally got fucked. I guess we're not doing anything. So he locks him in a prison. Prism. With that camera. Yes, no spoilers. See, this is the reason why I don't read chat. No emotions. Because stupid shit like that. When people say like, oh, he's a ghost. He's like, he's a fucking ghost. I don't know he's a ghost. Now I'm all pissed off. You've ruined it. You've ruined my day. My day is ruined. What else we got down here? I don't know what to do with that guy. I gotta find a way out of here. For real, dude. Did you hear about Brian Menard the other night? He got uh, 705 gifted members. That's his record now. He got 705 gifted members. Wicked, dude. By like an individual? That is a lot of gifted members. Because you can only get 50 at a time, right? Wow. Good for him, man. It's not a spoiler. The last game was the same thing with a crazy spirit. It literally is. Stop trying to justify it. No motions. You've just if if he if he turns out to be a ghost, you have spoiled it. All right, stop spoiling it. You did you tried to do the same thing in the last game too, where you're like pre pre leading and telling me information that I'm not privy to yet at this experience with the game. If you keep doing it, I am going to have to ban you for the session of playing the game. That is literally how it's going. And yes, it was a spoiler. Regardless if it's true or not. I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear any insinuations, maybe ideas. But if you've played this game before, do not spoil my experience of playing the game. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I got told on his second stream. Yo, wicked, dude. That's awesome. Yes. If I find out that guy's a fucking ghost, I'm going to be upset. Manuela Roberto. Yeah, now this is opened. Oh my god. What the fuck? Can't open that. Definitely a slower start than first one. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Could be a game with a slow start. Once it gets going, it doesn't stop. 
I haven't seen it though, so I'm just guessing. In comparison to the first one, it's it's definitely a bit more of a slower burn, which is which is not a bad thing. W and E, W E to climb. Yeah, it's not it's not a bad thing. I'm just comparing it to the first game, right? Photograph of another victim. This is a Mobius uniform. Uh, well lit and, and focused. Looks like a gun was used to shoot him in the head. Oh no, dude. It's another dude. Dude, are all the Mobius members? They can't all be dead. But it's seeming very much like that. Okay, all these doors are locked. Why? You can't unlock them? Very strange. That's pretty creepy. That's a lot of blood in there for it to be all over the... But either way, we can't do much in here. This new cover system, I'm gonna have to get used to that. I have to get used to that cover system. Okay, this door is now open as well. The phone is off the hook. Oh my god. That was a giant eyeball. I don't think we want to go down there. I don't even think we can go down there, even if we wanted to. It's fine by me. Cover system is glitchy. It really was. Yeah, dude. I noticed that right at the beginning. I was... Oh my god. It really is kind of glitchy. I was practicing the first time they introduced it uh, by the couches. The first time you see that guy, I was practicing it, and uh, it was just really weird. I was like, "What the heck's going on?" It would send you to other places that, like, it would push you past where you said you wanted to go to. Ugh, heads. Yeah. What was that sound? Kind of creepy. I don't know if I should keep going up. Uh, I mean, I guess I can't. Oh. So that guy is definitely... He definitely has the vibe of... Um, what's his name? Rivik? Rivik from the last game? I think that's his name. The guy who could just, like, teleport everywhere. Rivik, I think his name was. So he, he, they're trying to establish him to be kind of similar powers from what it looks like is Rivik. But I have no clue who he is. Let's, let's see if we can like go from this cover to here. Okay, that worked pretty good. I'm gonna have to mess with that a little bit. I mean, I like the artistic, like, weird, crazy, weird approach. I want to know, like, whose mind this is or what, what's this all about. Oh, man. What is that stuff over there? That looks cool. What is that? Oh, that looks cool. What is that? Oh, my goodness. What the heck? Oh. Christ. Yeah. Very weird artistic... Okay, that door opened up. No, it wasn't opened up before. Very strange artist. Rebirth. Oh my. Like roses coming out of their head. That's super cool. Like honestly, like art wise, I mean, I know it's disfigured and really weird and messed up, but also kind of cool at the same sense. I was calling him Magneto. Magneto? Magneto? I don't think he controlled anything ma magnet. <laughs> I mean, you could call him Magneto. <laughs> Sometimes you'll hit cover and it'll launch you. Oh, I hope I don't get into that, dude. I really hope it doesn't launch me. Girl, that's going to piss me off. Uh, Walking through a really bloody tool video. Yeah, kind of, right? Okay, we got one entranceway here. Definitely a slow burn at the beginning of this game, which I don't mind. I mean, I don't mind it at all. 
compared to the first one though the first one was like bang you're in there the hospital what the heck's going on super crazy going through the basement wake up you know where am i you know you get knocked out i guess like rivik was in the real world and then ah oh, there's just so much of a mind fuck that's going on here there it's it's a little bit more digestible because you know more about the game so it's harder to pull tricks on you so i think they're going to rely a lot more on jump scares and uh creepy environments right like they've been doing they're just going to rely heavily on environmental um fear so it's going to be like puzzles and just weird stuff in general running probably i'm gonna have a running thing coming up soon more than like the oh my god yeah weird creepy environments just because it's more of a slow burn it's more psychological it's more oh god that's so fucked up You're telling me i gotta go through these people yeah, okay something's gonna happen here This eye symbol. Whoa. Wait, what? Uh. Hello? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, the old trick. I've, I've seen these in a lot of indie horror games. They use this trick. Super weird. You know, they could have at least attach the ropes to the freaking pipes up there. Instead of just dripping them from the ceiling. I guess they didn't expect people to look, but... Little details like that. Weird, man. Really weird. I don't like that at all. Whoa! Oh, shit. Okay. So whoever it is, he knows we're here now. Did he lock us in some chamber? No. What's his goal? Who is that guy? Okay. He knows we're here. I feel like he locked us in somewhere. That's my photo, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. Yo, he did a good job, man. The hell? That's a good photo. He's a really good photographer. I mean, I understand he's twisted. Who the heck was that lady in red? Oh. oh, hello. Well, you, you're our first. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to sprint. Uh, I figured they'd do that. Yeah, I figured they'd do a running one. It makes, it makes the most sense for a slow burn style of game. To run from something like this, because... They haven't really given us a lot of, um, I think it's E, yeah. They haven't really given us a lot to be afraid of, so a running sequence is perfect. So they're establishing her as a, as a character. Shit, I'm trapped mm. in here. Uh, it does look like you are, yes. Let's oh, climb. Not. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be a running scene. Kind of cool if you could look over and see her busting through the... It's kind of a wasted experience. I would, I'd like to see her. Okay, so this is... They're probably going to try to... Mess up our day in, in this tunnel. God damn it. What the hell is that thing? I have no clue. It's not slow. Pay attention to the art. It helps explain what's going on together. Uh, I, I, I highly doubt that. I think it is... I think it's a slow burn. And the art is just a, a matter to to make you aware of how fucked up this place that you're in. The rebirth thing is, is the only art that could be descriptive so far. The, the pictures on the wall and everything like that. That's just to, to get you into the environment. The only thing that's slightly interesting is the rebirth thing. That has some symbology, but other than that, it does not. And yes, it is It is slow. It's a very slow burn at the beginning of the game. In comparison to the first one. This is the first bit of actual action we've had. It's like walking through a really bloody... Oh, I already read that. 
Now the game takes a complete left turn. Rebirth. That's the art I was talking about. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of stuff, obviously. But, like, there's art everywhere. I mean, from the red drapes to the to the paintings, you know, all that stuff. I wonder what the uh, control is to... Is it tab? What was it in the last game? Wasn't it V? No. B? C? X? There's no wheel in this one? I'm trying to bring up the, uh, like, the prompt menu. See if I can heal. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh oh. <laughs> well, at least I got a knife now. Guys, like straight up helping me. Kind of helping me. And now I'm just totally out of it. So obviously the guy, that what guy, the fuck is going on here. That guy wants us to see something. He wants us to visually see something, like what's going on here, or what he's been through, or whatever the case may be. The fact that he threw us a knife is really, um, you know, obviously he's trying to help us out. So he's he's he wants us to. To experience whatever his thing is. He wants us to see something. Hence the photography. Hence all the art. It has meaning, right? So he's he's obviously fucking deranged. Um, but he, he wants to use us to, to see whatever the fuck's going on. I don't know why. Maybe um Maybe because Lily's in here. We're gonna have to figure out if and he's uh he's loving he's loving Lily and he wants to be like, Oh, I saved your father, Lily. You're the chosen one, Lily. We want to rebirth you. Who knows? She's kind of sexy in a in a demonic sort of way. Same woman from the last game. Yeah, the last one had a bit more of a weird, creepy vibe. I thought they were gonna. I I the way I f pictured all the enemies in the in the last in the first um, Evil Within is they all had some kind of um, connection to. Rivik, Rev Revik, I think his name was. So the 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 burnt the lady who dies from fire, uh, with the black hair and like the arms, you know, the creepy lady, that was his sister, right? Because she's vulnerable to fire, and his sister died in a in a barn fire. Um, what was the other one? There was like the man with the bag in his head. Uh, I I there was the the two headed weird creature. I thought that could have been the parents. Like, I, I found that there was some symbology behind the enemies that you were fighting in Rivik's head. So, but this one, there probably is as well. I, d I just don't know if it's if it's as noticeable uh, right now. Okay, there we go. We got a medical syringe. So, how do you... Mouse 3 for arsenal items. Mouse 3? What's this? Oh, middle mouse button. Oh, that's a bit different than the last game. Yeah. Not explained, but Hollow explained this game on it. Oh, Hollow did? That woman looks exactly like the one from the other. If you look at their faces and put them together. Oh, okay, yeah. It's not proven, but they look like twins. Oh, I, I, who knows? I don't know if there's any... I'd have to beat this game um, in order to, like, break down how some of the monsters in comparison to... Because in the last game, we were pretty much playing in... in I think his name's Rivik. I can't... I think it's Rivik. I, uh, somebody's got to confirm it. But we were playing in like Rivik's world, in Rivik's imagination, which was AKA that kid, whatever his name was, Eli Elliot or whatever the fuck it, that kid's name was who became, right? So we were playing in his kind of domain. So all the creatures, all the, the symbology that we were seeing was him, uh, you know, his torturous past and everything like that. Journal and abandoned house. Uh, the hand and writing in this journal is neat and precise. The final entry reads as follows. Just got a call. Now I know the reason for all the weird shit that's been happening the, the last few days. It's it's the worst possible scenario, but at least I don't have to pretend anymore. The things I've seen, they've all changed. It's too late to save them. 
It's time to put my training to practice. May God have mercy on their souls and mine. Interesting. The most interesting part is the handwriting in this journal is uh, precise. Neat and precise. And who writes neat and precise? Women write neat and precise. So who wrote that? <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. Could be correlation between the story. Oh, the good eye, good eye, bro. I never seen that gun just hiding under that book. Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. Okay, we got a Colt, I think. It looked like a Colt. We got an 1911. Um, there could be some symbolic or Maybe some right similarities place. between those two. I'd have to to check them out and really take a good look. But either way, in the first one, I know that was supposed really? to kind of represent his sister. At least I felt it I was. I didn't I didn't go too in-depth with it, but it made a lot of sense. Photo of the Castellanos family. This photo, uh, I thought it was lost in the fire forever. I remember when we took this, Lily's breath smelled like cotton candy. Aw. Mira never looked more beautiful. Aw, see, that's nice. That's a nice touch. That's a what nice touch. Kidman. <clears throat> Sebastian, Barbara has gone. Been? Where have you been? We lost you. I don't know. I've been on an adventure. Sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here, doing things that are... It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you <laughs> gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Oh, it's definitely uh, no emotions. It's definitely not the same game at all. The whole pacing of the beginning is different. It's like, um, it kind of reminds me of the plot line so far to uh, Megalodon or what, what the Meg with uh, Jason Statham. Like in the first Meg, he escaped the Megalodon. And then in the second, they tried to drag him back in to help him rescue, you know, his loved ones. Like, I'm not going back in that ocean to save that. That, that girl. It's like, but it's the girl you love. Or it's the people you love. It's like, damn it, I guess I gotta go. I'm the only one that can do it. You know, it's like that kind of, like... It's way different than the first one. Uh, so people saying it's the same copy-paste. Like, obviously, they're retarded. It has so much more of a slower burn. Um, it's different. Already at the beginning, you can tell it's different. It's more refined, too. Like, a lot of the, the menu and stuff. Very much Resident Evil refinement. Capcom. Natural occurring plant with medicinal properties. This is a component that can be used to craft items. Okay. Yeah. If you if if people think this is a copy and paste, it's not. I believe personally, I like the starting to the first one though a bit more than this one. But I'm liking this. It's cool. Now we do have a pistol. Uh, let me see. Oh, tab. We can open up our tab. Oh, we have a map now. I don't remember a map in the last one. Was there a map in the last one? Missions. What is this? Something not quite right. Search the Mobius search team members with STEM. We're leading on Lily. Okay, I guess it's over there. Safe house. Huh. Okay. Files. Pretty nice UI. Not not terrible. Very simple. Chapter one. After three years searching Mobius, Sebastian has given up hope until Kidman arrives. Doesn't mean Lily's trapped in STEM. She re That's so weird, too. The fact that he didn't even ask to see, like, her brain or her body. In one of the visions we had, her body was completely burnt and, like, the skin was melted off her face. And then, apparently, she's just in this tube thing here. Like, it's got to be her brain, right? And he knows that. Like, why didn't he mention it? It's so weird. It's so weird. Fake Illusion, what's up, brother? How you doing today? Sharks and demons, yeah. I think part two is better. You think part two for this game is better? I'm going to check it out today, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm playing for like eight hours today, boys. So don't worry if I'm uh, if I'm just chilling. Like you know, it's not gonna be these kind of games. I do whatever I want, really. That's how it goes. You're you either sit here and watch me or don't watch me. <laughs> I mean, either way. Um, how do I bring out? How do I hotkey? Can I hotkey? Okay, there we go. F1 for the pistol. Beautiful, beautiful, easy peasy. Nice little UI. Okay, we got. Why does it look like it's? Semi-automatic handgun. That's that does look like a Colt, but in the picture it looks like a Glock. You guys see that? <laughs> the mini picture looks like a Glock. Mm -mm. 
aiming movement, everything is, is the same, but the rest is way different. I prefer this one because it's more stealth strategy. You can tell there's more emphasis on stealth with that new mechanic, right? With that little arrow mechanic. Now, hopefully that doesn't screw me over. And we can find the flaws with it. Oh, there's a bunch of flies in there. That's crazy. Oh, my. Oh, poor son of a bitch. Left here to rot like this. It's pretty crazy, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, that stealth mechanic. Don't worry, Sebastian. It's, it's just a What do you mean, just a tip? Down. It's strat based? Yeah. What do you mean, Sh like strategy based? Isn't everything strategy based, bro? It's kind of a vague way of putting it. No emotions. E literally everything in video games is strategy based. Hello. Hey. Yo, she is not. She is not right in the head, yeah, dude. You've heard me. Yeah, she did. Trust me. Better but she, you don't want to hear her. So in the last game, melee was kind of useful, especially if you got an axe. I don't know what they're going to do with this one. It's definitely cool to have a, a town, like almost Silent Hill, like they go into this town. Hello? Easily you shouldn't hit cover before you have to. It's buggy. Also, moving from cover is annoying. It bugs out and they're, and they're covered. We're, we'll, we'll go through it and develop it as we play. I'm going to be utilizing the new cover mechanics. Very Resident Evil. Resident Evil 7 vibes, eh? Resident Evil 7 for sure, dude. For sure. Oh. I said eat. Resident Evil 7. That's so cool. I never knew. That that was kind of inspired via this game. What the? Shit! Oh, you missed, bro. Oh no 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 no! What are you doing, man? What's that reaction time, brother? I better not be short three rounds when I exit this cutscene, bro. Or else I'm gonna be mad at you, Mr. Castellanos. I had six rounds. I better not have three in my magazine. Strategy based, I say this because you have to think through many things way more in this than the last. You can't rush through certain points. I I can't agree nor disagree because I haven't played the game. Uh, yeah, like, I can't even agree or disagree with you because I'd need to play the game to determine that. No emotions. So that's something that you would be, you'd have privy information to. Because you've played the game. Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is Aim like high, Willis! Here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. Dude, you don't even know if Lily... Like, you didn't even ask the questions. Is Lily even alive? Is she a person? What's her skin looking like? Is she deep fried or crispy? Like, is she baked or, you know, air fried? I don't know because you never asked the question, man. And the last time we seen her, man, she was like super burnt. Super burnt, man. <sighs> He's like, I'm going to find her. It's like, how? What are you going to do, man? Oh, poor fella. This game was out before Resident Evil 7, right? How many bullets left? Three. So I didn't lose any bullets after the cutscene. We good. Everything's Gucci. Nothing is real. It's all an illusion. Everything's permitted. Nothing is real. 
So there's no more burning of bodies? I found that to be a little, um... <sighs> it was good, but I, I never got to experience what it was like not burning a body. Is there no more burning of bodies in this one? No more matches? It was a, it was a kind of a cool little feature, but unnecessary because I never got to experience like a body reanimating and coming back stronger or anything like that. In the last one, at least, uh, I've never I never seen it. I mean, I used to burn them for fun, but that was pretty much it. I would I would have liked that for that to happen. Maybe they'll do it again. Who knows? Let's see. Gunpowder. It's a component. Okay. Oh, I guess this is an area where you can take cover and hide from... Uh, is there hiding in this game again? No hiding. Well, maybe not here. So they've removed a couple features from the last game. I, I, I mean, I think they have. So I guess what you were supposed to do is instead of like before you would think run to this and hide under here but you were supposed to come upstairs and then hide back here then wait for her to you know you would save ammo that way if you really wanted to instead of fighting her here you would run upstairs and you would save ammo okay and there's no burning of the bodies i didn't see anything else that guy I can't kill over there so interesting so it seems like two features they've gotten rid of at least so far, but I don't know if that's the case. I kind of like burning the bodies, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put it out there. I think that was a cool feature. They don't get back up in this one. The other one, they get back and attack again. Uh, I didn't get that to happen to me until I played it on harder modes, easy modes. I, I think they, yeah, I think I had them get up. I don't remember. I, I played it on survival mode. I think the last one, which wasn't the hardest. Uh, but I don't really remember them getting back up. If they did, it was probably just, like, easy. Because you remember in Resident Evil, right? The original Resident Evil 1. When you would kill a, a regular zombie. And you would leave them without burning their body. Because that's where the original idea comes from. Is Resident Evil 1. So if you left them there, their body would come back. And they would be, what is it called? The Crimson Red. Obviously, there's correlations to Resident Evil. Capcom, this game. The city is named Crimson City. Right? Whatever. There's, there's correlations. It's, it's very similar. Um, so in, in Resident Evil 1, if you didn't burn them, they would come back as uh, uh, Crimson Heads or whatever they're called. And they were just, they had huge, they were super scary. They had huge claws. They were all red. They were fast. Um, and that didn't, I, that didn't happen in this one. Or in the first one, sorry. That wasn't even a thing. Uh, which would have been kind of cool, but I guess it's Resident Evil idea. There's only so much you know creative liberty you can take but that was that was scary man if you remember in resident evil 1 if you didn't burn the bodies it was like torture melee attack breaks crates deals minor damage oh okay ah we just auto pull out our knife that's cool that is cool oh god it takes forever to pick stuff up <gasps> The first one, they will get back up unless they don't have a head. I got it, yeah. The thing is, is uh, when they got back up, though, they weren't stronger than they were before. Whereas Resident Evil 1, when they got back up, they were stronger. Yeah, they don't mutate. Which, which made it even more incentive, you know, to burn them. Whereas in the last one, it's like, yeah, okay, they get back up. But you just do the same thing, you know. You just smack them in the head a couple times. Oh, I can climb on top of this? What's the point on that? Climb. So wait, you're telling me there's a car sitting here with the lights on. You walk up to it, and the first indication is to climb the vehicle? Why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't I get into the vehicle? I can't drive the vehicle? Is there opening? Grayson. Uh. Okay, maybe climbing the vehicle is a good strategy when you're getting overwhelmed with zombies, I guess? I don't know. We're glad you're here. I bet you are. I like the little crows on top. That's a nice touch. Yeah, I like that.
The the minimalistic HUD design is very nice in this game. Whoa. What now? I have a feeling we're like missing bottles of goop everywhere. Hey, that's, uh, Red. He's trying to get his foot out of- O'Neal, yeah, he's trying to get his foot out of all their asses. Oh, no, watch out! Oh, you got dead. Oh, O'Neal's alive, though. How come O'Neal gets to live and that guy dies? That guy's way cooler than O'Neal. O'Neal's a bitch. Mobius members. Oh. Some of them are still alive, then. Damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. But those things are everywhere. Need to get in there and squeeze that guy for info. Stealth kills, okay. Yeah, definitely now it's stealth. That chick was my first opportunity. I didn't think she would, uh, she would wander off. I hope she comes back. Uh, she's exhausted from that long walk. Uh, clearly, the game wants us to go down over there. I don't think she's going to come back. I think she's exhausted from that first walk she had. Is this a bottle? Bottles. Okay. Okay, okay. That's three. Um, yeah, we'll put that as three. Okay. Uh, do I want the bottle right now? Maybe not. What, what, what was that? I thought I just had a prompt. Am I tripping? Oh, it's just a climb. Okay. Weird. Sneak. Yeah, unaware. I guess he's going to be our first victim. I hope... That I can just walk up behind him and get him? And because... That makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Sit in wheelchair and safe house. Didn't even establish that. There was a wheelchair in the safe house. It just a prompt just came up and said, "Sit in the wheelchair in the safe house to uh, put a skill point." But the game hadn't established that there was a, a wheelchair there. At least I didn't see it in the safe house. No clue what that's about. Yeah, okay, I don't want to get too carried away exploring and searching. You probably can do a little bit more, um, but for all intents and purposes, I do not want to do it. So. Killing this guy is probably pretty easy. Unless he just whips around when you get close to him, which would spoil my plans. Let's see what happens. I love, I love the fact that he takes the knife out when you get close. That's amazing. Shit. Obviously, it's got to be locked, right? Damn, Dusty, you looking fine in HDR in this new NVIDIA HDR. Looks nice. What did you get? What did you get, brother? Please remember not to backseat game. Very important, make sure you have a bottle Fuck. as quick, quick equipment. Yes, I did put it to three. I put the bottle to three before I even read that, my friend. 
check this out. Bam! Bottle. Don't worry. Wait until I get another item. I'm going to put it to two. Can you believe it? Not much. Uh, Finding the start. However, later on, you will need to search for certain guns. Yeah. I have certain guns that... I, I know that. Yes. I, I understand. You're telling me that I have to search items in the area? No emotion. That's crazy. I never would have guessed it. Never would have guessed that. That's so nuts, bro. That is absolutely insane. So you're telling me I have to search the area to get certain things in that's in the map area? Wow. It's crazy. That's madness, dude. Wow. Who would have thought you play the video game and you got to search the area to find things like guns and stuff. You need an HDR screen for it to work, but it makes all content HDR. NVIDIA drivers added N NVIDIA HDR with that super resolution setting. Oh, cool. Dude, I just downloaded the newest um, graphics driver as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh-oh, something's downstairs. Something's downstairs and I think it's O'Neal. Come on down to O'Neal's. There we go. We're gonna get you, O'Neal. Gotcha, bitch! Don't go any closer! Okay, calm down. Don't shoot. I'm not gonna hurt you. See? Why would you, you throw your, your gun, gun, dude? I'm on your side. Why don't you just tell him the not winter Mobius. soldier code phrase? Just go you might quarantine one of those alphabet things, soup. But that doesn't mean you're on my freight side. Freight train. You're right. I don't work for Mobius. But I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? Obviously, dude. What they can do? Ooh. Yeah, he's lucid. He might be a little Lucky crazy. You, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself. Yes, yeah, Gertrude. So we gotta activate his Winter Soldier my partner. mode. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. Protecting me was his job, and my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. I'm not a soldier. I'm just a technician. I know. Stop. Because your gun is not safe. You didn't take the safety off your gun. That's how I knew. Like Metal Gear. A soldier would have taken the safety off. Damn, I'm good. How did I predict that? Because it's basic Japanese you. writing 101. We're on the same side. I was already in Metal Gear Solid. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. Just call him dumbass or say you'll stick your foot up his ass? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that we see him up close and personal, though, he doesn't really look like know. Red. He looks like the crazy guy from Aliens 3. Liam O'Neill. Who's like, what's in my chest? What's so in my chest? Not Mobius, but they who ended up grabbing the guy and then letting the chest what? burster go through the other guy? Looks more like him. I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just going to hold out here until extraction. They can't you guys got like a you. half ballistic not until armor Lily on. Is found. Who's Lily? Look. What? Everyone is stuck in here until You don't know who located. Lily is? It says it on the Can you help me out? If what? you're asking me to go out there with you, yeah, maybe you can Lily's not it. here. He didn't know this who Lily is a was. a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonate at the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here. Listen to this. In that way. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. <laughs> Lily. Is that her? The core. The core? I think the so. Core. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. Yeah, he looks like the guy from that. Aliens. Yeah, Your yeah, Max. Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals. He's a little more cleaned up, but uh, follow them to find out what. No he's, way. he's similar. He's the similar. Not exact match. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Playing some alien isolation. Ooh, the other case. night, Dan still makes you poop. That way, still I haven't played that game, dude. Anything. Yeah. Okay. Can't hurt. I, guess. I feel bad because I missed 
Oh, there's... There's dialogue now. I I guess the only people we really talked to in the last game were Kidman and JJ. I wonder what ever happened to Jacob. Jacob died in the last game, didn't he? What the fuck happened to Jacob? You remember JoJo? Is it Jacob? Yeah. From the last game. I wonder what happened to him. I don't know. I can't remember. I think he died. Discount Bruce Willis. <laughs> the Walmart Bruce Willis version. <laughs> You've not played it? Yo, I feel bad because it was free on Epic and I missed out. So you've been stuck Yeah, in and I never played already. Alien Isolation. Has it been that long? Damn. The time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in and out job. Like, home in time for dinner simple. But this is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? Wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but what's happening is more than that. This place is falling apart at the seams. We use the stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? If Moby is sent you no, I, you I know didn't get it for free. Already? I missed it. It was free. I'll send you a key. Yeah, if you want, man, I'll play it. I'll play it for the next spooky night. There were five I've always wanted team. to play it, but I I, I missed out. It was free, and I was like, oh, I'll grab it tomorrow. Yeah, and then the next day happened, and it was gone. I was like, members. oh, no. W wait. Did you just say were? I found Baker. He's dead. I found Baker. Doesn't surprise Disrespect me. Disrespect your to surroundings. To investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings. Leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it. Being team leader and all. Always yeah, it's... had to be the brave one. No, it's you just getting me, the job a done. Line between brave and foolish. Yeah. Yeah, it's like there's trying to shoot prudent, prudent and cowardly, and cowardly too. too. That's Maybe right. Auto. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> what kind of asshole do you think I am? I think you're the kind of asshole. I hope the others are okay. Fucking. I'll let you know if I find it. Has an alien in his chest. You'd really do that? Thanks. I'd appreciate that. All right. What about your supplies? It's more dangerous out there than I expected. Yeah, go make some food. Any no motion, hell yeah, brother. Weapons and supplies. I tried to tell you about this one signal, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, I'm all ears now. I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Maybe you can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there, can help you out. I'll think about it. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm all alone in here. What I the could fuck? Use some protection. He's an asshole who has a penis for a head. Guard take the fall for you. Yeah, Whatever. dickhead. Yeah. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. <laughs> follow it or don't follow it. So we have side have quests in this one too. That's kind of cool. Rogue signal mission. Yo, dude, there's side quests. That's kind of sweet in compared to the last game. Like that's that's really interesting. I like that. Makes you want to play a little bit longer. Those things are pretty tough. Takes a lot of ammo to get them off my back. Do you have anything stronger in here? Not in here, but you could probably find some out there. This place was designed to be peaceful, but Mobius and firepower go hand in hand. Do you know where yeah. I can find some of this firepower? Can we it's imagine some AK-47s into You're this world? Find a pile of heavy-duty weapons altogether. Are you sure? What if I something useful next to an abandoned APC? What if I close my eyes and tap my Mark heels? Location for you, but be careful. There are a lot of those things hanging around it. It's kind of weird because it's like Inception, like what when you tap into Mobius and you go into this dream world. Um, how do they get guns in there? Like we need a we need a shipment of guns. They like, you know what I mean? It, it reminds me of the South Park episode of um, what's that movie Inception, where it's like we're going in. It's like oh I got a crate full of AKs. Like we need ammo. He like passes out with ammo in his hand, and then he's like I don't. I I don't get, how do you get guns in this? Like, how does any of this really, like, it's all a figment of your imagination. You're not actually shooting somebody, right? Clearly. So whatever they're doing right now is they're actually just, I don't know. It's super weird. It's just a weird concept. Oh, look at this. Coffee makers. Drinking coffee at a coffee maker will restore you to full health. Coffee makers will automatically begin brewing another pot after use. But the process will take some time to complete. That is fucking amazing, dude. We can drink coffee and reheal ourselves. Dude, that just makes me want to go make more coffee. Look at that, dude. Coffee. The bean. The bean. Sent you a key on Steam. Oh, shit. Thanks, bro. For alien isolation. Takes the edge off. Takes the edge off. That's awesome. So we have side quests. We have coffees. So they got rid of the burning of the bodies. They got rid of some other stuff. Um, but that's cool. Let me see here. I got a steam key, apparently. 
Uh, manage gifts and guest passes. Did you mail it to me? Did you, did you send it in my? Wait, what? You didn't give it to me. You gave me a key. Oh, you sent it as a message. Why didn't it pop up? Your friends, your friends list. Oh shit, Haster has been messaging me. What the fuck? Just unread message. Holy shit, dude. Haster just sent me a long message. I can't believe I didn't get to this. Uh, do you want me to read what Haster sent to me? I'll read you everything that Haster sent to me. We were talking about Lord of the Rings. He says, when I got wind of what Amazon was attempting, I lost interest in seeing Rings of Power. Considering they couldn't get the rights to Lord of the Rings, they basically made a clone of what they could get rights to or could buy. That said, when many people went to actually watch the series, they were largely disappointed. Mediocre writing, costly CGI. It didn't make a profit. Uh, that's something I can't read out. Uh, can't read that either. Can't, yeah. Not, not a very Eurocentric appropriate cast. Like making, uh, okay, can't read that either. But that's a personal opinion that he has. And I can't read that. Um, Cimmerillion would be pre-Middle Earth, day one, world creation. And all the wars afterwards. Uh, Morgoth isn't a creator. Mutator incapable of creating life, so he warped everything he found. Yes, he, now he's explaining the Cimmerillion. Okay. Okay. Mutated dogs and werewolves and used against... Okay, cool. Now he's explaining the Cimmerillion. Yeah, he said some pretty uh, interesting things in, in regards of the wokeism. Um, this was a good read. I'm sorry it took so long to get back to you. You make the second paragraph was particularly spicy. Damn it, how do I spell particularly? That's not how you spell it. What is it? P R. Damn it, that's still not how you spell it. Damn it. I gotta get... I don't often say particularly... Particularly... Particular... Particular... Oh, it's P-A-R. Oh, okay, I just messed up. I put an E instead of an A. Yeah, it's par. I, I was putting P-E-R-T. That is per tick, but it's particulary. Particularary. Particularary. Let me message him. One sec there, folks. Don't worry, we got eight hours of gameplay today, folks. There's going to be lots of gameplay, okay? Oh, shit, it's aliens with all the DLC. Oh, God, thank God I didn't show it on screen. <laughs> I was going to say, dude, have you guys seen what Haster wrote to me? Bro, keep it 100. Guy's a mad lad. Yeah. Pert, like you got a purdy. You got a purdy mouth. That's exactly it. Rings was a trash movie. I was definitely upset. Uh, Rings of Power was, it was okay. Uh, it wasn't that great, okay? It was, it was interesting. I liked some of the stuff with Galadriel. But then when I re realized it wasn't really canon, I was just like, yeah, it's whatever. But yeah, not, not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rewatch the series. I wouldn't recommend the series because, it, but Galadriel was pretty cool. I liked the female actress who played the role. I thought she did a decent job. It was kind of interesting, especially when you get later on in the series. It's, it was okay. It was mid. I think the only reason I watched it is because it was remotely based on the Lord of the Rings universe or J.R.R. Tolkien. Anyways, let's go to games. Let's go to redeem Steam. Nope, nope. Activate a product on Steam. We're going to go here, and then we're going to tap that, and we're going to go Activation Successful Alien Isolation Collect Retail ROW. Very nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have just got a lovely little guest. Alien. A, -A L I E N. We got a love. Oh, yeah, I still have Fireteam Elite that Boa bought me, and I never played it. Alien Swarm. What the hell is this? Alien vs. Predicator? Predator? Dedicated servers? <gasps> Dude, I'd love to play that game. Alien Swarm. I don't even know what that is. What the fuck is this game? Alien Swarm SDK. 
I don't even know what that is. It's some weird game. I don't even know how that got in my library. But there we go. Anyways, we got Alien Isolation. New DLC for Alien Isolation has been added to your account. It will be installed along with the game. Very nice. Very claps and chat from Mad Max. Thank you very much for the game, dude. I appreciate you. That's awesome. That's particularly cool. I like that. Smash that like and subscribe button, y'all. Bunch of apes. That's right, Groupon. How was the uh, dog races today? I don't think they will like and subscribe if you call them a bunch of apes, Groupon. Yeah, but he's just keeping it real, man. He's just saying what's off the dome, you know? And I respect him for it. That's the thing. I respect him. He's just keeping it real. He's just being himself, man. What are you going to do, right? I, I ain't into controlling everybody. If he wants to call everybody a bunch of damn dirty apes, I mean, that's up to him, man. That's my boy. I just vibe with him, you know? Mad Max, thank you very much for uh, Alien Isolation. So, you know what? If we Once we beat this game, maybe on next, you lost six, six pounds. Ah, it's all right, coupon code. That's all right. Hashtag uh, get hype maxi pad. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Um, what we're going to do is after we beat this, which is probably going to take particular, particularly, see how I fit that in again, longer than, uh, than what I expected because I do, I like, I, I haven't, I've, I haven't chatted with you guys for the last two days, man. I've been playing, first we played Sniper Elite 5 with Groupon. Fucking guy can't, can't stealth for shit. Love him though. Then we played Battlefield 2042, right? I don't have time to chat with you guys. So today I'm chatting. All right, get used to it. Unsubscribe to the channel if you don't like it. I don't care. Don't become a member. Don't subscribe. Don't support me. Go hang out with somebody else if you don't like the way I do things. All right? Just keeping 100% with you guys. I don't have time. Workbenches can be used to craft ammunition and items with components and to upgrade weapons and weapon parts. Very cool. Let's see how that works. Well, the only thing we have right now is a pistol. Which the game is emphasizing heavily on stealth, so... Crafting. Handgun bullets. Oh! Medical syringes. Oh, okay, so there's definitely incentive to go and loot a lot more than there used to be. Let's craft one. Now we have two. And, um... We'll, we'll take the three... There we go, three bullets. Ain't that useful. Weapon upgrades. Hmm. I don't know if I really want to get into this right now. It requires... We have zero weapon parts, so... No. But, but cool. Field crafting. Select the field crafting icon from the arsenal menu. To craft items when using... Without using a workbench. Field crafting consumes more resources than crafting at a workbench. And you cannot upgrade weapons via field crafting. Field crafting cannot be set to an item shortcut. Okay, okay, okay. So we have field crafting here, and it's pretty much just like in case you need ammo, but it's going to use... I, I like that idea. Field crafting is kind of cool. So we got our first bit of weapon parts over here. Uh, various useful components that can be used to, to uh, yeah, upgrade weapons. Oh, upgrade weapons. Yeah, yeah, upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ah, not bad at all, man. Kind of interesting. The coffee thing, that's really, that's really cool. Uh, I don't need to talk to you anymore. I don't need to talk to you. Just check in if you have the have the Kona games in the library. What's the what are you talking about? What what are you talking about? Groupon code. Am I missing out? What's Kona? It was like the last one, the shotgun was my favorite in this too. Shotgun's always good, right? Can't go wrong with a shoddy. I'm going to save those weapon parts though, because if, if they're emphasizing on stealth, I mean, I'm just going to go around and collect a bunch of stuff before. I... Oh, wicked. Oh, look who it is. It's um the nurse that I can't remember her name. What the? Who is that? You know who that was. Don't tell me you don't know who that was, Sebastian. Silly. You would know exactly who that was. Okay, so the mirrors are still apart. Oh, shit. Or oh, Sebastian's room. Okay. I hear a kitty. There's the wheelchair. Okay, 
obviously we don't want to do that. So this time, oh, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, man. See, the vibe of the first game was really, really interesting. The flashbacks just really like brought me back to the first game. Yeah, that was a cool concept, man. It's Sebastian's mother. Do you think, actually? I don't know if that's part of the lore. What the hell? Hey, let me out of here. Even in. That is her. Detective Castellanos. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome back. You again? How are you here? I could ask you the same question. Regardless, it's nice to see a familiar face. Even if that face has seen far too much. You look tired, detective. I can help you get back in shape. Just like before. Okay, it's a bit different, but I mean, kind of nostalgic, kind of cool. Why don't they do it like that, though? What the heck? Athleticism. Stamina and evasion. Combat stealth. Recovery. Alright, we're gonna go stealth. Bottle break. Bottles in your inventory will automatically be used to break free if some enemy grabs, attacks. It's not... What? Oh my god, that's amazing. Bottles in your inventory will automatically be used to break free from some enemies' grab attacks. It does not work against certain attacks. Still, though, man, that's fucking amazing. That's 5,000, though. Yeah, that's really good. Alright, we're, we're just going to do low profile. I don't even think we have enough. You're missing Joe. Prowler. Oh, man. Dude, we're five, We're 100 short? All of them start off at 1,500. Oh, this is 1,000. Reduces reticle sway. Firing weapons. Okay. The only thing we can even do is combat right now for the thousand steady hands. The rest is just child's play. All right, that's all we got. I don't understand. This place. You. It's just like Beacon. But this isn't Beacon. Important? This is Union. Is oh, the, the stealth skills. Are, yeah, that's me. really good. These walls. That chair. You Tatiana, that was your name. As if nothing has changed at all. How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep interrupting my manicure? Don't see you doing a manicure right now. Don't you think it's time that you moved on to the task at hand? How am I ever okay. going? Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Uh. Yeah. I remember those lockers. It's cool, man. Okay. You to stand up. And it just goes back to being a wheelchair. It's kind of weird, to be honest. Like, I don't know, the vibe is... The vibe is, I guess, there, but... Yeah, it's still kind of weird. Yo, kitty kitty! How you doing? Do you have any more of these? Slides? I don't think we do. All out of slides. Wonder what that cat. What's up with that cat? Is that supposed to be a present to Lily or something like that? Or uh, maybe that's that's got to be some. There's some significance, obviously. I just don't know what it is. Um. Okay, we marked off. Oh shit. Here we go. Being the tip of the knife is a dangerous job. True that. All right, all these other people we don't know. We get, we know where Liam is. Okay, other than that, we're uh, we gotta find Miles Harrison, Julian Sykes, and 
Yukiko Hoffman. We gotta find those people. Alright, let's get mo moving. Yeah. Motor in. Uh, did we not save? Do a quick save. Chapter three. And back to the fray. O'Neill's safe house. That's what it's literally called. Huh. Texture glitch. Go outside and use your communicator to track the girl's voice. Communicator, really? Uh, I don't know how to access that. Oh, there we are. Okay. Let's see if I can find this signal he mentioned. So there was two, right? Huh. Suck it up, James. We've been through worse than this. And we're better armed this time. That must be the signal O'Neill mentioned. There's too many of them. There's too many of them. We're screwed. There's too many. <laughs> Looks pretty far away, but it's the only lead I've got. God, I hope it's Lily. I don't know. I think it's that Yoko chick. We're screwed. There's Whatever too many her name of them. is. Okay, so there's gonna be supplies over there, so that means more stuff, right? So obviously we're gonna go to the uh, rogue. Question is, where are these enemies? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. The world is falling apart. Literally. Some Silent Hill shit. Yes, no emotions yet. No road transmission. If it keeps breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta For try real. to find that signal. Uh, how do we quick access that, though? What is that labeled as? Is there a button, like, I can hit? E? Zero? For the signal location, like, is there a button? Okay, that's the safe house. Holy shit. Why am I investigating? What the fuck, bro? Get back down. There's a fucking zombie dude right here. He's just chilling. Yeah, I can see his eyes are like lit up. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. He 
He, they're just piling up the bodies, man. That's crazy. That guy's just gone off for a walk now. Hand axe. Temporarily replaces the spot on this and calling and instantly kill enemies, but will break after single use. Uh, hand axe can be found in the unit or taken from enemies. Okay, cool. So same like the last game. That's the Those things are piling corpses up here. But why? Who knows, dude? Who knows? It's terrible. Okay, so wow, look at that, dude. The whole world is like floating. Oh, that's really that's a cool touch. Okay, I gotta figure out. Um, could you imagine walking outside and the road did that, dude? You would be losing your freaking mind. Like, oh my goodness. I have to figure out how to activate the radio. Um, if you know what I mean, the okay, middle mouse button. You see this radio signal because I need to like scan the area to tell me where that signal is from. That's what I need to do. But I don't know how to do that. One sec. What did Groupon say? Oh, Groupon gave me some games too. Damn it! I don't want to leave the thing now. I'll do that later. Okay, Groupon. I'll do that later. Dropped a couple games there. Um, there should be a button, right? F G G. It's G. So G is going to be your radio. Just wanted to check it out. Now, all down that pathway is going to be, yeah, someplace I don't want to go. Let's see if we can go to this church. Please forgive me for what I've done. Please forgive me for what I've done. What? Please forgive me. Oh my God, please. I know I've sinned, but not this. Please, I won't sin again. Who are these people trapped in this world, though? I'm sorry. How did they get please in here? Is it a figment Hello? of my imagination? Are you okay? Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Oh God, please. 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 <laughs> Oh. Talk about a hole in one. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Gross. All I can see is that plant up there next to the altar that I want. What the hell? Uh oh. Enemy alertness icon. Fuck that shit. Yeah, let's leave. Yeah, I want, I'm out of here. <laughs> Sebastian's like, fuck that shit. <laughs> Yo, that's what I said, bro. Fuck it. Run, bro. Get your stamina up. Dodge him. No, run. Don't be letting them don't be letting them get you. Don't be letting them get you like that. That's right, dodge, dodge them. Dodge them all. Look, you're going to the safe house. See, now they can't get you. Leave me alone. See? <laughs> Just you gotta use your brain sometimes. <laughs> Yo, Sven, what's up, baby? How you doing? Long time no see. Good to see you, man. Yo, welcome back. Hey shit. I remember you used to be a moderator. I had to remove all the mods because somebody banned Jordan Disa and YouTube doesn't have a system where I can't see what moderators do, so I don't know who did it. Did you ban Jordan Disa by accident, Sven? I know you used to be a mod, but I uh, I got I had to remove all the mods. You were, yeah, 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 you were. Uh, standard, yeah, there we go. Yeah, sorry about that. I, just, I need people to come back in the streams because I'm not going through lists of old streams to remake everybody a moderator. Uh, but you, you did used to be one. I just, YouTube needs to fix some of the stuff that they have. But, uh, yeah, how you doing, bro? What's going on? That's what happens when you touch boys, Mr. Priest? What? I wonder if we have more coffee ready. Ah, oh, no more coffee. All right, we'll get coffee later. That was an easy way to get out of that one. 
Uh, no worries, dude. I've I've been not here a long time. Yeah, that's how it is, man. You know, you don't have you don't have all day to sit around on YouTube. You know what I mean, brother? You don't have all day. You got shit. You got shit. You got to do, man. You know what I'm saying, my bro? Sometimes life things are more important. You got to get things done in life. Can't be on YouTube all the time. Left Germany and went to Belgium. So now you're living in Belgium. Is it for work or for uh, for love? Is it for business or pleasure, my friend? Belgium's Belgium's. Uh, I heard Belgium's uh, something else. People from Belgium tell me they hate Belgium. Was it um? Actually, you know, Mr. Garnalios likes Belgium. I think it's Casey. Is Casey? Casey says he doesn't like Belgium. Casey's always like, oh, Belgium. I don't like Belgium. Whoa! Yo, look at that glitch. Okay. Okay, that's the first glitch we've had. So once you hit that space bar, you don't want to hit anything else. Oh, yo, a little figurine. Like the last game for the keys. Check that out. Pleasure is business. Women are lots of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, no emotions. Uh, they just legalized the ganja. Why would you leave? Oh, in Germany, they legalized the ganja? That's pretty cool. It did with very strict regulations. Ah. Easy dub. It launches you. Yeah, yeah. So if you're if you're tapping the uh, if you tap a direction, so let's see if we can recreate that glitch. So it's a vehicle, right? Because they don't they don't even bother about this. Live here now, yeah. Mostly love, but I'm also working here now. Oh shit! So you met a you met a chick. You met a chick. Oh, she's better than the last one. That one that one had you all kind of fucked up. That last one was all kind of fucked up. I mean, I don't know her personally, but from what you told me, like, bro. Kinda kind of a bit of a Debbie Downer, you know what I mean? Uh just legalized the ganj. Uh because here they don't even bother. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does launch me. We're gonna test that again. Very strict with the regulations. I'd go for strict regulations over jail. Not allowed to smoke in the city between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. to not bother people. In Germany? What about Belgium? Can you smoke the devil's lettuce in Belgium? I don't know. Sven doesn't even smoke weed, Max. He doesn't even like the weed. Dust Town, now I have a girlfriend with a six year old kid and a house, a dog, and two cats, a big family stuff going on here. I used to date a girl with kids. She had two kids. Um. It's a tough one. It's possible. But, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you anything. You're a grown-ass man. You can figure it out yourself. <laughs> Very nice, dude. And I hope you're doing okay. Okay, we go here. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, wait. That's how I glitched out a little. Six-year-old kid, eh? You know what? Cool, man. As long as she treats you good, better than the last one. I don't give a fuck. It's weird dating a chick with kids, though. Like... It is kind of strange, especially when it, for me, at least for me, in my experience, it was strange. Because when it, it's a, you, like, she wants you to be the dad for the good stuff, but when it comes down to, like, the child's not listening and disciplining and it's not your kid, it's kind of hard to, like, like I, I have a kid now, so, like, I have, I, I'm, I love it, you know? I can raise my kid the way I want to raise my kid. But, um, a six year old kid's kind of raised already. Yeah, <laughs> to an extent. Uh, I don't know what he is talking about. I love green from time to time. 
No, you don't. You, you, you never smoke. You like drinking, bro. Every time I talk to you, you always have a beer in your hand. Beer in one hand, a beer in the other. I've never seen you smoke the devil's arugula. What is you? What are you talking about, Sven? So, oh, sometimes. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I do it sometimes too. I like green too. I kind of green with Benjamin on it. Aren't those dollar bills, B Benjamins? Aren't they dollars? What's a Benjamin again? Benjamin Franklin's the dollar bill, right? Dollar dollar bill. In Germany, it was beer. Now it's green and wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're you're an you're an aristocrat now. You're you're moving up in the world. Ah, uh, before it was beer. Now it's wine and marijuana. I do say the stocks have gone up 3% on the DOW this week, yes. Let's invest in cotton swabs. The real devil's lettuce. The real devil's lettuce. 100. One hundred! Well, that scared me. I'll smoke to that. Benjamin is a hundred. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay. What do you guys have on the dollar bill? Who is it? Who's on the dollar bill? Oh, you were eating? Oh, it's okay. I I'm, I don't use American money. I, I, I do when I go to the United States, though. Who do, who's on the... George Washington's on the one, right? Washington. Am I right? Is it Washington? Yeah, I think it's Washington. Benjamin Franklin. Benji's a, a, hun, a hundo. Oh, look who it is. Huh. Looks like the Padre had some fight in him. He did. Locker key. Nurse Tatiana's treatment area. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure that out later. I know, I know what it used to do, but as if it still does the same thing. Seemed like he was looking at something I couldn't see. Whatever it was, it changed him quickly. Definitely did. Definitely did. See, how did that priest get in there though? Like, what the fuck's going on with that shit? How did he even get in there? Abraham Lincoln? Lincoln is on the penny? Lincoln's on the dollar- Oh, is it Abraham Lincoln? I thought it was- I thought it was somebody else. Shit. It's kinda cool. You Canadians embrace Monopoly so much. Yo, fuck you, bro. Suck my dick, bitch. Fucking bitch. Mad Max is a pussy. Pussy ass bitch. <laughs> Canadians embrace Monopoly. <laughs> ah, Monopoly. My favorite. Monopoly is kind of cool, actually, though. So I'm not even. Not even. Don't be jealous, dude. You're just so jealous. Two out of 32 keys. Oh, man. There's herbs everywhere in here. I might as well do a quick heal, right? Uh, use. Got mad herbs in this bitch. This is pretty cool, like, going through a whole town. This is cool. No, it's Washington. I was wrong. It is Washington. On the dollar? Lincoln's on the penny. Yeah, George Washington's on the dollar, right? Yeah. Sven, what's up? Dust down, I'm off for a bit. I hope uh, we can manage to have Discord calls soon. Well, um, tonight I'm working for eight hours, so probably not tonight. 
Saturday is probably the best I can do for free time. And also Sunday is the member stream. So, but on the weekend. Saturday, I can I can do free time on Saturday. For a couple hours, Sven. So if you're around tomorrow, I could do. Uh, through the week, I'm pretty booked. Like, pretty booked. Just to let you know. Uh, I can shoot you a message on Saturday if you want. When I get up. What are you doing on Saturday? Monday to Friday, I am jam-packed. Tomorrow will be good? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot you a message when I wake up tomorrow. I have a coffee and uh, chat, see what's going on. Yeah, that'll be good. I haven't talked to you in a while, man. I think I think you're still the highest donator to the channel. It's been like three years and nobody's ever been able to match the your donations. Just letting you know. Yeah, you are the highest. He's the highest. Another little added sub lore towards Sven Heinrich Bulletproof. Welcome to Union Pamphlet. Union is an ideal mix of a small town charm and modern day convenience. Surrounded by diverse natural wonders. Come and step back into a simpler time where the warm, friendly smiles of the residents are comfortable and familiar. Get away from the hustle and bustle and come to a place that welcomes you with open arms. Union. We're glad you're here. No one yet? Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to, to, to top large amounts of money from individuals on uh, on YouTube. 31 months at Hellhound. Dude, thank you for the 31 months. Just want to see how long I'm here. Yeah, 31 months at Hellhound, which is the highest tier, baby. Sven. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, it, I mean, when you're talking like big money with people, it's, it, it's very rare. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a live streaming thing like. That's a lot of money that you've donated in the past, man. And it, it definitely helped. I mean, shit, dude. Without you, I wouldn't have, like, the mic, the PC. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, those big donations. Like, I got a $1,500 camera. I got a microphone. Got a brand new PC. Well, not brand new, but really good. So all those donations and stuff, they go back into... Oh, excuse me. What the channel is. Thank you for the 31 months, man. Hell yeah, dude. 31 months, my guy. That's a lot of months. Hellhound is the highest tier, ladies and gentlemen. So all of you Hellhound members, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sven, appreciate you. Yeah, this looks like a basement of some sorts. Interesting. Can't go through there. But yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot that, uh, you know, goes into to running a channel. I mean, at the end of the day. How many members do we have now? 239. 239 memberinos, baby. All those members add up. Those hellhounds, though, that's like, that's the big, that's the big one. If you're a hellhound member, it's like, ooh, baby. I gotta do something a little bit extra for the hellhounds, actually. I should probably start giving them BJs every Saturday. A little slurpy slurpy for help, helping me out. I'll help them out, you know? Give them the old slurpity derp. This guy looks like he needs a hug. Oh shit, why'd he stop doing that? He just stopped. Oh shit. Am I invisible? Oh, that's so sick. Folders can be used for concealment. That is useful. America effed over on pizza now. Big family sized boxes of small pizzas. Same price. What's next? Taxing water? <laughs> no motion. Where does that come from? Yo, they've been doing that for years. They've been downsizing. I already have water taxes. They do. They've been downsizing food for years, man. Like, uh, you know, you buy. Uh, I mean, before you used to get um, certain, like, I don't know, like Gatorade, you know, and then it became small Gatorade. You know what I mean? They've been doing that stuff for years. The Gatorade cans get, or the bottles get smaller and, you know? Or what's another example? Like, I don't know, if you like the little caramel treats. Say you buy a box of cookies, you know, the cookies got smaller. 
They've been doing that for years, man. Why the pizza? Dude, everybody's trying to make money, man. It sucks. It sucks, dude. It's really, it's just, like, sucks. Like, I don't know how to explain it, man. So everybody's, like, greedy, and they want money, and they, they do anything to undercost. And uh, they, they're just forgetting about what it means to be American, you know? Freedom, liberty. When you're, when you're weighing things at your local grocery, you ask the store clerk, how many eagles per gun does this weigh? And he says, five eagles per gun. And you're like, hell yeah, brother. Can I get an extra large pizza? And then you know what he says to you? He says, would you like extra pepperoni? Matter of fact, I'm just going to give it to you, brother. Free of charge. America. So are you sure? He's like, yeah, man. I got a couple more eagles per gun for you. You say, thanks, brother. That's what America used to be. That's the America I know and love. You know what I mean? But nowadays, everybody just uh, wants to make... All these corporations want to make lots of money, which is, uh, you know, you, we allow it to. As consumers, we allow it. We allow it. Uh, by you purchasing and buying into, you know. The bull crap. Did, did something just happen? Did I get raided or something? What's this? Oh, no. I think it was the notification for the... I didn't get raided, did I? You guys let me know if I get raided. I don't want to miss the notifications. I thought something just changed, but I guess not. Yeah, as consumers, we're all to blame for the reason why uh, things are the way they are. Is because we consume without, you know, criticism or care. We don't really care. We just buy whatever because we want to buy it. So, I'm going to just move to Italy. Better pizza. They don't downsize pizzas. You know what? That's the beautiful thing about life. You can always move to a new place, a new region, discover a new language, new culture. Something you might be in, infatuated with, you know, you might really enjoy it. A lot of people get kind of get stuck. Like I, I lived, in, I live in Canada right now. Right now, I'm checking out Quebec though. I'm living in Quebec, which is the French side. I mean, it's all right. It's nothing, nothing crazy. But it was interesting to me. It's like I wonder how they, what, what's life like in Quebec, like the French side of Canada. You know, what's life like over there? So that's where I'm living right now. Later on, I'll move back somewhere else where I want to move. Life's too short to stay in one place all the time. It's too short, my friends. What, there's another signal somewhere over there? Unknown. Another signal. Le Quebec pizza, less pop tart with the ketchup. She is real good, we. Oui? I still have not tried the Quebec pizza. The pop tart with the ketchup, though, that just sounds disgusting. You wouldn't eat that, Gertrude. You wouldn't even eat that. I know you wouldn't eat that. Move to Italy, join the mob, free pizza and pasta. I don't think it's free, brother. I honestly don't think it's free. What is that?
So the, what does the arrow indif indicate? I don't understand what that arrow. Oh shit, what's that? What the hell is that thing there? Why, why is that like that? What is this, some Alan Wake shit? What is this? Is that some Alan Wake shit right there? What is that? What is this? Quick communicator. Suck it up. No communication from Mobius. We're cut off. I'm calling an Alpha One emergency. Oh. You know the protocol. Alpha so. One. Are you serious? What about the tech team? Fuck them. Let them fend what? themselves. This ain't the Marines anymore. No man left behind don't mean shit in here. You got a problem with that? You kidding me? I've been waiting to be let off the team. I'm tired of protecting techs and running like a bitch. Good. Let's secure the weapon stashes. Load up and clean house. No matter what it looks like, monster or human, take it out with extreme prejudice. The hell was that? Whatever it was, it looks like they were here. But where did they go? Huh? Oh wow, look at the size of this map. Track down the source of the girl's voice using your... More okay. signals. Not sure if I want to run into these two. Sounds like they went rogue. Then again, weapons are useful. Yeah, they definitely are. Yeah, there was a signal coming from that direction, though. And now I can't see it anymore. I, I could I could hear it when I was on top of this train or this building, but now I can't. Doesn't seem to be a thing anymore. I guess this grass doesn't really act as great foliage, does it? Yeah, there was another signal. Last known location. That's what that one was, yeah. Dude, I love that though. That is really cool. Warden crossbow. Dude, check that out. I like how you can use this to move faster, though. That is kind of cool. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Hell yeah. New weapons, baby. Why is it all weird, though? It's all on a side. Uh, using the warden crossbow. Ooh, yeah. Hold. Draw. Release. Change bolt type. Got it. Just like the last game. Shock bolt. Yep. Fuses and gunpowder combination, shock bolt. Okay. That's it. Just shocking. Oh. Camera's shaking. What? Uh oh. You gotta grab this thing and get the fuck out of here. Harpoon bolt. Oh, wait. Maybe it's saying we can use this to, uh, to shock these enemies. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm lost, though. I need to... What's the button? What's the button? Is it V? No, it's middle mouse button. Middle mouse button. Shock bolt. Use. Oh, except for you, because you're a bastard, aren't you? You're a fucking bastard. Bastard. 
Wait, you guys don't die from the shock bolt? Why would it go through that whole action and then you guys don't even die? Oh, you have an axe. Okay, this is bullshit. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Escape the mine, thank you for the 22 months! Dodgy, what's up, man? Yeah, this is bullshit. So, I went through that whole action sequence to, to electrocute them. Meanwhile, they didn't even die. I have one shock bolt here. I have to use the harpoon bolt. Use. How do I know if I'm even aiming correctly? Holy macaroni, that was tough. What was going on with that, man? Like, okay, yeah, I guess the game's just trying to say, hey, if there's water, you can use the the shock bolt, but what's the point? It doesn't even kill them. It just paralyzes them more in a crowded area. I mean, okay, that's, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for next time when I want to do that. Dude, uh, thank you for the 22 months. Escape the mind. I appreciate it. Smash like everyone. This game is a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, so far it's been pretty good. It's not not too bad. Um, definitely added on oh, to the first game. There's a, there's a lot more added. Uh, and it does feel pretty good. Where is the adjusting crossbow range? I also want to hold. Where's the... There's no bolt to show like where I'm aiming? Like there's no uh, line, indication line. You know? I need to turn that on in the settings or something? Like, y y there used to be a thing there. S empty. Yeah, escape the mine. What's up? Yeah, escape. How are you doing today, man? How's your day going? Oh, I'm full on axes. Oh, okay. Well, that was a bit of a waste of uh, stuff, but we have some meds. We can, we can heal up again. Anyways, we got a uh, crossbow, which is kind of cool. Don't see anything else down here other than this dead guy who has some ammo. Very nice. Three rounds. Oh, no climbing on this one? Sometimes it lets you climb. All right. Uh, kind of cool. But yeah, so far the game is uh, it's a little slower paced, um, but it is very, very fun. Very cool. I like the open world kind of concept. I love the ability to uh, explore the area a little bit more. The new cover system is kind of quite interesting as well. If you can get it to work correctly. Yeah. I'm recovering from surgery. Oh, shit, dude. What was it again? It was... What happened again? I can't, I can't remember. I think I've asked you this. Yeah, I hope everything's going good though, brother. I can't remember what it was exactly that happened. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's get out of the fire. A little too slow on that one. Hope you're well. Yeah, I hope he's doing okay. Bow opens up sideways because you use it as iron sights. I, I, don't, I don't understand, does it? You want to get a hot equip it. Is that how it works? Two. That, that, that does not make sense at all. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Iron sights where? Adjusting crossbow range. Mouse one, hold to adjust range. Oh, God, there you go. So as soon as you pull down, then, oh, okay. You just let go. Okay, I got it. So there's nothing at the beginning. You have to actually hold left click and tighten it up. It's kind of strange because... How is it retense? I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of a pulley system. It doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Well, it's believable. This whole game doesn't make sense, so everything's believable. 
Hello, sir. What do you have on you? We got it. That's different. Yeah, Alpha is pretty cool. Oh, that's what it was. It was the hernia. Yes. Yeah. Not a blast. No, 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 no. So you're on uh, you're on healing healing duty now. You gotta heal. Kind of reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn with the yeah. It's kind of yeah similar. Yeah, Alpha. Yep. Yeah. Any of the Horizon games? Yep. Very similar. Yeah. I I really want to play the new one for PC. Uh, I watched Brian play it a while ago. I think he was. I think he's been going on a session of it. But yes, dude. I want to play. I want to play it. Back there. Oh, rummaging. Oh, I think that's interesting. This is rummage. Yeah, I like the I like the town concept. This is pretty cool. So far, it's been really great. Oh, that just popped in out of nowhere. So good. Is it good? Yeah, the first one was fun. Uh, correct. I can't lift anything over five pounds for a few weeks and get rest. Got operated on by a robot. It was it wasn't gentle. Oh shit! Did it robo penetrate you? Gosh, I hate it when the robots penetrate you too hard. Stop it, step robo. Stop it. You good? Just got bit. Uh, got bit ago. Worked rady late. Got home around two thirty. 3 a.m. Getting ready to go out again. Just got up a little while ago. This is a metal pipe. Chunk of steel pipe. You got guns. This component can be used to craft useful items. Okay, cool. A metal pipe. Very nice. Oh, I don't need that. Got up. Dodgy just got up. Didn't go to bed till 2.33 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, man. How you feeling, though? You feeling okay, Dodge? Like, well rested at least enough? I got Robo penetrated three times. Damn, dude. Yes, I know. Hey, dude, I hope you have a wicked speedy recovery, my friend. I hope it goes really smooth. Smooth as an egg. Smooth as an egg. I hope the recovery is good. Are you in a lot of pain right now? Escape? Or are you just kind of relaxing, dude? Are you on them sweet pain medications? Wait, well, how do I... How do I open this? You break it? You can break these open? That's kind of cool. Zombies aren't that smart, are they? You're gonna keep doing that until you can realize there's no pathfinding? I'll leave him then. I did not know that you could get items inside of cars like that. Yo, one thing I did notice as well, like look at these stairs over here. What is up here? Oh, Groupon's home. I robot. Just tuned back in, Robo penetrated three times. <laughs> Fake illusion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Three times. Someone sent me beer. Really? Someone sent you beer. Lucky. How did you get so lucky? I have a feeling I'm gonna... Oh, 
Oh yeah, dude. There we go. What we got here. Glad they accept beers. Oh, that'd be nice. No, can someone send me a beer? Oh, uh, I don't, I don't really have money for that. I gotta pay rent this month. I can't be sending you beers. It's not in my budget. Uh, you can do that in the states. Have beer delivered to your friends in other states. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, you can do that here as well. Actually, there's like a taxi service that will also like deliver beer. It's weird. Alpha was giving you some free ones. It was me. I pissed in a few bottles, sent them out. That was Pisswasser. Pisswasser from <laughs> from Grand Theft Auto. Oh shit, dude! I got a Dragnoff and SV SVD. Kind of looks like an SVD, yeah. Uh, broken sniper rifle. The body of the sniper rifle was badly damaged. The proper parts can be repaired, but the previous owner is no longer able to say where those might be found. I guess not. Barrels toast. But the rest of broken looks sniper okay. rifle. Oh. Need to find some That's interesting. That's new. It. It's a broken sniper rifle. Mobius communicator log replacement parts. A communication log found on the communicator. Heating. Heating. We're on the roof of the building next to the vis visitor center. I blew out the barrel of the sniper rifle. Need replacement parts stat. McCoy. The parts are in a supply shed across from Union Auto Repair. That's all the way up in the northwest corner of town. It's right on the edge of the break. Come on, man. Keaton, I don't care where they are. Bring them to me before these things find their way up here. Shit, man. Why do I always get the dangerous jobs? <laughs> well, looks like none of you guys made it. I can do butt stuff this guy up here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Butt stuff. I see a magazine inside of his... You can take that magazine, by the way. See that mag? You can take it. I don't know why he didn't want to. Oh, here we go. But the goods. Uber delivers beer in Australia, yeah? Yeah. Easter was the 30th. Gertrude? Hope you had a great Easter. Escape the mind, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how was your Easter, Escape? Um. Gertrude isn't. <coughs> just good, he's damn fine. A little tired, but I gotta do what I gotta do, and I'm glad I have the opportunity to do it. Oh, yeah, that's it, man. You gotta have a positive mental attitude. I mean, that's the way life is, you know. You can sit around and complain, or you can just get shit done. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. That's good, though, Dodgy. Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice if we didn't really have to do anything at all and just could kind of coast through life. But if you want any kind of, like, cool stuff, especially, you know, you got kids and kind of want to do a bit better for yourself, take care of yourself and stuff, it's good to, uh... It's good to, uh... I thought there was a creature down there. It's good to get active. It's good for the spirit. Lay back down. Much love. Yeah, dude. Escape the mind. Have a good one, brother. Thanks for hopping in, man. And thank you for the, uh, 22 months, brother. 22 months. I get the stream on the old big screen. Have a great day. Yes, dude. Yes, man. I hope I hope you uh, heal up fast, brother. As fast as Sonic the Hedgehog. If I saw that in real life, I'd take his gear from his corpse. Tip him over the edge just for fun. Bless you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Pep, I... How you doing, Pep? Leather Labs. You still got that gifted member, eh, Pep? What? Pep's still rocking that bronze, baby. Of course, a distraction. Yes, that's right. No, it's past, but I haven't seen... Escape the Mind Productions in a while. Yeah, no, it's been it's been a hot minute. It's, I'm, I'm glad he's doing good. Like I said, I seen Sven today too, which was nice. Seen uh, Bulletproof. You remember Bulletproof, Gertrude? He was in, but he changed his name to Sven, so not a lot of people remember his name. But he came in. I think I might have a chat with him t on Saturday. I'm gonna shoot him a message, see if he's available. He said he wanted to talk. So I haven't talked to him in a while, but he's been here since the beginning. Canadian man does butt stuff to corpse. News at eleven. Chill, no emotions. Yes, I know, right? I had a buddy I used to hang with. He was very slow. Happy New Year, man. Dude, that was like two years ago. New Year's every, every year, my guy. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yeah, that's real slow. Hey, yo, Dodgy with a one, dude. Guys, give him some love in the chat. What? Fucking Rossi picked it up, dude. Dodgy threw in one gifted towards the chat. And Rossi grabbed it. Hey, thank you very much for the donation, Dodgy. I appreciate it, man. 
See who gets this. Uh, it was Michael Rossi. Rossi's, Rossi's a legend, too. He's going to be happy about that. He's definitely going to be happy about that. Dodge, thanks, man. Thanks for the one. Legends gift one, dude. How many members we at now? 239, baby. I remember there was a time on the channel. Do you guys remember when we hit 700 members? That shit was fucking wild, dude. That was a wild month. That was a wild month. Hey, Dodge, thank you very much, brah. Thank you very much. I want to see some hashtags, baby. Fake Illusion. Gertie. Blue. Alpha. Pep. Groupon. Give him the love. I give him the love. Okay, we got, uh... What we got over here? It's the girl's lock-on voice. Where was the, uh... The other symbol? I think it's over here. Crimson Supermarket. Crimsons? Why is Crimson Supermarket over here? Doesn't make no sense. Why does my thing work? How close to 3k? Uh, I think like 10 subscribers or 8 subscribers away. Something like that. I don't know. I think I think it's like 8. Yeah, I think it's like 8. Smash! Purple love. Yes, dude. Yo, speaking of purple love, where's purple purple pube been? <laughs> Remember he tried to change his name to purple pub and he just doesn't know how to spell, so he put purple pube. Because he thought pub was with a D. E. <laughs> I gotta love him. Yellow and green makes blue and purple and red makes purple. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yellow and green mix blue and blue and red makes purple. Purple and red? <laughs> what am I talking about? Someone gifts 10 or 20. No, no, no. Don't worry about the gifted members, guys. Nobody has to gift any. Dude, I, that's crazy, though. Brian in one stream received 700 gifted members. That fucking legend. I wonder, I wonder who the legend who started that dono train was. That's crazy. Imagine that. 700 gifted members. Dude, that guy's eating that month. That month, motherfucker's eating, baby. He's having steaks with the caviar. Nah. He's probably paying for all the bills, like men of their house homes usually do. I guess I'm having coffee then. Groupon, man. Don't worry about it. I don't know. I don't know or I don't know. See, it's a double entendre. It's one word that means two different things. I don't know or I don't know. You were, oh, it was you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's no emotions. Yeah, obviously it was no emotions who was the legend who got a mess of people to start the donation trade. Oh, for sure it was no emotion. How could we forget? How could we forget? Did you also call in uh, sw Faye Swag to come in and help him out a little too? As well, no emotions? In one week, I donated $1,000 in gifted and super chats. Well, that's actually really nice of you. Yes, that that's actually really nice of you. You, you have donated to me as well. Anybody who donates to the channel, you know, I appreciate it, guys. I do appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, like, seeing my friends do good. Like, if somebody donates big to Ray or, or myself or, like, Mr. Feudal or Brian Menard. Like, I like seeing the people that I am, uh, like, my friends. I like seeing them. I like seeing them get, get, make some money. That's nice. Why is that guy? That guy wasn't real? Was that supposed to scare me? That was like a glitched out ragdoll on the ground. How was that supposed to scare me? The heck? Smoke powder. Dry smoke, uh, plume of smoke when explodes. Fly. Component. Oh, okay, cool. Bread flour. Interesting. After I did that, Brian started getting huge donos. Yes, that's usually, I mean, like hype trains, you know, don't. A lot of people on Twitch will do like subathons and stuff too, like trying to get people to, to get them uh, or to get up in, in subscribe. Um, subscribers on Twitch are different, they're paid subs. But yeah, that's, that's usually how it goes, you know. The more people donate, the more people want to like contribute to the train and it's hype train stuff. It's been like that for years on online and stuff. It's really good though, I mean, it helps out, you know. But uh, it doesn't, it, it, you know, even the little like dodgy donate one, it's like it still means a lot. Everything adds up. Got to go make that money. Take care, dodgy. Have a good day and uh, get some coffee in you.
No emotions. Did it with all his Call of Duty mobile dono money. Yes! He did, didn't he? Look at all these rats over here. Uh, he has, he has, uh, he has helped out a lot. He has helped out a lot here, for sure. I'm gonna ask him who started the gifted train now, right? No emotions. <laughs> I'm just messing around with no emotions. I mean, he, he, for all intents and purposes, probably could. It's just funny. It just makes me laugh. It's like, it was me, Dust. It's like, oh, shit. Mysterious mask. You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your fingers, your finger on it. When... Where it was. But at this rate, it looks pretty cool. So you decide to keep it in your room. Why does that kind of look like the Thief game? It looks like the mask from Thief, but it's not. Mysterious mask. Huh. That's pretty cool. Dishonored. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Dishonored. Doesn't it remind you of Dishonored mask? Do these guys work on Dishonored? These... This studio. Sorry, I meant to say Dishonored. I, my brain said Thief, but it meant Dishonored. I swear to God, the same week I dropped him 1k, people started coming out of the woodwork. 50 here, 100 there. Yo, I don't know. I can't, I can't really. That's awesome. Like, that is awesome. I'm just, I'm just not. I can neither confirm nor deny that statement. But if you did that, which I'm assuming you did. I, I'm assuming you did. That's amazing, brother. That's great. Then I chilled out. Then you chilled out. Yeah, because it does get, you know, you're throwing these streamers lots of money. It does get pretty, it's pretty crazy every now and then. That's why I tell people, like, I've, I've been in situations where people are throwing me hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, bro, stop. Save your fucking money, man. Like, stop throwing me so much money. You have to eat. You know? Uh, people just get, you know what it is, right? People get a little tipsy. They get, they start drinking. And then they, and then the donos start flying on, like, Friday nights and stuff like that. A lot of people do that. Nails. These are long stainless steel nails that are kind of typical, typically used in constructions. So they make great shrapnel. This component can be used. Oh, okay. So we got another crafting. But, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I try to entertain people as best as possible. Sometimes this is nice for people to, like, get away for a bit. It gives them kind of, like, a reason to... What the hell? What are you doing? Get out of here. It gives people, you know, a little bit of an out to have fun and let, let loose and just kind of chill out with the community, have some fun, chat, see how the week was going. Just like a friendly, nice community to hang out with. So, and you know, people tend to appreciate that in their, their daily lives, you know. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it is a refreshing feeling. That's a good way to put it. Because you, you know... You, it's what we it's what we do we try to we just try to chill and it, it's it's kind of like a bit of an escapism but it's also like a healthy way because you're you're getting like a live feedback like you could watch a tv show and a tv show is fun but there's something special about a live stream and what it gives you you know just for um especially interactive live streams like we try like these kind of games we can do it a lot more like if i play call of duty i'm not going to be interacting right parmy good to see you man what's up baby it is it is the mask it's on. Oh, okay. Okay, it is the mask from Dishonored. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's why I said I said thief, but I meant Dishonored. Uh, I'm the same. I get drinking in Dust Town Games Library. It gets bigger. Yeah, yeah. It tends to happen a lot. I've noticed over the years. I mean, I have been streaming for like three years, and it tends to be where people are feeling a little bit more emotional and they're drinking the juice, and I'm like, hell yeah, man, I fucking love Dust Town, bro. Here's a hundred bucks or here's fifty bucks or whatever. Here's ten. Here's five. It doesn't even matter what the amount is, but it's 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 a uh, it's a good, it's a good feeling. I mean, definitely, it's a good feeling. As long as they're getting enjoyment out of it, I mean, all I can do is strive to to entertain people, and get, I want, I want it to be reciprocal, right? I want them to have a good feeling. I want them to enjoy themselves. That's all that matters to me. I was thinking about doing the same for you. Once we get a full server, drop a huge dono and get the money flowing in. Get a full server. What does that mean? I was thinking about doing the same for you once we get a full server drop, a huge dono, a full server. Do you mean like once we get a bunch of people watching the stream? Full server like that? Is that what you mean? Once we get a full server. Uh, Parmy Blue says, what's up? I got advice from a 50 cent podcast. I got that advice from a 50 cent podcast. What was that? 
What advice? Oh, full stream server. Yeah, yeah. How many people? 18 people watching now. I mean, actually, ever since like Brian raided last time, a lot of you guys have been coming and hanging out, which is nice. Kind of averaging around 20 people. Um, but it's it's hard. Variety streaming is hard, especially when you're a smaller creator. And I do a lot of interactive chat, which it, it puts people off sometimes, especially when I'm playing. So there's some games I can do it, and there's some games I can't. But Steve Adeptus, good to see you, man. How you doing, man? Smash that like. Hell yeah, Steve. How you doing today? I don't know what I was wondering the same thing, Dust. Don't know. I was wondering the same thing. What's up, Alpha? What were you wondering? I said like 50 things there. I don't even remember what I said. Can I not open that door? Maybe I screwed up and I was supposed to like climb those boxes. And the only way to get in is through like a roof or something. You know what I mean? Maybe I screwed it up. About the full server. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what he meant, full server. He just means more people on the channel or on the stream thing. Uh, you know what, dude? My biggest thing is building, like, a community. I mean, dude, I could do mass appeal stuff. Reason, thank you for the 10, brother. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you very much. Guys, get some love for Reason in the chat. I could do a mass appeal thing, which which tends to lead in more people, right? But I love keeping my chat with, like, pretty level-headed dudes and chicks, like people in general. Like, my chat is really... Uh, my community is really, very cool. Like, I, 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 could, I could hang out with, like, just one of you guys for a day and just stream. And we would vibe all day and kick it and have fun and talk. Like, that's what I like about my channel. And then now we have, like, hundreds of people with kind of similar mentalities. Pretty open-minded people. Very relaxed, very chill. We have jokes. We, we you know, we're, we're on the level. It's great. Reason, thank you for the $10 donation, dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Reason's another one. He's a ledge. I fucking love Reason Dixon, dude. Um, Reason, thank you very much for the 10. I uh, appreciate you very, very much. And get some love in the chat. No emotions. 50 said uh, he made the most money online while live interviews said there's like 30,000 people watching live. One guy sent an anonymous dono and the rest started pouring in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No emotions. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it is a tactic. There's tons of tactics people use online. Um, it's even stuff like, uh, for example, if there if there's some hype stuff going on. Uh, so if you have a significant other or friends or cousins or whatever, you turn to them and you say, yo, if you see like there's like 100 people watching, just like I'll pay you. Just throw in like a $100 donation and like say like hype train shit. Do, do people do people view bot on, on YouTube and on uh, I don't do it uh, on Twitch. People view bot. People pay for subscribers or followers. People pay. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you can do to generate hype, right? Fake hype or real hype to an extent. But yeah, that is a tactic to to make money. I could I could easily go to Toasty and say, Hey, Toasty, uh, make a fake account, right? It, it would be hard with her because it would show up as Canadian money. So I'd have to do it with somebody else, right? But I'd say make an account. And I'm going to pay you $200 and I want you to do a $200 donation on my stream and then type in the chat thing like, yo, hype up, you know, don't know train. Maybe even maybe you could even do it like five, 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 five and stuff like that. And I've seen it happen before where people will do that. But there's tons of levels of like how to generate money and how to like, you know what I mean, dude? There's tons. But yeah, it's that's definitely a piece that, that is definitely an informational tool. Reason. Thank you for the freaking 10, dude. Blue Assassin, Groupon code, Asha Harris. Um, is that it? That's all Parmy? Come on, what the fuck? Give Reason some love, motherfuckers. Where's the hashtags? What's going on here? More hashtags for Reason Dixon. Reason, my man, thank you very much. Sorry for swearing, but you all need to give Reason more love, and it makes me upset that you're not. I don't see enough hashtags for my friend Reason. I was first. Oh shit, Alpha, my bad. Yeah, Alpha, thank you. Sorry, I didn't see the hashtag. Alpha, thank you, thank you. Yeah, bro, don't piss me off. You don't want to. You don't like me when I'm angry. Actually, you probably do like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Knowing people. Steve, thank you for the hashtag. Cool, cute clips. Oh, cool's here. Cool likes these games. Cool likes this game. Cool. What's up, baby? How you doing today? And Steve, I think I missed what you said. I don't know if you're doing alright today. Hope you're doing good. No emotions. Thanks for the hashtags for a reason. Reason Dixon. I like this guy up here. Uh, 
Gotta wait till he turns around. Got him. Kill 10 enemies using sneak. This looks good, Steve. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Well, I did not expect this. Yeah, I did not expect that. Oh, okay. Just ride me, girl. Yeah. Well, that's great. I never knew they could even do that. I thought, see, that's the beautiful thing about burning the bodies in the last game. Uh, that couldn't have happened, but I guess in this one, you're just pretty much prone to, to yeah, just go through it, just deal with it. <sighs> that rat is juiced up. Parmy, yeah, he is. <laughs> Doing fine, Dusty. I didn't want to interrupt while you were having a heart opening, heart opening moment. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're doing good, man. <laughs> Uh, you in the community for keeping me entertained while I'm working. Hell yeah, Reason. Thank you, brother. Yeah, man. Thanks for joining in. I always appreciate it. I always appreciate it, dude. I wonder if we can glitch inside this... ...train. That'd be cool if we could, like, glitch ourselves inside the train. What happened in my... Look at my arm. <laughs> you guys see what my arm is doing? happened to my arm there that was weird anyways um yeah cool i hope you're doing good steve's doing all right so this looks good uh no emotions i'm sorry i always hashtag people but i but you don't always hashtag people you got some pizza gotta give a few moments to respond oh is that why you were bitching about overcharged pizza <laughs> that's why you were talking about pizza you're like why do they charge so much for the pizza man fallen mobius on okay so Okay, you can see it on my... So it is in this v vehicle. So do I jump on top of this? It's gotta be on top of the roof then. Right? W-E. No? How the hell do you get into this? What's this? That work? No, oh, it's not working. It says W-E, like there is a climbing point here, but it just doesn't want to climb. You know what I'm saying? This, isn't that weird? There's a point where it says W-E. So it's clearly the, the weapon. Oh my God, it's here. I'm just, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh shit. Okay, I don't like this game. I don't like this game, man. I don't even have the axe anymore. Where did the axe go? I thought I had an extra axe. <sighs> Bullshit. At least we found out where we needed to go. I could just run away from her the other way. It's kind of my bad for running down there. I thought I could run and then like break her line of sight, but no. That's not the way it's going to work. Let's do this again. There's a bunch of new stuff that I'd never expect in this game. Zombie on roids, yeah. Uh, Gertrude, thanks for the hashtag. Oh, this is a guy this time. What? Switch to zombie.
Okay, definitely stamina. Alright, so that eye icon means that he's looking for me. I made a delivery. The delivery was 150 worth of food. They gave me a dollar fifty tip. It's a grind sometimes. Dude, can't you deny? Can't you pre-request the tip before you even take the job? Dodgy. Can't can't you do that? I'm 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 sure I know with where we're from, the price of the tip is included in the delivery of the item. So if if you see that the tip is low, you don't even have to take it. Read my first message before. No. Alpha Wolf, it's too far up now. The look of his arm, Dusty. Yes, that's why you're laughing. And then you said, read my first message before the arm, Dusty. It's gone. It's gone, Alpha. I can't. It's gone. It's in the future. It's in the past. And that is too slow. All right, I missed it. It's not going to happen anymore. It's gone. I can't see the tip until after I deliver. What? That's bullshit. I know where we're from. Like, they automatically charge you a tip rate. So, like, we were going to order KFC the other day. It was $70. It was like a $9 tip. Already before the order was even delivered, it's, they told us how much it's going to be tip-wise. So you can't see the tip until after I deliver. Bro. You're too slow. You're too, you're too slow. Look faster. <laughs> Dude, I can't even see out this bush. <laughs> Alpha, you tune in on Sundays when I can actually just dedicate my time to chat, okay? You make sure you tune in. You know, you can hide in the bed of pickup trucks. You can lay low, lay down, but you can squat. You can't lay down, but you can squat in them. Oh, really? Asha, I didn't. I'm going to try that out. I didn't know that. Assassin's Creed that bitch, Dusty. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Asha, I'm going to have to check that out. A lot of brain goop right there. My camera. That is a nice freaking. I got chromatic abbreviation on, so it's creating some weird lens flare thing, but it's fine, anyways. Investigate. Where I'm from, you can't see a tip either until the delivery is made. They can see the tip if you tip while paying for the food. What I usually do is ask for the receipt. They take with them and write. A tip on the receipt. Yeah, where I'm from, I think tips already pre-included because, like, that's that's just that's just a. Uh, Do, do they, like, uh, the thing with, like, uh, Uber Eats or whatever, Just Eats, I don't even know which one's dot Jaji's doing. Do, they don't even pay you, like, an hourly rate. It's all based off tips, right? Isn't it? Um, although, I don't know. Like, there's no hourly rate. The only money you're making is from tips. Am I correct? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. You're not, like, paid an hourly wage or something like that. Sure. Doesn't feel like a tip if it's included, to be honest. Well, the thing is, you're paying for the driver delivery fee. So the tip is kind of like the delivery fee. Um, Just the tip, boys. Uh, thank you, Alpha. Nice. Uh, Targs, what's up, man? Good day, Dust Town. Destination in chat. Hello. Uh, not doing so good. Back in the hospital having urology surgery today. There is a blockage from my left kidney. A blockage from the left kidney. So your urinary tract is all... Hard to pee. Ah, Targs, man. Much love, dude. I hope, uh, I hope they can figure out what's going on. Yeah. Shit, dude. 
having a surgery today. Much love, Targs. Thanks for hopping in, man. I'll send some thoughts and prayers. I hope I hope the surgery goes good. Yeah, I am sorry to hear about it, Targs. I hope everything goes okay. Some blockage from the left kidney. I hope you don't have any kidney stones. Give everybody a tip who is willing. Russian bot, what's up, man? Targs, much love, though, dude. It's good to see you. Thank you for hopping in. They have suggested tip, but people often lower it. DoorDash. Okay, DoorDash. It might be with DoorDash, maybe. <laughs> Give everybody the tip who is willing correctly. Only cash you get is from tips. Oh my god, Wolfie. Yeah, he's going crazy, eh, Asha? Stay strong, Targs. Yes, cool. We get paid a portion of the delivery fee, but our major part of the pay is... Oh, okay, so you get a portion of the del delivery fee. What's your portion out of 150? Like, eight bucks or something? I just thought it was a percentage of what you spent... So they get that on top of the delivery. Um, and then on top of that, you're looking for a tip as well. Right? That's essentially what it comes down to. Parmy says he's thinking of you. Hope you're doing good, Targs. Yeah, man. 5%. It's always 5% of whatever it is. No emotions. Hey, Dodgy. Yeah? So we got an ammo pouch upgrade. A nylon pouch is used to carry additional handgun bullets. This is very nice. This is new. This is very cool. 5% delivery plus tip. Yes, yes. I just don't know. It could be 100. It could be 5. The delivery fee from the restaurant is usually about $5. So we get two of that 5 plus tip. Delivery fee from the restaurant. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you, Dodge. It would be nice if it was like a baseline uh, percentage amount. Yeah, it would be good if it was a baseline percentage amount. You know? But yeah, that's, that's a bit of a tough one, man. $100, $100 and then to have a uh, $1.50 tip on $100 delivery is kind of like, bro. What do we got here? We got some kind of a tripwire. This wasn't here before. Why is this here now? Guys, what the hell? Do you see this? What is this crap? Do you see this wire? Why is this here? Wire. Why are you here? You're not real. You're not real. Okay, you are real. Kind of cool. That's kind of bullshit, though, man. Like, that tripwire should not have been there at all. So you gotta watch out for those cameras, okay. Yeah, I used to deliver pizzas, but that I was employed, yeah, whereas I think it works different. Very nice, yeah, no emotions, that's great. Let's just offer marijuana with our pizza delivery. Um yeah, it's different for like pizza delivery people who, who are employed by a company versus uh, people who just work in tips. But yeah, you know, um, so it's it's a it's a it's a flat rate off the delivery fee. But then that's kind of bullshit because like if the the order is a hundred dollars worth of items and the delivery fee is always a flat rate, right? Isn't the delivery fee a a fee always like eight dollars or something like that so then that means that on like a two hundred dollar delivery you're um you're still only a base level delivery fee weed with pizza what did i miss sign me up 
Eat my butt, lady. Alpha? What? How am I supposed to get supplies if every cache is overrun with those things? Shit. Shotgun gels. Every cache is overrun with those things. Oh, I squatted in her face. Straight up. That's how I roll. That way we don't ever have to face any of our problems. Get a little poo poo caca in the face, what? I wanted, my, I wanted my money, plus I knew the people I went on route to, so yeah, 20 a G, plus delivery, plus tip. That's double the price of what it should have been. I guess you're gonna play double the price, considering that I'm delivering it to you. You want the weed or not, man? You want to enjoy this nice weed? What if they punched you in the face and then peed on your nice new Nikes? Let's see if we can get back in there and... That's, that's uh, not bad, though. These guys are all just running around here like wild people. Wild folks. We can let them do their thing. Supposed to get supplies if every cache is open. Pee on my my nice new knackies. Straight Cali fire. You can only get 20 a G. Dude, I'm from Canada, bro. We we have really good weed here. Um, so the way I do it so that I ensure that I'm not working for nothing usually unless it's really slow if is if the dollar amount is doubled the mileage is worth it dollar amount is doubled the mileage is worth it yeah 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 dodgy 20 a G plus delivery plus tip F that we got Cali top shelf here in the UK for way less than that if you know the right people you need more pizzas I'm on my way dusty <laughs> Asha the, the plug I got stuff charged 20 a G because it was Cali fire super potent. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, everything. Everything's based on percentage of THC, right? So super potent usually in a, in a layman's terms. It means like anything that's like above 27% THC. But uh, I mean, everything's varied. Um, but yeah, no, in Canada, like. We were kind of the first to legalize marijuana, and like you've you've obviously heard of terms like BC bud and you know genetically engineered marijuana. Um, so we've had we've had some very high grade um, THC that has been in or around in in Canada. They they have a well known reputation for having really high quality. Although Cali, what there's something in that truck. Cali also does. Uh, but it's mostly like, what is it, like Ma Ma Maui Wowie and all that kind of shit. Like California Gold or whatever, I don't know. 
and, and it's all right. I mean, it's it's good quality stuff, but I would never spend twenty dollars for a, a gram, uh, no matter how good this shit is. That's way too overpriced. Like, I, I would never do that. But I don't even smoke weed anymore, so. But uh, people will pay that. People will pay that, no doubt. Hundred percent, brother. People will pay that money. Fuji do. Oh, we can just keep milk in this place? Really? had Godzilla weed bro fire <laughs> Godzilla weed no uh B B's Blizz bud was lush back in the day BLZ what's BLZ bud a Blizz bud BC's B BC bud uh plus it was illegal so I could have been locked up for dealing yeah no people are gonna play yeah I'm not saying that, like that's people are gonna buy it for sure for sure if, if if the market is the way the market is the way it is i i just me personally i would never pay that much then again i wouldn't pay anything because i don't smoke weed anymore so and it defeats the purpose right you don't do it you just don't do it anymore But hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Shit, that guy's coming back. Isn't there a first person mode in this game? Because, like, this is fucking hard to see. THC, the happy cheese. The happy cheese. Dodgy. Sorry, I'm gonna have to avoid chat here because uh, I'm in a very, I'm a bit of a bit of a particular situation where it requires my focus. Sorry. What are these guys doing? They are all over the show. Okay, I just levitated across to the next platform, and I swear that door is closed. Okay, never mind. That door is not closed. It's just a glitch. Beetlejuice. Godzilla. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Weed. Um, one sec, guys. I got shit to do, okay? Daddy's got to work here. 
Do you want to? Do you want to be subscribed to a loser channel? Somebody who loses all the time? Or you want to be subscribed to a winner? That's what I thought. Let me work. That he's got to win. Oh shit! That he's that he's in trouble. That he's got to go. That guy spotted me. Good old U.S. of A. I think I gotta hit that guy on the ground, actually. I could have had him. Got him. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. We're good. So, yes. Alpha and it may have some memory loss effect. Godzilla. I don't smoke any more Russian, but when I did, I tried that Godzilla, bro. Shit is lit AF. Like, okay, I'll put it to you like this, okay? You can call weed white rhino, black widow, chimichanga, gazonga, Miami power, super duper rat smoke, Mary Jane piss in your face, fun time. I don't care what you call your weed, okay? Marijuana is all based on the percentage of THC that that plant contains, which is really keef or crystals. All right? So Godzilla weed means nothing to me other than the weed sounds funny. All right, you could name your weed purple fucking nurple for all I care, and it has a 14% THC rating. It's Sense Amelia. All right. Now, if we're talking about marijuana with a higher THC percentage, yeah, it probably had a pretty high THC percentage, and that's great. But no, I've never tried the Godzilla weed. I mean, I probably have tried Godzilla weed. Have you tried the King King Kong piss in your face fun time weed? God, that shit's amazing. Godzilla is a pure indica strain. See, indica right off the bat is not even the highest strains that you can get. The highest strains are all sativa. Indica is a sleepy kind of weed. And indica strain is like low in general. So a sativa strain is a higher breed of strain. All right, that's just the reality of it. Sativa gets you really high. Indica makes you really sleepy and hungry. Uh, but you can get, you can mix those up really. You can get high indica strains too. But anyways, bred from God Bud Genetics, named after the monstrous effect it tends to produce. Godzilla is reviewed to be both a sedating and euphoric experience last time. Cool. The US, they try to... Oh, God, I'm not reading that one. What are you fucking talking about? Jean Reno Godzilla weed. Jean Reno Godzilla weed. Guess it passes the time. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this chat turned into. I, you know what? It's always no emotions starting shit. No emotions. What the fuck are you talking about? He's always, he's always, he's always the one starting to shit now. He's a new shit stir. He's always starting shit in the chat, talking a bunch of weird, random stuff. What is he talking about? Quiet. He's saying bad words in my chat. I don't like it. This is the stir of Le Pot. Didn't look like the King Kong piss in your face oh, weed, yeah. That's right. Union citizen, dude. Does she not know she's like a construct? She's in a... F Red gel. This mysterious red blood red liquid is used to open locked skill upgrade round. Oh, okay. That's cool. Red gel. It's a new one. Anyways. 
I'm just telling dude that the drug life out here leads to butt stuff in max prisons. Yeah, I mean that's the way it works. We yeah. I think I think we're all aware of the criminal offense that drugs have. Yeah. No one's going to prison to trade weed for butt stuff. I mean, hey dude, you can do whatever you want. You can have whatever you like. You, knew, you seem to know a lot about the butt stuff. Ooh, another pipe. Speaking of butt stuff. Dude, I spent like a good amount of time on these tr in this train section and it's been great so far. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's been really fun. in there. Hey, did I not destroy these bot? Maybe I did last time. High grade weapon parts. These components are high quality and they can be used to unlock weapon upgrade potential. Very nice. I used to work in many different prisons when I got out of the army. Experience speaks louder than words. Dodgy. I want to clear out one of my, our closets and grow a couple of plants myself. Yeah. I was a corrections counselor. They would love a corrections officer in jail. What? What's that supposed to mean? No emotions? The corrections? He was a jail guard dude, right? Corrections counselor. Jail dude. My cousin did that. He works in real estate now. Surely the screws are the prime suspect. Well, a screw. Any counseling issue I had to help inmates with was PTSD, getting stabbed, rapaded, etc. You spelled erection wrong emotions. Did you correct them with butt stuff? <laughs> yeah. The chat has now, as we can see, in the wild YouTube chat, they have decided to Team up against one of the s smaller hyena packs known as No Emotions, who has threatened the chat with butt stuff and awkward conversations. They have now f unilaterally formed a group of unspoken vows to attack No Emotions in a funny and peculiar way. He has now realized and he has no power in this chat and will slowly conform to the ways of the natural order of chat. New meanings to my door is always open. Oh god, pardon me. Uh, about knowing a lot about butt stuff that no emotions says about the corrections officers, which makes me think he did things for, for inmates. Ah, yes. Humor me more. Jokes aside, at no emotions. I bet that was an actual, actually, a pretty interesting job. My my cousin does it, uh, or did it. I don't know if he still does it. Uh, I think it's kind of weird, but then again, somebody's got to do it, I guess. The pay is pretty good. I was a counselor, not a guard. And this brings up so many more questions. No emotions. No emotion says uh, no. No emotion says no one told me about this. I had to find out myself. And he got a present from the inmates. No doubt interesting, but probably see people at their lowest. Very true. However, some I imagine are in their element. Your cousin does butt stuff dust? <laughs> Apparently. I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> Shit, Dodgy. How did you know? Fuck. Do you have cameras in my bathroom? What's going on here? How did he know about that? Who told you about that? No emotions. Friend name was Bubba. Bubba. Bubba, 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 Bino.
physical, f psychological issues. The prison helped them recover from psychological issues. Yeah, probably they do that stuff nowadays. They don't do that nowadays, you know. Them dang old kids. Them psychological issues. What? What's that? When I was young, it seemed that life was so wonderful. A miracle. Oh, it was butter from prison guards. And all the birds in the trees, oh, they'd be singing so joyfully. So happily. Oh, playfully. Watching me. From butt stuff. Oh, daddy. It tried to help sick minded F's with their twisted minds. <laughs> you sound like the epitome of a well spoken uh, counselor. I can believe. I can totally see you going to a college course and developing your counseling skills with such great literary devices like I tried to help sick minded fucks with their twisted minds. Absolutely breathtaking. Honestly, I would. I think that's great A speech for a counselor working in our re reforming reforming our inmates that's a, that's amazing takes one to know one no emotions oh shit mad max is like i quit because i couldn't help it couldn't help what of the inmates they're sick fucking twisted minds so touching dusty yes yes very so touching yes Hey man, don't be making fun of me, Dust. Dust, why are you always attacking me for, man? Fuck you, Dust. Dust, fuck you, man. Honestly. I'm just waiting for the day of... I think No Emotions one day is just going to tell me to go fuck myself. He's going to get really mad at me. It's, it's going to happen eventually, right? It always does. Eventually, it always happens. It's like, hey man. Ah. Couldn't help doing the butt stuff, says Max. Love you too, Parmy. Parmy! Not enough lube. Squirrel Master ain't gonna be there for you all the time. Next time I want some of that cocktail fruit. Back off, nasty Nate. That's right, I'm somebody's bitch. <laughs> what? I couldn't help them. Uh, had a guy tell me that touching the little people made him feel uh, younger. Yeah, the merbles. Yeah, the merbles. It fills, it fills them up with merbles if, when they touch them in their no-no zones. Yes, and that uh, he doesn't understand why it was a bad thing. You try to work a job like that. I mean, he is in prison, right? So yeah, it's true, uh, definitely. But I mean, that's kind of what it entails when you're when you're when you're a prison reform counselor. You're going to be working with s some pretty heinous individuals. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's a reality we live in. Yeah, it's it's not a, pl a pleasant thing to deal with. That's for sure. But I heard, yeah, their merbles make them younger, feel younger. Don't touch me, no. This is my no-no zone. No, don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. Yes, it's a terrible thing. It's, 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 it's terrible. There's no other way around it. It's just a shit show. Just help him to that sparky chair. Eh, straight up, yeah. Straight up, baby. Get over here, boy. Is that God of War? What are you talking about? Who's honking this horn, by the way? This guy? I need this worse than you do, pal. Is that a new gun or something? It looks like, uh. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, hello. Okay, so I'm forced to take damage there? That's great. Yeah, that's a great one. Force me to take damage. That's amazing. Laser sighted handgun, okay. What the hell, man? How fair is that? The game auto forces you to take damage. Stupid. Okay. 
One sec. Sorry, I still gotta get the uh, controls down. Change type. So, are all these considered? Okay, sweet. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Actually, I like that. Um, you could help a one guy or two, but not all of them, to be honest. Cool LQ. I don't know if that has a funny con con connotation to it. You could help one guy or two, but not all of them. I don't know if you were trying to be funny or if you are actually being serious, but either way, you're right. Just help him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that one. I walked out of the room, hit the buzzer, and said, I'm done with them. <clears throat> they put a live monster in front of me laughing about touching kids. I mean, dude, that's what you have to expect. It's a prison. It's a prison. All right? No emotions. This is a prison. There's murderers and rapists. There's bad, bad people that go into these, these things. That's that's how it works. And I mean, if you're a counselor, there's usually a lot of training to be a counselor at a prison system. It's not just like, hey, you over there, you eating a cheeseburger? Hey, you want a job at the local penitentiary? You want to be a counselor for these prisoners? Oh, okay, finish your cheeseburger. Then no emotion walks over. Hey, so I heard you guys are hiring at the local penitentiary. Yeah, we're looking for counselors. You're going to be working with rapists and pedophiles, uh, murderers. Are you in? Uh, honestly, I think that'd be a good decision. Okay, come on down. Come on down. We'll see you next Tuesday. You come on Tuesday. Finish your burger. Come in on Tuesday. We'll start you as being uh, a counselor to help these guys with the PTSD. These fucking murdering scumbags. We want you, this random guy that we picked up in the fucking McDonald's. You. It's not how it works. They usually hire people that have had a substantial amount of training on dealing with... You know, this kind of things. But, hey, listen, I don't know your life. I don't know. I don't know the size of your butthole. You know what I mean? Uh, but that's not, not what I was talking about. You read my message way too late and not knowing what it entails. That's why I love you, Dusty. I have no clue what you're talking about, Alpha. I love you too, man. Uh, well, I said, to be honest, Dust, it's, it's not just Zoomer talk, baby. TBH. Oh, yeah, true. Honestly. Yeah, you were trying to riz me up there, weren't you? You took the job, bro. You took the job, baby. For your name being no emotions, you're sure being emotional. That's what Toasty and I were laughing about. Toasty and I were like, because like no emotions came in. And, and for all intents and purposes, I like no emotions. I'm just messing around sometimes. I like to have fun, right? You guys know that. But I finished the stream one time. I was like, yeah, this no emotions guy, He just he's new to the channel. And I turned to Toasty. And Toasty's like, you know, for... For a guy named No Emotions, he sure does have a lot of emotion. And I'm like, yeah, he does, right? <laughs> like, we just laughed about it. Uh, I love No Emotions, though. He's he's he brings he brings a bit of like he brings a definite like a holy sp like a spice, you know? Doesn't he bring a spice? I think he has a certain spice, a certain flair element of like flamboyancy. Just lets it fly. For your name being, oh, I already read that. Hello, boys. Drago, what's up, baby? Did you know everyone is innocent in prison? Uh, no, Drago. Drago, what are you talking about? So you're telling me all those people I locked up, they're all innocent? I didn't get educated on sex offenders. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's just... Yo, honestly, dude, I don't think anybody's educated on sex offenders. Join the club. There's enough education for sex offenders. Yes. I'm just saying, we live in a fucked up world, okay? There's a lot of there's a lot of fucked fucked up shit that happens, all right? I'm just over here playing my video games trying to find Union City Hall. What do you want me to tell you? How am I supposed to get supplies if every cache is overrun with those things? How am I supposed to get supplies if shit? How am I supposed to get supplies if every cache is overrun with those things? I should do it. You're not getting out of there, shit heels. Supplies if every cache is overrun with those things. I should do it. You're not getting out of there. Okay. How am I supposed to 
Holy shit, there's somebody outside there making a real, real mess. Um, steps up to educate them where the end of the shotgun is. Oh, Mad Max. Yes, I mean, people, people are um, really messed up, right? And there is a lot of, there's a lot of bad things that happen in life. Yes. Tired AF, got back from gym, spared, sparred with coach, got my ass whooped. Drago, yeah, what were you sparring with? Gay sex? <laughs> Alpha Wolf, that's like telling a sadistic serial killer to slow down on its killing. Not enough words to suffice. Prolific serial killer. Listen, guys, I don't have all the answers for this, okay? I don't know what you're expecting me to... to, to, to. Well, well, yes, yes. Ass whooped, you say? Looks like butt stuff is happening also outside of prison. Cool LQ, that's what I said. My name is No Emotions because I used alcohol to drown out my inner demons. But then I got sober. Being out of the army and into society has made me soft. Because we can't just punch or shoot things to blow off steam. I mean, you can. You can hit punching bags and you can shoot targets down range. Um, even in the military, No Emotions. You weren't allowed to shoot and punch whatever you wanted to. Try going up to your CO and punching him or shooting him and watching how that works, right? So you can, my friend. And I am it does suck that you're drinking to, to, to numb the pain. That's that's a shit that's a shit show to begin with. And it's not an easy thing. But we all have our battles, my friend. Every one of us has our battles. There's people here that you would never expect dealt with some shit that they dealt with in life but it's true there's tons of people even in this chat right now who have dealt with things that were tragic and terrible they have had issues but you never would have known it never know see the thing is you you don't know what you don't know but you only know what you know you know I'm telling you yes i am quite violated <laughs> Draco. yeah we can just uh we can, but then you'll be in prison again, just on the other side, but yeah, other other side of the butt stuff. My point was active duty on deployment. We gotta take our our anger on ops just on the right targets. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you can shoot people. That's what you were trained to kill people. Um but that that's you know, that's uh yeah, you could you could uh, you could be a fighter or a boxer, you could you could be a fisherman, you kill fish. You could, you could kill, murder all the fish you want if murdering is what you want to do. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I don't know what to tell you. You're, you, you're not, you're not in the military. Anymore. It's over. It's, it's all done. I mean, what about the people in Vietnam, man? They were sent there for twenty fucking years to do bullshit. All right, those guys went crazy and shit too. They're all going crazy. Haven't we learned that violence is not working? It's not working, man. I'd rather not kill either. Yeah, killing's killing's not really the greatest way to get over everything. In some situations, to an extent. It's not really the first thing to deal with. We all have our demons, says Parma. Yes, we do. Yes. Find a way to fight with demons, my friend. Exercise is a good way. Exercise is good. Yeah, Drago's right. Drago's pretty positive-minded, dude. He's from fucking... Where are you from? Are you Serbian or Syrian? You Serb Serbia or Syria? I can't remember again, Drago. What was it? Not Syria. Drago was in Syria? Just to be a serial killer, bro. It's awesome. Alpha, shut the fuck up. Killing was what fucked me up in the start. Killing. War never changes. Why are we born? Just to suffer? To die? I mean, yes, dude. But like like I say to everybody that I've known who's been, who's had a military career, right? And I know I'm an asshole. I know I'm a piece of shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a fucking idiot. I get it, right? But what I've told every single person who's ever... Because I've been live streaming for a very long time. And let me tell you, you're not the first man I've come across who's had a military career and who's been troubled by their military career, right? But what I tell every single person who says that to me, I said, you are the one who signed up to join the military. United States have not had conscription since Vietnam. Nobody put a gun to your head and said you need to join and go fight for your country and kill people 
and get trained to, to learn how to murder people, right? This is true. This is an inherent truth. Nobody forced you to do it. You're the one who went and did that out of your own initiative. Now, maybe life was kind of shit. Maybe your dad beat you. Maybe your mother was an alcoholic. I don't know what your story is. But fundamentally, that was a choice that you made on your own. You weren't conscripted into it, right? That was a choice. Now, most people who have served in the military understand that, yes, this was a choice that I made. Whether you were on special forces, whether you were army or navy or whatever the case may be, you made that choice yourself. Nobody else forced you. So, you can go around saying, I make stupid fucking choices and I decided to join the military and it fucked me up mentally because I didn't realize that I was joining a, an organization that's literally meant to train me how to kill people and defend my country because that's what the army is or the navy or whatever it is. They train you for, for to use um, tools to murder other people. Um, and if you were totally devoid of that, then maybe there's something else going on, right? Maybe there's something else. And this is what I mean. So, yes, it sucks, but it's also something you volunteered for. I did it to correct. Well, then you, but you still did it, right? And I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing, but you gotta, you gotta recognize, you know, you gotta get down to the the root cause of everything. And the reality of it is like you, among millions of other people that have joined the the service, and I have tons of friends who are active right now. I have friends who are pilots. I have friends who are vets who work with dogs. Who like attack dogs, you know? Uh, I have friends who who uh, apparently claim to be special forces, but never were deployed, but did all the training. Um, who still act like they were deployed and keep saying how they were in war. But anyways, that's another that's another thing. Uh, they get tons of people who come and make claims and do whatever they want to do. But I'll tell you this right now: nobody forced you to go to war. Nobody forced you to join the military. And that's the way life is. Right, and to deny that is to deny Jesus Christ, your Savior. You should never deny Jesus. He's a pretty cool guy. He likes to drink red wine on Friday nights. How am I supposed to get supplies if every cash is overrun with those things? And he has friends who know Mr. Worldwide. That's right. I'm in, Father. Amen. Where was it again, Drago? Where are you from? Serbia. Serbia. You got Drago over here from Serbia, dude. They still use camels to run fucking cars. He's not complaining. We've There's been bombarded in shit tons here. of wars and went through shit. Look at the better side. Down there. Everyone has shit to deal with on a date. Dude, he still uses a camel for rainwater. Drago, he's not complaining. You can be special forces without being deployed. It's based on your training. You don't have to deploy to be... No, you don't, but... There's a fine line between saying I was in special forces. No emotions. And then also saying, I went to Iraq and Afghanistan when you actually didn't go to Iraq and Afghanistan. That you were just trained. There's a, there's a very fine line, my friend. That is what I like to call lying. Or boosting one's own grandeur to seem more... Uh, like, you're boosting your accolades to seem more uh, interesting. Right? Now that's not cool, is it? Is it very cool? Is that a cool thing to stay? To say you were deployed? But meanwhile, if you search your record up, or if you get anybody else in the military that knows your name and searched your record, and you can see that you actually weren't deployed, but you're claiming you were deployed? How does that feel? It's not very nice, is it, to say to other people? You know what I mean? Just because you want to seem like one of the cool kids. The hell's over here? I missed something. I carry on my water on my back for five kilometers away. I don't even have internet. <laughs> um, I'm sitting on lamp post, holding wires connecting to my laptop. <laughs> I have to have a smidge of internet. Not sure why one would say that. You would be surprised about the things on the internet. No emotions. You'd be surprised on the things you come across. Uh, on the World Wide Web and the people that you come across, the people that you meet, the uh, the things that people tell you versus the actions on what re really happens, you know. And and what a lot of it is 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 they they want attention, they need some kind of gratification because they feel inadequate. But people don't realize that they're so special and unique just by themselves, just by living, 
just by being alive. They're unique individuals, but it, the world has twisted them into thinking they need to be something more grand. They need to have a cooler story or, or be uh, a cut above the rest. And, and that's not the reality that we live in. Everybody is uniquely individual like individually you're a unique person and that's hands down what it is only you have your experiences and seen what have you you have seen you can relay that information to other people and just be honest and that's going to be different to 99 percent of the people around you other than your brother or sister and even them they probably have a different lifestyle as well you know but people want to seem special and that's the problem they don't they they, they try so hard to seem special that they're forgetting about how special they actually are with their own thoughts and emotions right <clears throat> Why can't they just be glad uh, they didn't deploy still? Because um, when you train that long to do a service and you never got to actually do your service, it's not really cool to tell people who maybe somebody else who was deployed to say like, hey, you know, I actually trained for everything and I did all this stuff, but I had an injury or I just didn't get around to getting deployed. Um, and, it, and it makes them feel like shit because that's the only thing. It's like training for a job that you'll never do and it sucks, right? So you just lie. You just tell people you did. Right? And it happens. That's what I'm saying, dude. It happens. And there's people that never even did anything at all. And they, and they lie about it. This is the reality. We, we live in a, a world where there's so much difference. There's so much difference. And different people. Right? The only thing... The only difference... You, you don't want to be... You don't want to be a fucking liar. Right? In general, in life. You don't want to be in prison. You don't want to be that dude who's locked up, put in a box. You don't even want to put yourself in a box, but people do it all the time. Right? But anyways, yes, dude, these these people exist. You know they exist. You know you know what it is. Trust me, you know in your heart of hearts you know exactly what it is. Holy shit, dude. Check this bitch out. Holy shit, dude. She just stabbed the fuck out of me, bro. People want to brag how they got deployed. Or this thing Dusty said. Yeah, it's it's an it's a it's a they just they feel inadequate. They a lot of people just feel they live in this they don't feel good enough. And that's the problem with a lot of people. They don't feel good enough. They feel like they're inadequate or they have to prove something to somebody um and that's just the reality we live in. We all, you know, we get caught up in these little traps of whatever. Um, but whatever, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Dude, check out that chick, man. That was crazy weird. She's got a, she's got a knife and everything. You know? What I'm talking about is... is you know, to an extent, mildly formed, like, stolen valor, right? But that's not even the half of it. There's people that, that are locked up in prison for... For, uh... Not even committing crimes. You know what I mean? They didn't even do anything, and they get locked up in prison. Imagine that life. Imagine being disabled, bro. Imagine not having, like, vision or arms. You know? Life could be a lot worse. I had a guy I worked with who claimed to be an army and airborne. What the hell? You're still alive? How is she still... Yo, this chick's on crack, bro. How is she still alive? You got shanked. I did twice. Apparently, the, the kill from behind didn't even work either. What's going on with this chick, dude? She's hardcore. You seeing this? What is going on? Um, I had a guy I worked with who claimed to be army on an airborne unit, and I asked him what the ripcord color was. He said ripcord. <laughs> He's an airborne unit. He doesn't even know what a ripcord is. That's funny. That is, that's a funny joke. Yeah. I don't feel inadequate. You feel, I don't feel inadequate. You feel inadequate. <laughs> yeah. At that point, I just walked away. See, that's the thing. Like, I know things about people that I just... I don't even have to say it because it's pointless. Like, I know this person, and I, and I know lots of people. Uh, every every story that I've stated is true. I know people who've done some pretty bad things. Um, and I know people who are, are liars. I know people who uh, try to cover up things that you hear about and, and you know. But at the end of the day, it's not my point to judge anybody. I don't hold any anybody accountable for some stupid shit online. I don't care what people do with their lives other than just being nice in general in this online platform right i don't care 
People can do whatever they want to do outside. They can lie to whoever they want to. They can talk and do whatever they like. I don't give a fuck about them. What I care about is my girlfriend, soon to be wife. I care about my child and I care about my family. That's it. That's the, the extent. Even, even online, this online stuff, it's great because you guys are my friends. We chill out, we play games. But my concern about life and what I care about is in my control. That's it. Everything else I don't really care about. I care more about my son than any of this crap, you know? True that. Imagine fighting zombies while sitting in a chair eating cream pie. That shit is hard. Ooh, Drago. Got smashed. I got Yo, I'm gonna smash it right now. Emotions. What color is the ripcord so I can sound more convincing when I'm stealing honor? <laughs> Russian pie. Yeah, red. Got it. It's red. Looks like it's hard. Rips a cord. What color do you see? When are you gonna marry that girl, you idiot? Oh, later. I don't know. When we get time. When the sun turns gray on the fourth below moon. Depends on the MOS and rank you have, Russian. What color the ripcord is. I honestly don't know. But I'll tell you this one thing. Anybody who I've known who's actually actively served and who's actually seen combat, they don't they don't fucking talk about it. They don't boast about it. You what you probably won't even know. You oh my god, what happened? You wouldn't even know, brother. You wouldn't even know. Whoa! Dude, why is she so fast? And I, I can't fucking heal because I'm not making these meds. Why is she so fucking fast, bro? How come stabbing her in her face doesn't work either? Fuck. I never talk about it shit I went through. Most people don't. Yes, most people don't. I'm going to be honest with you. Most people, at least at least men uh, from from my point of view, who have either seen combat or been through fucked up experiences, they don't, they don't really care. Why? Because men know how men are. Like, nobody gives a fuck about your struggle or what you've been through. The only people who genuinely care about you are your loved ones, the people closest to you who know you, you know? And, um... Yeah, that's how, like, uh, okay, for example, like, whatever, right? Like, everybody b has been through tragedy, and some people will tell me things that I've actually been through on stream, like, tragedies, and they'll tell me they're going through that or they've been through that, and I'll, I'll totally be compassionate with them and be like, yo, that sucks, and I won't mention the, tra like, the thing that happened to me, even though it was exactly, like, what happened to them. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't even fucking, I don't know why she turned around there for a brief second. She shouldn't have. Right. And it's just it's just one of those things like I don't need to mention I don't need to regurgitate the things that have happened to me to like console somebody else or to say like, hey, man, you know, I don't try to like steal that thunder of them, you know, putting putting themselves out there. And, you know, everybody's different. Right. But the thing is, what I'm trying to explain to you is your the things that happen to you in life don't make you you. All right. What makes you you is like your fun love for life, like your 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 better nature. That's what makes you you not some bullshit uh, you know, a heart, like bleeding heart disease that everybody fucking has or sympathizing on things that aren't really relevant or, or positive to an overall experience. It's, it's mostly the, just getting what's the, the negative thoughts that are inside your head, getting them out and finding out that you're more than just some bullshit, uh, you know, heartbreaking story. Like it's just. Yeah, you know, that's not what everything's written about you. Like, you want to go down as like that guy who's just fucking crying all the time, or do you want to actually like get some shit done? You know? Oh my god, you have to stop, lady. Did she stop? Oh fuck, she stopped. Thank goodness, dude. She is so fast. I don't talk about my service much because of the nature of my. My rate slash MOS. I know, and Russian, you served. I know tons of people who have served. And and the thing is with, and most military men will know this, right? When you served in the military, no matter what your MOS was, whatever your rank was, whatever you did in the military, you volunteered, you signed up, you either enlisted or went into school and became 
a fucking captain or whatever you did to get you know to progress in the military if you wanted a military career you probably didn't go enlisted if you enlisted you're probably a kid like 18 you just didn't know you just joined up right uh didn't think about it as a career but whatever but you made the choice to join and and everybody who's either served or done any military service they know that they did that themselves that they put themselves in that particular situation so when you deal with some shit. I understand this PTSD and this, that, and the other. And most dudes that you know who have been through shit, they don't sit there and regurgitate all the fucking shit that they've been through to everybody. Oh, man, you don't know what I've seen. i seen little kids picking up guns. I had to kill kids, man. And, you know, like, they don't regurgitate. If somebody asks them, like, yeah, it's a tough thing to, to deal with, and, and that's war and war shit. But, you know, out of all the things, I've seen my friends die or all, all this, this, the terrible stories you hear about war. And you think, yeah, that sucks. But guess what, man? You signed up to do that. You signed up to go to war. This is the the like the the crux of it all. It's a terrible fate, but that is fate nonetheless. And it's not demeaning to say like you know I'm taking away something from you, but there has to be some responsibility. I mean, you know, if you train to be a soldier, uh, your survival, you have to take responsibility for your actions. You always have to have a game plan, right? Um, this is just the the way of the world. But some people want to just play this like. Oh man, it was like World War II dropping into Normandy, brother. I uh, fucking landed and uh, little Timmy's got hit with a fucking, you know, an 88 cannon and his legs got blown out from beside him. And then I, I, I rolled him on his leg. I rolled him on all fours and he said, Lieutenant Dan, I can't feel my legs. I said, oh God. And then some French children ran across the road and a mine blew them up and I grabbed them and I held them close. And I cried, I cried so hard, but I got up and I had to fight again. And it was, it's like all these fucking stories, you know, and I've heard tons of them. And yeah, it sucks dick. But guess who signed up to go to war? We don't have no conscription anymore, man. It's all over, man. So please, spare me. And that's why most people who served don't waste time telling other people about their horror stories. Because they know nobody really gives a fuck anyways because they did it themselves. And they put themselves in that situation. And, uh, and that's the, the cold reality of war, is you can serve and die for your country, and nobody will give a fuck about it. And that's what pisses people off the most. That reality. And it sucks. I signed up for a fun time, says Russian. You did. Not stealing thunder, it's talking about similar situations. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right, Gertrude. But I, I've let people, you know, have that. I, would, I wouldn't say, you know, I don't need to reiterate everything that I've been through. If somebody else is going through the same thing, I just try to help them. But... Yeah, you're right. It's not always stealing thunder. Yeah, exactly. But in some, it, the the f frequency that I've had conversations about loss and whatnot, it's like you know w when when somebody says they've lost somebody, you think about the people you've lost, right? So you don't mention it every single fucking time because then it gets redundant. It's just like, okay, yeah, I get it. Did you carry twelve men out of that fight and got shot in the ass, Dusty? That's right, in the uh, Bastogne, man. I got shot in both cheeks. Confuse military service with COD hours. You get that. That's obvious, to be honest. Other countries force you to join the service at like 17, 18. Should I joined at 18? Obviously, uh, you'd be killing other kids. Yeah, that's the thing, man. 18 years old, you're, you're joining. You're, you're signing up. Yeah. And you're right. Some countries do. At like 16, 17, they, they force you to join. Um, it's part of like tradition. It is crazy. If you count that Gertie, I have lots of kills. <laughs> Call of Duty. Uh, you just aren't ready until you're ready. Dude, at 18, you're a kid, man. To join, to like, dude, you're a child at 18. To go and expect you to, to be able to emotionally compartmentalize all of the weird shit that, that that world entails of military service and going to fight and die for your country at 18. It's very, very few and far between that, that that's even a possible, like that anybody could even deal with that. You know what I mean? Even a grown ass man. I don't understand. Oh, whoa, don't point that thing at me. Ken, where are you? I've been looking for you all over the place. Shit, John. What are you doing down here? You weren't supposed to see this. I don't understand. Whoa, whoa, don't point that thing at me. We're best friends, man, come on. I know. And that makes what I have to do even harder. Damn. Stop joking around, man. Sorry, John. But I have to do this. Mobius doesn't allow for mistakes. Mobius? What are are you ready, Drago? <laughs> This guy shot his boy. No bueno. <laughs> T 
Damn, they're everywhere, dude. I can't even open this crate? No? Nothing in this crate, I guess. Weird. Ready to go to sleep soon? Yeah, I know. I know you are, buddy. Uh, you are right, though, in the sense that you know what you're signing up for. Uh, yes, could potentially have you be exposed to some real psychological altering situations. Yes, I, I'm not saying like that's a that's a cop out. Like anybody who joins the military, like ah, who cares? You know what you've seen doesn't matter. It matters substantially, but it's it's the the purpose and meaning behind what you were doing, and and yeah, the stories that you tell. Um, it's it's a it's a it's a tragedy that any young men have to deal with that stuff. Um, but I do believe that th with this generation and the way we glorify war, you know, war was different in World War II. That, I'll, I'll always say this. After World War II, man, um, where we had World War I and World War II, after those days of war, like those wars were, were actually something to, to really like be like, hey, man, this is, um, this is some serious shit. Like this is some crazy stuff. These guys with very little knowledge went, you know, and stepped forward. And then all this, all this stuff you got to ask, like geopolitically, like what's going on here. Um, you know, you get to, to to the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. You get to the war in Vietnam for twenty years. Uh, you get to the wars in Korea and all these uh, like proxy battles, like like America involving themselves in what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. Now, Russia and Ukraine are um, like brother states, like they're cousins. It's like they're fighting each other, and it, and it's just it, it. The whole thing is just. If you look at history and you try to decipher what's going on and read between the lines and see that our involvement is not necessarily the be-all, end-all. And I mean, like, United States and people sending our, our kids to go to war and fight for these countries. You know, it's not. And you look at you look at certain cases. You look at Iraq. What, what did we do in Iraq and Afghanistan and Iran? What did, what did we do in that, pl in that place? What did we really accomplish? What did the Russians do there either? Like, nothing. We just fucked it all up. You know, and it's the same with Vietnam. Like, what do we do? What do we do there? Stopping communism, the rise of communism. Like, shit, man. I guess that's what we do. We just throw guys. We just throw young men from the United States. Yeah, just go over there and fucking die. You know, and that's the answer. And it's like, there's got to be a better way, right? So you, you try to look at alter alternate solutions, but um, the psychological effects are, are terrible. And I hate to see people go through that. I hate to see people. Uh, what I'm saying is you aren't ready. You think you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real as fuck. It's actually real. And then you have no choice to defend yourself. Hide and piss, piss yourself or try to run and die. And no emotions. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. You have to force yourself to be ready. There, they, you're, you're right, man. It's it's one of the scary... It, it's the most scary experience. You're fighting for your life. And then you realize, like, you're just civilians. You're with a bunch of guys who are in the military. But fundamentally, you're all civilians. You, you're all taken from civilian life thrown into this situation yeah you have training and stuff but it's fucked up and it's real and when it's happening you're just thinking like dude you know this is fucking crazy right but you, you work with the best you can you follow your training that's part of the click on i agree part of signing up it's part of the click on i agree uh mk i'm just wa watch the thing about utah national guard being deployed to africa to protect i don't even know how to pronounce that all the soldiers were saying they're proud to defend their country Deployed to Africa to perfect. I don't. I don't know what that is. But they, if it's something to do with boats in the United States, then I totally understand. But other than that, I don't know what that means. Yeah, MK. MK served as well too. MK, how you doing? They set a shit ton of fires. Did they? World War Two was the same. Wait, what? For Russian? World War Two is the same as what? Fight for oil and throwing so many lives for it. Yeah, well, it wasn't even that as well. It's just like um, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot with that. Uh, but yeah, you're, that's one part. Oil. Yeah. That's why I left the U.S. Army. A bunch of brainwashed idiots joined to be a soldier. Then after seeing war, realized I wanted to remain a human. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's tough. It's a tough thing, guys. And I'm not saying military services should be looked down on. Uh, it's a proud thing to do. You know, if you want to go to res uh, uh, reserves, if you want to join the military to get experience and training, you can go reserves. You can, you know, um, but s specifically going to join to fight to kill people. It's like, yeah, it gets a little twisted after that, you know. Your, your reality gets a little kind of distorted and you will be seeing and dealing with things that are tragic. You might even pass away. You might even die in, in combat. But uh, that, that's a that's the thing about you did sign up to do it and, it. and it sucks, but it's the reality that you were the one who went in and signed up easily. Uh, if it was Vietnam, different story. Like that shit was fucked up. They just took people. They had random drafts. They would just call people to go over to Vietnam. You know, you had fragging. 
Yeah, all this shit going on. Djibouti is how it's... Djibouti, is that it? No no emotions? Is that actually it? Djibouti? <laughs> uh, you don't know about the Djibouti is? It's a country in in Africa. I don't... I just realized a bunch of Mormon white kids from Utah are actually African. What the, what the fuck are we talking about? MK? I am lost, dude. I never heard about anything you're talking. We, we going in deep tonight. Yes, yeah, Strago. Djibouti sounds like slang for ass. I'm considering going back in, but I'm not ignorant uh, to it being more of a mercenary work than anything patriotic. I mean, dude, if you want to sign up to go and fight and kill people for for uh, for money in other places, I mean, dude, you do what you want. I mean, it's it's definitely not the most dignified of work. Um, and uh, the countries and the powers that be. I mean, we live in a fucking world where we we hit a button and a nuclear bomb drops. We 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 have drone strikes. You know, not one person needs to actually physically go in and deal with shit. Uh, we need to work way more on on <laughs> on communication skills between countries and shit. But but you know, anyways, whatever. Not saying we don't need soldiers anymore. We do, but I mean, after Nagasaki and Hiroshima, if somebody wants to fucking do some shit. There's gonna be fucking bombs, okay? Lots of bombs. I didn't mean to take over the chat. I uh, just didn't think what what I was saying was that complicated. It's okay. I just came mid speech about war. No, you're you started talking about Djibouti off Africa about National Guard. I, it doesn't make any sense. The National Guard wants to go to Africa. What the fuck? And then Mormons being Africans. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, MK. I'd love to try to go into Djibouti. <laughs> Says Drago. MK. I signed up for it, but they refused due to me due to medical. For the Djibouti thing incident? Have you ever thought about being intergalactic bounty hunter? Now nah, that would be fun. Well, I ain't going to fight for the U USA? UA? UA? It's the UA. United Atheists? They already lost 400k in this war. The United Atheist Alliance. I was talking about the ignorance of American soldiers saying that we're proud to protect America by going to Africa to protect Africans. Oh, yes, yes. But that's been going on for years, right? That's been going on for years. Um, yeah. Union Security has created authentic codes to access the Mobius locations. Okay. What's this? Got a cipher? How did that not hit? Okay, whatever. Get Rex. I don't know what the fuck was... What was I shooting with? Marshmallows? Um, But yeah, there's a lot of people who just... They haven't done a lot of research and development on... Uh, what they're actually fighting for. Who they're fighting. Why they're fighting them. What's the reason to take a man's life? What's the reason to... Uh, to kill. What's a, what's a good enough reason to kill? And one would say, oh, they're, they're, they're going to attack our country. They're going to come after my kids. They're going to fuck everything up, you know? I was like, do they have the capabilities to do that? You know? There's, there's ton, like, oh my god, guys. I don't even want to get into, like, there is so much shit and knowledge. You want to know a, a, a good a good way to live your life? Regardless of like killing other people or guns or weapons, you want to know what the most powerful tool is in this world that we live in, my friends? I'll, I'll give you a little piece of knowledge, okay? It's called information flow. If you can control information, like facts and truth and evidence, if you can control information, you've already won everything. If you, if you have information, information is the key to everything, everything in existence, to science, to resources, to politics, to government. Um, to personality, information is key. Like, and that—that's what they, they, they withhold. They withhold information from you. You only know what you need to know. You're on a need-to-know basis. Um, ignorance. You know, there's there's tons of this shit flying around. But if you if you ever want to like get more involved with life, the the, the more information, the harder things get, and the more there's going to be information. Like, dude, it's it's a huge, it's a huge kettle of fish. It's huge. Maybe you can get away with still trying to PMC work somewhere. Yeah. For Legion. Wait, what's up? You guys talking about private military companies? 
Say because of me being on medication, they need to be able to get medication for me. I'd be a liability. Of course, I understand. I just saw a thing that the army is doing a full AI screening of all medical records. So if it's true, I might not be able to sign back up regular army either. You stole my last pork chop. Try to cheat me at high stakes poker game. <laughs> I do as well. Uh, I mean, I don't even know, man. Private military companies are, are weird, too. Like, private military companies are so fucking weird. I'll be honest. That's just a whole nother level of fucking weird. There's no, like, meaning or message. It's just, let's sign up to go shoot people. Or put ourselves at risk for money. Let's risk our lives for a little bit of money. Disposable requests from Mobius. Um, incident report. Approximately 1430, citizen blah blah blah, designated Jonathan Stevens. Entered an unauthorized Mobius area with witnessed sensitive materials captured and reprogramming was unfortunate. Okay, not an option. Zeta 5 emergency measures. Request disposal of unit. Oh shit, Zeta 5, eh? What the fuck's that? Treatment of the VA when I came back. I think a few things that disqualify you. I'll have to talk to a recruiter. <coughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Fuck that. I don't want to go fight no wars for no fucking idiots. I don't want to go kill people for stupid ass shit. You know? I want to fix my own country first, man. I want to make taxes lower. I want to make farmers be able to pay their fucking bills. I will have carbon tax bullshit. I want to... You know, fix what's going on right here in my home, in my nation, before I go out and PMC work to some fucking desert in Africa. Fuck that shit. But you guys do whatever you want, man. PMC it up. Soulless private military companies benefiting off the backs of the poor. Love it. Sign me up. Give me another welfare check, baby. I'm going to Africa. Fuck that. I wouldn't want my kids to do it. I wouldn't want anybody to do that shit. But, um, that's just me. Splash! Come on over. Yes, come over here. On a Monday, I am waiting. Who sings that song again? Yeah, how come how come she didn't come over here? Why why are you not come over here? What's up, ho? Come, come, come. I don't know what that did. Haha. <laughs> Ha. Come, 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 come. Kaboom! Airsoft, I've been looking into that. Airsoft's fun. Dude, airsoft and paintball, super fun. Great way to get that, uh, that burnt up energy of wanting to kill, uh, what you believe to be lesser humans. Great, great way to get that. I wouldn't say that. What you believe to be lesser humans. Jake Skull? Scale? Isn't that guy a PMC dude? Uh, Airsoft. Airsoft super fun. Paintball super fun. Go-kart racing. Eating ice cream at the beach with your family. Fucking amazing. You should try it. Let's do less going and killing other families. Let's start trying to rebuild our families. Let's try to lower the divorce rates over here in North America, okay? Let's work on lowering divorce rates. Okay, let's do that. That sounds fun to me. Too many kids coming from divorce house homes. Let's not do that anymore. Why are Russians involved in everything? Evil within Russia. James Bond. Russian Cold War. Russians. Why? Gertrude. Makes for good storytelling. I'm a buddy in Iraq. Tell me about it. I uh, found some vets in my area that were doing airsoft. Came back. Did that. It was a blast. Wrecking a bunch of SWAT team wannabes. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck up those gravy seals. Those fat fucks can't even run five meters without losing breath. Gertrude, it's all propaganda. The Russians. Russian bot. Russia did nothing wrong. Even, even the bots are Russian. 
Please don't uh, get the same tack training military does. For sure, SWAT versus a regular army unit, they'd still lose. Um, yeah, I mean, SWAT's pretty badass, though. But it depends on what kind of SWAT you're dealing with. But yeah, army is is a lot uh, is a lot more rigorous. I'd say. I don't know how often SWAT does training, but it's a lot. It's it's very intense. I mean, SWAT wants to save lives, where military wants to. They don't give a fuck. They'll try, but. If their objective is to clear a room, then the fucking couple grenades in there, there you go. Where SWAT, it's like, okay, how are we going to save these people? Um, even the shooters, even the perps. Gertie, you know what is funny? You will hear many movies like Serbian terrorists and you know, with helicopters and shit. Our military don't even have helicopters, Drago. I love Drago. COD Breakpoint, where you were talking about private military. Oh, PMCs have been a thing since, uh, like, early days and, you know, like, Gulf Wars and... PMCs have been around for a long time, man. A lot of war. Yeah. It's been around. Martial issues should be resolved in the old ways by lightsaber duels. I had a buddy win a police de who was a police detective, and they would play Op 4 for the SWAT team. He's Marine Force Recon. They always beat SWAT, and they'd get super pissed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old ways. Spartans would have won against SWAT. I've noticed the Drago and use rush. I, I would I would have to just based off training that yes, um, anybody trained military clear like um, breach banging clear tactics with military is going to be a lot more efficient than SWAT. Uh, I don't know. I'm just basing this off of my best judgment is because military tactics teaches you like if you're hot and you're ready to go and you're clearing uh, every every like it doesn't matter casualties or not. I mean you're you're moving into areas you're. You toss a frag grenade, you know, clear that room, uh, push through. Whereas SWAT, it's a little bit more meticulous. There's lives on the line. They don't want to kill the shooter. There's a lot more time delay. Um, the the tactics and weapons that they choose are a lot more passive than in the military. So I could see the military being more efficient at the job because they're getting the job done faster and they're more gung ho to get in there and clear the room. Does you don't want to make dinner today? Can we? Can I? Can I take you out for foe? Um, that's not really how it works, Toasty. Why are you why are you ruining my vibe, dude? I'm talking to the boys about military stuff and you come into my chat. You're already putting me in a piss poor mood because you know I don't like going out and spending money. Why do you constantly just fuck with my mood all the time, Butter Toasty? Have you ever tried to not fucking with my mood? And just saying, honey, I'm gonna make delicious food tonight for you. Alright. Thank you. I I appreciate your apology. Now go back to doing something productive. Stop bugging me with foe. If there is some Serbian in movies, they got to be terrorist. That is how we are painted in the world. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's either that or you're wearing jumpers and uh, you're working for the Russians. So, Drago, that's right. This is true. Just like evil Russians. Yeah, foe is awesome. Foe is awesome. Yes. Toasty, how can you take him out? You can't lift him. He's a chunky boy. That is true. Yes. Now let's all fixate on the foe story. I've been in Russia for eight months. Lovely people there. I've been in... You lived in Russia for eight months? Yeah, I mean, Russian people are people nonetheless. I think a lot of us d don't know how to separate government and policies and get all caught up. Like, people in general are really nice people. It doesn't matter where you go. You know, every country is just lovely people. Toasty, wow, how rude is Dusty? Very... I'm extremely rude, yes. Extremely rude. Extremely, extremely rude. I'm a fucking asshole. She has all the free will to leave me whenever she wants. She does not have to be around me. This is how I am. This is how I'm always going to remain. She, I, I encourage her whenever. If she wants to do whatever she wants to do, she can live her life. You know, I love her anyways. So, yes. I am the bad guy. I am the bad guy. Girl asked to take you out for dinner and you get rude. I know, right? Imagine that. Imagine that, guys. Imagine being the head of a house home where we're watching our money. And we're trying to budget. And uh, do the correct things and, and fight the willpower to just go out in temptation and buy random shit that we put in our bodies like faux and wasting gas and going out and driving and putting the kid in the car and then going to a restaurant and sitting in a restaurant having my son sit in a chair for fucking an hour while I wait for her to decide what she wants to eat for faux and then... Uh, I got to bring her him back in the car when it's in pitch black at night and it's just snowed the other day. So now he's in the car and it's cold outside and there's drivers on the road and it's snowing and it's Friday. So somebody might be drinking uh, and coming back from a faux place. And then imagine me saying no to that and how rude I am by not risking us spending money, getting hurt, doing anything counterproductive to life. 
Imagine me, I'm such a fucking piece of shit, right? Putting kid in car equals big money. It's Friday night, I would go get some Vietnamese if I knew of any places here. For the most part, all civilizations are on the same side. It's the governments and the corporations that control them that are at odds. 100% Steve. Steve is 100% correct. That's what DoorDash is for? <laughs> We're trying to save money as well. What we can do is see if Toasty Toasty knows me. She knows it's a trigger point. She's just laughing. She just like she just wants to trigger me. And she does she does a good job. Of it. She's really good at it. Um, and then it makes me look like an asshole on stream. And then everybody's like, ah, oh, fuck you, Dust. And anyways, we're just joking around. But what she could do is say on uh, Saturday when we have the day off, let's go for pho on Saturday. Tonight I'm gonna make you chicken wings. You know, MK don't sell Vietnamese women here in the U.S. What's I would get some Vietnamese if- oh my god, no- no emotions. You silly boy. MK, thank you for the 20. First round of foe is on me. We are not going to get foe, but what I will do is put that money direct in my bank account so that we can grab groceries at the end of the month. Thank you so much, MK. Uh, are you gonna get mad that I'm not spending that money on foe? Or should I just lie to you and be like, oh my god, 20 bucks? For sure we're gonna get foe tonight. Oh my First god. Round of foe is yes. Only. Queen. Thank you, MK, for the 20. Um, First round of foe. Maybe we'll do it on Saturday. Yeah, you knew that would piss me off. Yeah. You want to do it on Saturday? See, Dust, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what you're doing. You know what you do? You cost me money, okay, Butter Toast? You cost me money. The only reason MK gave me that 20 is because I had this rant, this really good speech, this rant about being the man of my house. And he he's like, you know what? He's right. He's actually pretty right. It's a good idea. He's a smart guy. I'm going to give him 20 bucks. I like him. He's got a good head. He's got a good head on his shoulders. Hey, you know uh, your needs better than me just trying to pitch in to help out. Dude, I appreciate it. Big boss salutes for MK in the chat. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll probably end up going out Saturday. I can do Saturday. Saturday, we can go get some foe. That'd be m much easier for me instead of tonight. Uh, can't type no more. I'm horizontal mode. Oh, Drago sleepy. Drago, get some rest, brother. Thank you, everybody, for the hashtags. Alpha, uh, butter toast, no emotions. Thank you very much. Steve Adeptus, dude. It's good to see Steve again, man. I love Steve. Steve's a good time. Steve is a good time. It's nice to see my boy. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much. MK, thank you for the 20, man. I appreciate you. If there's one thing with Dust Hound, you know you'll always get the Dust Hound. And not the non-Dust Hound. I will always be 100% dusty with you. There is no in-between. You always get authentic me. I promise you that. The rude, the aggressive, the narrow-minded, egotistical, all of it. You'll get it all, ladies and gentlemen, here. The kind, sweet boy, but also... The crude dictator who you could believe would be a very good Nazi. But I am not a Nazi, okay? I don't do that shit. I actually like a lot of people. I wouldn't do any harm to anybody. I was actually watching a um, bunch of World War II documentaries with um, the SS, like the Waffen SS, and I saw my granddad there. I'm just joking. Alpha's like, shut up, Dust. You're going too far. A soup Nazi. I, I, I'm i obsessed. You know what I watched recently? Uh, Band of Brothers. Again. Dude. Fucking Captain Spears, bro. Oh my god. What a fucking legend. You know that guy's real, right? In World War II, he actually did that in... Uh, what was it? What battle was that? What battle did he run through the town? I think it was started with like a Yin? Yem? Yem or something? The Battle of Yem? Some shit like that? That little town? But dude, man... Serious fucking balls on that boy. Holy shit. And he was a real guy, man. He was a real dude. He actually did that. Have a good night, Drago. You get some sleep, buddy. Take care of yourself, okay? See you tomorrow. Serbia. Aren't the Serbians all Nazis too, Drago? <laughs> That's what they told me in school. They said all the Serbians are also Nazis. Oh shit, no, not you, Siri. You can't do that. Why can't you? I heard they were Russian Nazis. F you, said Siri. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, Drago. 
even if it was a serious conversation, I'd have stayed out of it. Every couple has their own issues and arguments, and it ain't none of anyone else's business. Oh, dude, you'd be surprised. Yeah, I mean, you're right to an extent. Yeah, that's probably the best way to deal with it. My grandfather died in German concentration camp. I got shot. Got shot right off the guard tower. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I heard a similar joke to that about, like, the Italians. So, like, um, yeah, my, my grandfather was in the Italian army. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, uh, but he died. It's like, how did he die? He got shot off a guard tower or something like that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> something similar. Very similar to that, Russian. I can't remember how it goes now. But, yeah, that's a good one. But, yeah, the best thing you can do is, like, uh, uh, I guess couples arguing or whatever. It's like, dude, are they choosing to be together, you know? That's what that's what I say. Uh, I've I've seen a lot of people. I know so much shit about like people, and I don't say shit because I just don't fucking I can't be bothered. I'm not I'm not there for the drama. But yeah, that is a very good thing to do. Uh, but Drago, have a good sleep, okay? I love you, buddy. It was the battle of Foy? Ah, uh, it was the battle of Foy. That's what it was. Where spears? Yeah. So that actually happened, bro. That's crazy that that he did that. They had no radio communication, so he ran all the way across the town of Foy through German lines twice to relay um, a command. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? What is another... What's another word for coming in a woman, Dusty? Alpha Wolf, you're looking for loading the dishwasher. I'll take loading the dishwasher for 300, Alex. I'll take loading the dishwasher for 300. Okay, when I got to, uh... Double Jeopardy! When me and my lady had arguments in front of people, I was I was always the monster. Oh, really? Well, you don't argue in front of people. I mean, this is my channel and my stream thing, right? I, like, I don't really... It's all just entertainment, fun, bullshit, internet stuff. Like, I don't actually argue with her in front of people. And so, so that's, that's the first problem. You shouldn't be arguing, like, when you're actually out in public with people. You shouldn't be doing that. But this is a completely different thing. This is just online fuckery bullshit. We talk a lot of shit. But yes, okay, yeah. Uh, first of all, if you're arguing with people, it's probably not going to work. Like, if you're arguing with her in front of people, it's probably not going to work out, dude. Full story. Always protect the lady. Oh, yeah, guy, guy, everybody always. Uh, yo, she's a fucking angel. Like, anytime I do any of this shit, everybody's got her back. Like, nobody nobody gives a fuck about me. You know? You got 300 dust down. Thank you. When, when they should stay out? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll take buttering the muffin for 500, please. Non-public, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't matter what you do. You're a guy, dude. Like, you're always going to lose the uh, the vote of um, public opinion um, if you're arguing with a woman. It doesn't matter if you're right or wrong at all. And, uh, see, women know that. Some women do know that. So... They, they highly take advantage of that, and they'll, they'll use that against you. I'm an angel. I've never done anything wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so you got to be well aware of the tactics that can go behind, or how that can backfire. The devil was an angel, too. Yeah, MK, exactly. Now, for all intents and purposes, she's, she's a lovely gal. I'm not saying she's, like, malicious in any way, but... She's very, like, never put it past women to understand exactly the social etiquette of situations. You know? They're, some, they're all, treat them like they're all geniuses, trust me. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be better off in the end. Just treat women like they're all fucking smart-ass geniuses and never try to bullshit. But, uh, yeah, rule number one is don't, um, don't ever expect anybody to take your side uh, about anything. You have, to, you have to be able to prove everything. My lady would also start shit on purpose, especially in public, and what I'd do is ignore her and stay quiet until we got home. What you should have done is just left her. Uh, if that was her personality trait of starting shit in public, uh, you should have left her. If she didn't have the respect for you as an individual, uh, or whatever the case may be, I have no fucking clue, but if, um, if, to if anybody, any fucking person I was with just wanted to start shit in public, if that was the quote unquote start shit in public, yeah, we wouldn't be together for very long. I don't really do that. You can start shit with some other guy. Uh, you get the fuck out of my car. It's kind of the way it goes. So yeah, that's, that's red flag number one there. No emotions. You should should never. That should never become a uh, norm.
pretty weird. Crazy. But yeah, for for all intents and purposes, I mean, we're we're very fine. We like to mess around a lot and like play mind games and fucking just do stupid shit for fun, you know. Do things that are can be somewhat offensive or that some people can take drastically out of context. But for all intents and purposes, we're uh we're good. Listening to us here fun. It's good entertainment. Oh yeah, like that's the thing. Like well, this all this whole online shit. It's it's fun for us, right? It's a fun little escapism thing. Like it's just pure stupid shit. But real life is a lot more like devout and serious and honest. Like you know, you you watch what you say and. You, uh, you mind your manners and stuff, but here we are a little bit more free, a little bit more, uh, yeah, you get a, you get a little bit more freedom with everything. Oh, shit. That's not good. I really gotta head back to base and start making some shit. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna head back to base unless he chooses to. What's up? Um, was young and dumb, and now I'm single and semi-happy-ish. Yeah, you know, life's a journey, man. Life's a journey. It's not about the destination. Even when you are with somebody, it's uh, it's just it's it's a, it's a more of a journey. Even after that, Dustin and Toast are fun. Thank you, MK. Though I appreciate it. Counter. Reformation writers like Albertus of what the fuck classified seven deadly sins is to be a specific biblical demon P Peter Binsfield assigned Lucifer to sin pride to the sin pride Lucifer. Yeah, the pride is the devil's playground. That's hence the yeah. 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 Okay. Alpha wolf. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, fucking a lot of good liter literature. Cool. Does not joke around 95% of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, f I don't know. We just fuck around. Do shit that makes us laugh and have fun. You know, get some emotion. Get some fucking emotion going on in our lives. I don't want to be old and boring and fucking stale. You know, have some fun. Live a little. Act. Acting is fun. You, you guys got to try. You know, pulling, pulling, uh, pulling a little bit of your acting leg out. You know, people, people don't spend a lot of time just having fun, cracking jokes, acting up a little. You know, getting a little crazy sometimes. It's fun. It's good for your soul. You should try it. Or else you turn stale and boring and monochrome and fucking lame. It's good to break out. IRL Toasty beats Dusty after the stream. She does. She beats me with a wiffle ball bat. Just to put on makeup before going live. <sighs> yeah. She rips up my hair too. I gotta use fake hair. It's a pain. Steve, honestly, I'm crying for help. Somebody help me, please. Steve. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. Abraham Lincoln. Russian, yeah. Russian Abe didn't have the internet. Wait, I don't... Wait, what? What? I just gotta pause for a second. I I think he was trying something. No, no, no. I think he was trying something. I think he was trying something. I think he was, but it... It just didn't slap. Were you trying something there, no emotions, or... I don't know. I don't, I'm afraid to ask, because I might not be cool. But I think he was trying something. KC, good to see you, baby. How you doing? Yeah, Russian bot. Yeah. Uh, DVS, good to see you. Kinda. Wait, no emotions. You know, Russian was just. That's a. Okay, maybe no emotions. Didn't know. Kinda. All right, I don't know. Are you trying something more? Oh god, I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm just gonna let it fly. Um, time to step up for a smoke. MK, stop smoking the cigarettes, dude. You're gonna die. You're gonna get lung cancer, and you're gonna die. Don't die. Stop smoking cigarettes. I'm telling you how to live your life. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. All right, dude. I'll see you. To, I'll see you after you're done your smoke. Lock. Gertrude's crime. Lightsaber duel. 
Sure, only if it's the real ones. Abraham Lincoln is my great-great-grandfather. His wife, Mary Todd, married Lincoln. So by marriage, I'm related to him. Did the ancestry thingy. Who the fuck else was it said he was related to Abraham Lincoln? Yo, didn't Toasty tell me that she did some tests and actually all of Abraham's Lincoln's descendants, there's no male heirs? So, like, the Lincoln line is done because there's no male heirs left. His wife, Mary Todd, married Lincoln. Your great great grandfather. Wait, what? My great great grandfather, his wife, Mary Todd, married Lincoln. So by marriage, I'm related. What the fuck are you talking about? Your great great grandfather. His wife, Mary Todd, married Lincoln. What? The fuck? I'm confused. Uh, so Lincoln was married to your great great grandfather and Abraham Lincoln? The fuck are we going on about here, Alpha? I made my own spin off of, of his joke. Obviously, there was an internet back then, but they did have live ammo. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, nah, cuz I think. I think you were taking him on a literary uh, My first impression was that you took him on a literary sense. And, uh, but then again, I could be wrong. I don't know how, I don't know how devious your brain works. I don't know if you were di dipping and diving, dripping and dripping, dripping and drapping into that joke. But, um, it did appear that you didn't know what we were, the context. But, um, uh, we'll let it fly. This chat box moves too fast for me. My coffee wore off. Yeah, welcome to my fucking world, Pep. Where you gotta stop playing video games to read chat or else people Why don't you read the chat no more, Dusty? What happened? You don't read chat no more. Dusty, what happened? You used to read chat all the time. Now you don't read chat. I used to like Dust Time when he was cooler. He used to read chat. I'm tr I can't fucking do it all, folks. But yes, Pep. Chat does move fast sometimes. Alpha. Oh, makes sense. Mary Todd was psychotic. The Lincoln line stops here. Everybody off. No, it was a murder joke. Wait, what? I don't know what the fuck. I'm not high enough for this chat. Yeah, no emotions. I don't know what the fuck. What? Uh, and DVS, I hope you're doing good. You still taking edibles? No, he married Mary Todd. Sorry, Dusty. Ah, you fucking lost. I, I don't know. I think... I don't know if I'm believing Toasty, but Toasty said a long time ago that... She was watching something and they tried to find... I think it was all of Abraham Lincoln's children, and apparently his line is done. It doesn't exist anymore because Abraham Lincoln eventually, I think recently, didn't end up having any um, male heirs. So, like, his great-great-great-great-grandson, there was none. It was all granddaughter. So, which means that his line, his lineage, in a, in a male sense for his last name, does not exist anymore. Now, granted, there might be some women out there who carry the the dna of fucking abraham lincoln stoffer but other than that i don't i don't know okay i don't know i remember this channel used to be great a dusty red chat He didn't read. He didn't have internet. He just got a live bullet, Dusty. Yeah, but that's a different thing, though. I don't know. No emotion. That's a different thing. Yes, he did get shot by John Wilkes Booth. Yes. But in, in context of how we were reading everything out, it's just that, that you're throwing that in there, and that wasn't even in there. You just you just threw it in there. You I, I, I don't know. You're having a huge hailstorm Russian. That's crazy. DBS ran out. Oh, you ran out of the... Oh, shit. Flying with, with the handle up. Flying... Without flying off the handle at that too. <laughs> Gertrude. <laughs> I'm not a descendant of Abraham Lincoln. I am only related by marriage because of Mary Todd. Yes. Okay, that makes more sense, Alpha. I can believe that. Because I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure Toasty was correct with her. What she found out. But apparently Abraham Lincoln's like line has ended. It's no, there's no, There will never be a Lincoln children passed on the Lincoln name. So Abraham Lincoln's done. Even though like the females will... They'll get married and pot potentially have a name of others, but lineage-wise, they'll still be the lingering DNA of Abraham Lincoln, but no male heirs, so. Which is super patriarchal, but that's the world we live in, and I love it. Fuck yeah, bring back the patriarchy, baby. <clears throat> men were men. Remember the days when men were men, and women were beautiful women? See, I added beautiful so that it's less patriarchal. 
Um, I could use an edible about now to stay. Oh shit, Jordan's back. Yo, how was your day, bro? Uh, Russian bot, go out and try to hit them with a bat. <laughs> the hail, TBS. I thought it was a good joke. You can't go live to make speeches unless you have internet. But you can still have live ammo. I mean, that right there, that comment was funny. Anyways, it's a bad joke now. It had to be explained. That, that comment made sense, and, and it's funny in itself. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's fine. I just don't think in the whole grand scheme of things it really worked out. But that's just me. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Um, I'm the last of my name, and I have no significant other, no intention of having kids. I may have some bastards out here from my DJ day, those. And that's, yeah, that's how it is. You know, that's how it is. Um, Steve, yeah. If you don't have kids, your last name will not go on. That is the world we live in. It, it was always kind of an important thing to me. It's not It's not a grand overall importance in life to have kids and have your name go on. I mean, it's a, it's a nice little luxury that none of us, not a lot of, at least in my opinion, it's nice. Uh, but some people just don't give a fuck, and that's totally fine. Um, I love it, though. I, I can't, I want I want my my name to, to go on as long as I can, you know. I, I love it. Um, but it's not for everybody. Jordan Deesa, I would, I would share, but the edible cupboard is bare. <laughs> DVS girl. Yeah, I should do some. Hey, I'm beautiful. You are, Asha. You are. You're a lovely soul. You're a lovely spirit. I've never met you in IRL, so I, I'm just... I'm going off your essence, your effervescence. It's beautiful. You're, you're just... Your overall attitude is great. So now, who owns the Lincoln Log Company? Oh, I don't know. Who owns the Lincoln Car Company, Gertie? I did a lot of research uh, on that because I wanted to see who's alive and related to Abraham. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, he stopped having children. Yeah, Abraham died down because he stopped having children. His line died down. Oh, he wasn't pumping up the babies enough? Gotta have more babies. Hey, Toast, do you want to have some more babies? Let's see if we can have some more babies. DVS girl, I only uh, got a me metal bat, and it's a thunderstorm. <laughs> okay, yeah. You guys are rolling tonight. Um, Asha says, hey, DVS. DVS says, hello, Asha. Trying to find the root of the names. Found it at some point, everyone just picked their own names in medieval times, hence why there's so many names people picked as a joke. Um, I would like to know more about that, MK, from what I know. A lot of our surnames, what you're talking about, uh, I'm assuming, it, are from like trades that we used to do. So like black or, um, you know, foot or whatever. They have some significance. I don't know. Uh, if we're any other era besides this one we are in, I would probably want kids. Honestly, Steve, it doesn't matter when kids are always, it doesn't matter. The world's always going to end. Everybody says the world's, the fucking rapture is coming. Everybody says it. So what are you going to do? You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, Steve. You know, you're, you're, you're fucked, you're fucked up ship's creek without a paddle. No matter what, if you have kids now, 70s, 80s, 2000s, who, you know, 80s, 90s, whatever. Yeah. Um, helmet, wooden bat. <laughs> Related to Abraham Lincoln through marriage. Yeah, Toasty, I'm only related through Lincoln through marriage, says Alpha Wolf. <clears throat> Not realizing it would carry hundreds of years later. Yes, MK, yeah. Uh, last male of my lineage and was proud to create another, carry my name. Yeah, it's like, it's pride, but it's also, it's just kind of a cool thing. Like, you know, I, I do feel bad for people who can't have kids. Like, there are a lot of people who just can't have kids, and, that, and it's a shame. But it's not the be-all, end-all having kids. It's nice for me. I don't know. I'm a man's man type of thing. Like, having a little boy is is a blessing. Uh, you know, if I were to ever lose my son, I would feel terrible, right? Like any parent would. Um, but it, it is. It is. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. I like it. I like that. I like the fact that I have a son and that my son's going to grow up and uh, he's going to do whatever he wants. Maybe, maybe he'll be the last of my line. Who knows? Who knows? Um, maybe I'll have more sons or daughters. Last name is Paint Painter. Pain Painter. Dr. Pain. Steve. That's a nice last name. Simon's son was literally Simon's son. <laughs> DVS crew. Some have significance, uh, but many don't. Used to be royalty and nobles had surnames. There was just too many people, so they assigned them to everyone. Oh, okay, MK. I, I have to do more research. I'm interested in what you're saying. I'd have to do some more research and check it out. But I agree, that's why so many people are named Smith. Lots of Smiths for making horseshoes and tools and stuff before the industrial age of trains and cars. I really want to do more uh, research into what your topic is so we can talk more about this. Because I find it so interesting. We should really save this for the Sunday streams, though. There's somebody out there like, dude, shut the fuck up and play the evil within two, dude. I'm not here to listen to you talk about why people have last names. I want to see you fucking play the game. 
So <laughs> we should really do this on Sundays when the member stream is and we can sit down and chat. But I'm super curious about that topic. I've always been interested in that uh, for last names and surnames and how do we get them and where are they from? You know, that's someone whose surname was shithead. Not sure what, why they ever changed it. Shithead. No, that's bullshit. Carpenter. Yeah, shut up, you horny bastards. That's right. You're right. Sorry. Sorry for all you folks. Guys, if you haven't hit the like button, though, smash the like. If you want to subscribe to the channel, subscribe. We'll, we don't usually get so chatty on the public streams, but I guess it's Friday and everybody's having a good time, so we're chatting. Um, but yes, I love you guys. I hope you're doing good. So we don't have the shotgun yet. We can do the sniper rifle. You're missing the falling components. What do we need? I don't know what component that is. Shock bolts, harpoon bolts. I definitely need some more ammo. I'm gonna do 20 rounds. So what's for dinner? Tonight, honey. Pussies for dinner? That's... Is that vegan? Vegan pussy? Is it kosher as well? Serious, what's for dinner? Okay, we'll figure it out later. Firepower. Okay, so did I actually upgrade the right gun? Because, like, did I upgrade the right gun? I'm. Uh, how do I, like. Does this count for all pistols? Because I'm we're getting multiple pistols, right? Laser sighted handgun. How do I know I upgraded the right gun? Personally, don't care about the game. Just killing time until I can log. I I know most of you guys don't fucking care about the game, but I do. Pink tacos, hide your cats, everyone. Just going to Chinese, not kosher halal. I think we may play some Tarkov again later. It's become quite addicting. Yeah, I always think about playing Tarkov, but Tarkov just takes me so far away from chat. Like, I never know what the fuck's going on, and, um, I mean, my career is based off of playing video games and, like, keeping the, keeping it somewhat entertaining in regards of what games I play, and as much as I would love to absolutely love to play Tarkov, um, I think this just affects all weapons, because I'm trying to find the other one, and I can't, so, um, yeah, it's just, it's boring for people, it's boring, it's boring for people to watch Tarkov, especially if I'm not a Tarkov channel. You know? Did you tell Toasty what uh, those are, by the way? I know she was asking and she kept asking for some. I don't know what you're talking about, MK. My hot... I had same thought. My hot date is with a pillow and a blanket. We are snuggling. I don't know. So I lost something. I'm lost. Eating pussy is actually haram. Oral sex is and anal both haram. Okay, good thing I'm not Muslim. I enjoy haram in that case. <laughs> the fuck? I'll take a harem of haram, please. I prefer rim jobs over eating pussy. Russian bot, look away. Not an innocent conversation. <laughs> DBS girls trying to protect Russian. I love it. Uh, just sit on my face and I'll be okay. Oh. We live in prim primarily we live in a Western civilized culture, especially. Uh, our culture is, is heavily sexually oriented ever since the 80s, so... Um, we don't really... Uh, operate under... What is it? Sharia law? So... It's not... Yeah, oh, oh, shit. A key? Excellent. Some keys open doors of perception. But, but yes, you are right. Them. This one is Drinking's more haram. Than. But still Sex useful. before marriage is haram. 
Go on. Open one. Strapping bombs to young children and having them run into wars. And blowing themselves up is haram. Having women carry Russian S SP5s uh, in their hands while running towards men is haram. It's crazy. I'm not a, I'm not innocent either. JS, WF, what the F? Came out of left field. Oh, it did, did it come out at left? Oh, yeah? Okay. That escalated quickly. Yes. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I like it all. I, I eat a little pussy, do a little rim job. <laughs> I don't know. You guys do whatever you want. I'm picking this one. Right here. This is the one. I enjoy eating pussy, however, but I'm Muslim now, so. Well, my condolences, brother. Ooh! First aid, medical herbs. Nah, I'm just joking. Yeah, that's cool, man. You do whatever you do, whatever, do float your boat. Jason! I, it was a joke. I don't care what religion, religious creed you have. I see you're in need of my services again. Yes. Yes. Okay, so talk. I know my office is relaxing, but it's no place to loiter. Oh, can we do the skill upgrade? Oh, there we go. I didn't want to talk that much. Sean! Wrong game. We still got to play that game. Yeah, we still got to get through it. It's 5,000? Oh, I need this one. Oh, that's nice. Perform sneak kills around cover. I'm technically a monk now. No sex and tons of shrooms. MK. Living dangerously, you will suffocate. Safety first. Get a harness. Oh, for sitting on the face? Yes. Yes, indeed. Indeed. So I can't go any higher here because I need level three. You're missing the components for level three. Critical firepower two. Okay, that's that's all I'm doing right now. I should should have put some stuff into the I'm just doing pistol 20 rounds eh? damn that's solid. Oh You know what else? There we go Oh, there's the mask yeah, cool. I'm dishonored. How much time we got? We still got a couple hours. I wonder if Toasty can make me a coffee. Oh, uh, monks are always sober. Whoever told you they got high or drunk? Not likely. They don't have sex nor take any drugs or alcohol. They don't even take prescription medication. They live off the earth. Depends on what monks you're talking about. I mean, if you're talking about the monks of like the 17th century Catholicism era era, sorry, in France. Like, they used to get fucked up off wine all the time. Um, if you're talking about the monks of, like, Asia, it's a different style. Depends on what monks you're talking about, really. From my understanding, most hallucinogens were discovered by monks because they couldn't drink. Uh, they knew which plants and herbs to collect. Yeah, medical purposes. Monks are, I mean, guys, like, we're talking about humans, right? You guys do realize we're talking about human beings. Regardless if you say you're a monk or not, I mean, monks and holy men have been around for centuries like trust me there's priests fucking nuns there's monks sipping on scissor little codeine mix snorting that sweet cocaine down in bolivia you know what i mean monks do some freaky shit kid you not 
Is that the periodic cat noise from your game? Yes, it's not your cats. It is the cat in the game. That is the cat in the game. My father was born a monk like his father before him. <laughs> Russian? I don't... Definitely not celibate monks. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure if, if a hot naked girl tried to seduce a monk, they would say no. I would say no. I mean... Guys, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. But uh, we just got to do a little bit of research. Just go out and look, at, look around in the world and you'll find all the mysteries. Monks be get, some monks be getting freaky, okay? <laughs> Little monks, new LP drops tomorrow. It's called Shaolin Scissor. Yo, that's funny as fuck, actually, Gertrude. Yo, Groupon, welcome back. What do you call a cheap circumcision? A ripoff. Oof. Rough, rough, rough. That is a rough one. Groupon, I thought you were uh, gone to bed. You're still up, eh? Oh. Guys, he is still awake. My man. I'm assuming that, uh... Why, why are they not attracted to the fucking bottle smash? Oh, come on. It's not explosive? What? Uh, when, in which game? Why are red barrels not explosive? So I just take the loss of two bullets? Fuck my life. What was this? Is this the only game where red barrels are not explosive? Epic fail. Well, I mean, I guess so. There's not much I can fucking do about it. The one time the red barrel isn't explosive. That's what I'm saying. What is going on? How come tonight? Tonight's the tonight will be the night. No, I will fall for you. Ever again, and don't make me change my mind. Why is tonight the only night that the red barrels are not explosive? Explosivos, the red barrel is a phony, is a total phony. I'm pissed. The old me would drive into some easy access, however, me now. If I'm not married, I'm not doing it, nor having kids before marriage. Seeing as this world is hypersexual, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die alone, but I accept it. Heaven is better than hell. Heaven in hell. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, you do whatever's best for you, man. Like, uh, I, I think that it's good to be cautious about who you're going to be sexual with, because you don't want to get any venereal diseases. That would suck. Also, um, dude, you gotta live to the best of your ability, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. There wasn't anything in it. Rolled too easily. That's true. That is true. Should have known this. Not a barrel expert, though. Holy diver. You've been down too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Yeah. Ride the tiger. You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean. Oh, won't you like some chicken wings? Gotta get away. Get away. You gotta get away. 
get away. Hey, bam, 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 yeah, a smoke and a pancake. Hell of a dinner, Toasty. <laughs> God said be fruitful and multiply. I don't remember him saying anything about signing a document first. God said that the covenant of man in the first testament with Abraham was that man should create a, a covenant with God. Which means you should chop the f skin off of your penis. And in order to create this covenant with God, Abraham chose his firstborn boy to chop off the skin on his penis. And this bonded Abraham and God as one. And Abraham's son's penis did not have excess skin. And this is the word of God. As from the Jewish Torah, as from the Quran, and as from the first testament of the Bible. Chop off the heads of their penises. Oh, thank you. Did you like my little spiel about the first? Mmm, that's good. Oh, wow. It's tasty. It's like I'm living in France. It's like France is here in my house. Oh, wow. Imagine. That's your milk. A, lot, a little bit of milk with his pancake. In the Bible and Quran, God's words were to be blessed by him in your relationship so that your child would then be blessed as well. Marriage now, it is controlled by government to gain more money. True to that. Mm. Thank you, woman. I love you. Mm. One second. I'm enjoying a pancake with Nutella. And the Lord did grin. And the people did feast upon lambs and sloths and carp and anchovies and old guantans and breakfast cereals and fruit bats and large chalupas. Marriage used to be uh, the blessing from God. Marriage is great. Marriage is. I mean, yeah, nowadays it's more or less a piece of paper, but being devoted to somebody, being married to somebody is a beautiful thing. No doubt about it. Mar marriage is lovely. Don't ever let anybody tell you marriage is bad. Marriage to the one you truly love is a beautiful experience. Hmm. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Mm hmm. Alpha. Funny how we have the first testament and the second testament. Like, man, was like, damn. Let's move some some of these stories around and leave some out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the second testament was mostly. I mean, if you really want to get analytical about it, it was the, like the rise of Christ and the Roman Empire. This is when things were getting popular. They were trying to branch off and create this secular unit from the original teachings, which was the first testament, which was the Jewish Torah, um, and then. Once, once uh, the old Roman Empire got involved, you know, they started writing some stories and getting some things together. I love it all, though. I mean, first testament, cool as fuck, great stories and shit, good shit. Second, banging, turning fish into fucking bread and shit, or whatever he did. What was it? Just creating fish and bread. Toasty just. In a shirt? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes she does that. Why you always so horny, bro? No, she was legitimately... I, I don't know. She, she has pants on. Uh, she has her breast pumps in, so... Her boobies aren't actually that big.
Just a cheek? Do you see one of her cheeks? God damn. Clip it. Clip it. Spread it around. And teach you how shit works on the internet. Mm. That's what I say. John Lovitz and a tree comes to mind. I deserve this. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Let's have respect. Well, she's, if that's the case, then she's clearly disrespectful coming to my live stream, obviously treating my workplace like it's a joke and coming in half naked. And then if you, uh, if you've seen a titty or you've seen some ass, like I believe that you should expose her. And then um, for the rest of my life, I will be known as the guy who has his whore wife come on stream and I get banned because um, of her whorish ways, not haram. That's what I say. And fire rained through Sodom and Gomorrah as the infidels burned. Infidel in this case being toasty. <laughs> Maybe she'll learn to Put some fucking clothes on. Oh, I don't know. Swadamush, not halal. Halal, good. Haram, bad. Did I say Haram or Halal? I can't remember. Let's not be cavemen. Let's not be ca Can I have another pancake with um, Nutella on it? That was really good. I had an Iraqi guy I met, an Iraq that actually lived in my town back in the US. He invited me over to smoke with him, met his brother, met his kid, but I wasn't allowed inside his house or to see his wife. Yeah, bro, they put like fucking jobs and shit and uh, burkas on their wives because they're like really honored God and make sure that you can't see my wife I don't know. yeah man they're 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 really like honor God thing stuff and honor my God because my God doesn't want you to see my that my God created such a beautiful specimen and uh, they're worried that you're gonna you're gonna rape her, so gotta put a burka on her. Especially when you have extreme horn dogs in chat. No emotions. Stop trying to act like you were fucking moral hierarchy here, okay? You like sticking your penis in things as well. All right. Come on. Don't act like you're above the law. We all like getting our dicks wet, okay? Stop ruining the vibe. That was very haram of you to do. Please unharam yourself next time. <laughs> Who is a horn dog? Says Alpha. No more pancakes, Dusty. We ate them all. Did oh we did? We we you did. I had two of them. He was telling me his wife seems lonely, so he was looking for a second wife to keep her company. Uh, in Iraq, they're allowed two wives. Not sure how that works in the U.S. Oh yeah, yeah. More wives is better, right? More more wives. The second wife will keep the first wife company for sh for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Fun. <sighs> uh, like Alpha, you know how many easy women are online in many streams looking for dumb men? Go there or go on live sex chats and send them money. But don't be all horny on another's wife. Alpha, you horny on my wife, dude? Crep, crep Susie, crep Suzette, there's no more, crep Suzette, there's no more pancakes. And you get to watch, kidding? What? I, I, listen. I don't care that much, I'm not invested in, in your conversation. Just gonna be honest with you. Pancakes are super easy to make, Toasty. She made them at 3 in the morning yet last night. Bro, Ed, Eddie, what's up man, how you doing brother? Bro, she made fucking spaghetti last night. 
And um, it was amazing. I told you guys about it. I had the mozzarella, the cheese. She did all her thing. It was amazing, right? So I'm like, oh, can I have a little more after I finish my plate? She gave me a whole nother plate of spaghetti. I'm like, holy shit. All right. Fuck, bro. I ate two big plates of spaghetti. I was done. I was like, oh, my God. I can't even move. I'm so fat. And then, and then three in the morning comes, and she's like, do you want pancakes? And, and I'm like, not really. Like, no. It's like, I'm going to make pancakes. I'm like, okay, uh, you make pancakes. She's like, you know what would be nice? Pancakes with the Nutella. Or I think I said it with the Nutella. I'm like, that'd probably be good pancakes with the Nutella spread. And she's like, oh, yeah, that sounds good. I didn't want any. So she comes in after making these pancakes. And then she, at three in the morning after I ate two huge plates of spaghetti, puts it on the bed. It's like, you want pancakes? And I'm like, are you stupid? I just ate two massive plates of, like, what is wrong with you? Why are you trying to kill me? Why are you trying to kill me with all this food? Uh, anyways, three in the morning pancakes. Yeah, lovely. Fuck, bro. It was too much. I don't want to make more, and I also made them from scratch. I don't know about Toasty, but it's Dusty that gets me all tingly and excited. <laughs> Eddie, man. Eddie, what's up, dude? MK. Dusty, he wasn't part of the conversation ten minutes ago about eating ass. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, no emotions. <laughs> Fucking trying to take the moral high ground on us. Don't you look at... Listen, it's her fault. If she wants to walk on camera with her fucking naked or whatever and you guys all see it and you can clip it at any time and it's saved on the internet and now everybody knows and see and seen her naked if she wants to make that conscious decision knowing that i'm in a room with a camera right now if she does that that's on her i don't give a fuck about what she does if she wants to be stupid and have some dumb shit happen hey you know what happens hey toasty what happens tell me what happens when you play stupid games tell me what happens when can anybody explain to me what happens when we play stupid games in life Anybody know what happens? Tell you what, dusty sex is nice, but to jump on urge and lose control leads to a bad path. Well, then don't jump on urges and lose control. Be careful, dusty. She's fattening you up to eat you. Yeah, that's right. I said anal and oral sex was haram. Mm, it, it sounds like a jam. Listen, I'm wearing a long shirt and no one saw anything. Relax. I, I understand that, and I, it wouldn't matter to me either way. But what happens when you play stupid games, buttered toast? Tell me. Toasty at 4 a.m. Dusty. I made lasagna. Do you want any? That's right. You fuck around and find out. Ash is, Ash is getting close. She's getting real close. Fuck around and find out. That's true, Asha. She see, she knows. Bad path to butt stuff you're telling us about. Uh, you also said you like eating pussy. Yeah, that's top of the list. Respectable things to say. <laughs> Talking about prison and things I heard about. <laughs> uh... Yo, I'm cool with either way. But, Toast, do you want to tell me... Just remind me again what happens when you play stupid games. What happens when you play stupid games, Toasty? I'm more likely to make Shepherd's Pie at 4 a.m. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> Reason Dixon, thank you. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Reason Dixon with the win in chat. He realized that if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Guys, let's get some love for... Oh, God. Reason Dixon in the chat. What a legend. He knows exactly what the protocol is. Thank you, Reason. Yeah, so if you want to play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. It's not my fault. You get put in a cage. In the cage. I don't know who said uh, about women and going to pay... See anyone, but for one... Don't disrespect me, bro, but I wouldn't be horny for Dusty's girl. Yeah, you would. Don't lie. She got fat tit and ass. What do you mean? You don't, you're not, what, what is she, a fucking joke to you? You're not, you don't like my fucking girl? Alpha? What the fuck you mean? She's not good enough for you? You don't like her fat titties and her nice tight ass? What the fuck, what the fuck? She's not good enough for you, eh? What do you think, this is a joke? <laughs> it's your girl, not mine. No, I wouldn't. It's like that scene in fucking, uh, that shit movie, Suicide Squad, where the guy walks in. And sees Harley Quinn dancing, and, and then Joker's like, "Hey, you want uh, the fucking shit actor, whatever his name is, Jared Leno, trying to be Joker? You want, you want my bitch?" <laughs> then he's like, "Yeah, come on over. You know, hey, Harley, come over here. Yeah, she's yours for the night now. Oh, I don't want that, your girl, man. That's your girl. <laughs> I'll eat her cooking," says Gertrude. Uh, you went a trip to stand. Well, what it really is, is let's face it, is uh, No Emotions doesn't like the fact that Alpha Wolf is a little more um, horny in chat. And he likes to, to be a little bit more of a horn dog, which possibly can lead to him in some 
I've seen him in some rocky situations. I think w uh, with DVS Girl or something like this in the past. And no emotions uh, to an extent is trying to offer his opinion. I deem it a bit like kind of white knighting, but it's fringing, so it's not really there for me. Plus, I'm not invested into it. Really, I don't care. Um, but as much as Alpha Wolf does do that sometimes, and we've noted we crack jokes with him because I've seen it happen. And he's a fun guy, and he likes to put his penis in nice, tight, wet vaginas. And I totally understand that because I'm a guy who also likes to do that. But as of whether you're having sex with my girlfriend, I mean, you can try. You can give it your best shot. I give you open opportunity. Everybody try to have sex with Toasty, but I don't think she's gonna be into you. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Dust acting like the Joker in Suicide Squad. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything she said, she's made you that. I've been here for sounds delicious as I know. She's she oh, she's getting really good at cooking. Alf, you are always going after every woman in chat. I see you in Priscilla, Asha, DVS, all these bitches. <laughs> Even though most of them jump back on you, it's still fucking annoying. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That is true. Alpha is a bit of a horn dog, but I kind of like him. You're welcome. I just need you to stop asking. That was such an easy one. I know, Reason. See, Reason's a fucking legend. He knows. You know, she didn't want to answer because she she knows I was going to do the big thing. But she knew what the answer was. But thank you, Reason. I love you, bro. Yeah, Eddie, and you doing good today, Eddie? How's your day going? I only like to stir the pot. Oh, it is quite delectable, isn't it, Russian? I could give a fuck about the women. Oh, like a serious level. But this is a damn live stream, not sex talk. No emotions, bro. You jealous. Sounds like jealousy. Oh, I love it. Food is my love language. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Gertrude, I, I feel like a kid in a candy store. So much to do and so much excitement. It's also overwhelming. Eddie, everything's okay? Eddie's building to something here. Eddie's every good. Uh, it's good to see you, brother. Wait a minute, I was just watching Sue jo jo Johansson. Who's this fart knocker on the screen? Gertrude, what? Yes. So, it seems like a clash of clans here. Um, I don't know about any of that stuff, like, in regards of... I know Alpha... Um... Alpha does get a little a little crazy sometimes. You know, he likes to he likes to he likes to be a little bit of a Casanova and have a little fun, I guess. Um as of him, like as of it, like who cares? Like is 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 it a big deal? Is it enough to I definitely I wouldn't say called him out, but I laughed. I think we laughed willingly together um about a couple things. His antics, I would say, more or less his antics. Um which I do believe to be harmless, but obviously spotable and noticeable in a, in a live stream chat, uh, stream chat thing. Um, as of me caring that much about uh, doing it, I, I really like. I don't really care. You know, mysterious machine. I feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on. I didn't know where it was, but at any rate, it looks pretty cool. I decided to keep it in your room. What is this from? Is this also from Dishonored? Hmm. I don't know. But yes, uh, I still like, uh, I still like Alpha. I have nothing against him. I know he can get a little crazy and no emotions. I also believe that you can get a little crazy yourself. So welcome to the world of live streaming. Canada's sex expert, old lady who could probably show you a thing or two. Oh, Gertie. Hashtag DVS girl. Dr. Ruth. Wait, what am I miss? Chat is funny. They make rulers that small. Wait, what? Oh, whoa, that was a good one. We can go back and forth all day at the end. I'll I get him, as you clearly pointed out. I get him. Getting? Getting the ladies? Oh, you getting all the ladies? You boys build, building to compare dick sizes. Oh, okay, penis sizes, yo. Alpha, Alpha. Is that what it is? Alpha, are you stealing all the ladies and not leaving any ladies for fucking no emotions? Is that what's happening in the chat? Alpha Wolf. Save some ladies, okay? Stop taking... Stop taking all the ladies. Leave some of the ladies for, for no emotions. Don't you take all those ladies. Your 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 antics, your sexually aggrandizing a actions, 
You should fight IRL and Toasty can be the ring girl. Hell yeah. Okay, I want to give her like... Oh shit. I want to give her a uh, checkered flavored... Checkered flavor. Checkered... Checkered pattern uh, panties. Little checkers on them. Hilarious and Kurt and Entourage at a bar. They would probably fight. No emotion would probably let it fly. And Wolf would be like, I thought this was America. I thought this was America. It would probably be pretty crazy. Um, jealousy, I don't care what he says. He's getting emotional again. I don't think it's jealousy. I think a no emotions has seen you, uh, like... I, I guess it's more like... This suave, deterministic is stuff. But it can also come off as weird with the ladies. Like, especially... Because, like, chicks get a lot... Like, it's online. Sometimes chicks like a little attention, but then... Other times it gets too much and, you know, you don't know who you're talking to. You're talking to just a regular girl who just wants to chill out and chat and have some fun and watch some games because they like games. Um, but maybe it's, like, just a bit, of, a bit of a... It gets a little too much sometimes, like normal shit. Sometimes everybody gets a little fed up and whatever. Could just be a bad day. Who knows? Uh, you don't get shit but pornography posters. Don't you have a girlfriend, Alpha Wolf? Do you, are you getting any nookie? Or no? I thought you had a girlfriend. MK, share the popcorn. <laughs> DBS girl. Wait, did someone call me a slut or something? No, Asha, nobody called you a slut. No. Um, I might have said bitches in plural about all these hoes and bitches. I said bitches, uh, but that, but that, I, I, it was a, it was a generic term, and I was ad libbing on a, on some chat. But no, you're, I, not you. Uh, did anybody call Asha Harris a, a slut? Cause she's, she is not. Oh, Russian bot said you heard that. No. No, Asha, to my knowledge, no. Uh, not that I've seen. If anybody calls you a slut, I guarantee I would ban them. Just for you. Because that's... Especially if it was abrupt like that. No, I don't think they did. Um, emotion. You feel safe again, Asha. You were all single. At, oh, they left. Ladies, you girls. Fucking annoying. You turn every chat into porn all the time. Does he? Emotions did acting slutty is what he said. Acting slutty. Acting slutty. I don't think. I don't think. I, I don't think I've seen that. Okay, now. Okay, can somebody fill me in on the juice after? I might be mix, missing some. Either way, girls, you're fine. Guys, you're okay. This is between no emotions and alpha wolf. Let's see how they handle this in the third quarter. We're coming around the last lap now. It seems like alpha wolf has let off the speed. No emotions is gassing it. Around that fifth corner here. He's coming at about 120 miles an hour. And we're hoping to see a win from this race series. As of women being slut shamed. I don't see that as a official statement here on the channel. Uh, all the women that were mentioned were mentioned in jest. Or for example only. Um, either ding 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 round four. Let's go. Keep, keep it going. Other than that I don't know. I can't do 17 things at once. But what I can do is give the Grand Cup to the most horny slut bag in chat by the end of today's... I think, honestly, I think it's going to go to... It's, a, it's up between Alpha Wolf or Emotions. No Emotions. Um, both of them have the horniest slut bag awards. Very, very close. Very close. Who's going to win the horniest slut bag award 2024? I wonder if these guys can break down that chain. Oh, Groupon code. Yeah, Groupon code. You wanna you wanna hang in for the Hordia Slut Bag Award? Uh, he's going to need a conveyor system if he's not careful. <laughs> I would throw down another shovel, but he's digging that hole on double time. You're way behind, all Russian. No, I said uh, women who act slutty. I don't have patience for, and men who sexualize women, I have no patience for. Yeah, I mean, you may have said that, but uh, I think the, the cause was you didn't like the way Alpha Wolf was talking to 
all the women in the uh, apparently the two communities, which is Brian Menard and and my uh, community, emotions. Um, but I see, I, I I don't take Alpha. Alpha is more. He's more like you might see it as him trying to be like this alpha wolf thing but he's just kind of like being generic and and trust me the girls no most you got to realize too like let's let's take abstract and look at this from a, a let's have some let's have some uh perception here let's use our perception skill these fine young women that are in the chat can totally speak up and defend themselves, right? They can totally either abolish or accept. They can accept the, the love or whatever, the lust, whatever you want to call it, or they can dismiss it on their own accord, right? They can do that themselves. So for us trying to say like, oh, Alpha Wolf's always trying to hit on chicks. Well, these chicks can tell him to fuck off, right? That's what, that's what it comes down to. They have their own like kind of, they can do their own thing. Jumps on every woman I stated Ash's name DVS a few another yeah listen I don't care what is going on here I'm here to support a fellow streamer if you're going to put a uh, put your thoughts uh, put your thoughts to yourself it's going to start stuff I'm a flirt simple don't change me bro yeah no alpha I just love it I I love perspective yeah is it perspective did I say perception perspective perspective Russian bot he's got it um alpha no I I don't care about any of this this is just fun for me to do like. You guys have to realize this is this is quite interesting for me. Uh, I love a good little bit of drama. So, yes, Alpha Wolf, keep chasing those, slaying those gals, and no emotions. Keep defending those those poor, helpless, innocent women in the chats. How dare he, Alpha? You scumbag piece of shit, Alpha Wolf! How dare you? Uh, Mr. Garnalios, uh, what's up? What did you say? This is currently my last month that I'm a member. I have lost my job and currently have almost no income. Sorry, bro. Have, uh, have, have a have new job. I'm back a member. Mr. Garnalios, don't worry about it, man. Just uh, fucking come hang out for free, dude. You can do it for free. You can do it for free, brother. What did I miss? Let him mansplain to you, says Eddie. You're, you're tired of seeing the message. No emotions from, from Alpha. Is Alpha, I want to see Alpha get mad about this. Sorry to hear, Mr. Garnalios. Hopefully you find something soon. I do hope you find something soon. Don't worry about the channel, though, uh, Mr. Garnalios. Just come and enjoy it for free. You might even pick up a gifted member. No worries, bro. I hope you're having a good night. Mr. G, sorry to hear that, man. He's fine. He's going to get another job. He's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. Sex and conflict. Human beings, two favorite things of all time. What's that song, Eddie, by... Uh, what's that band? Sex and Violence? I love that song. MK, yes. Sex and conflict. Exactly. That's what we're here for. You boys can literally just block one another and never see another message of each other. Oh, but that's not fun. I want to fucking read their shit and listen to their drama bullshit. I don't want them to block each other. There's no fun in that. Shut up, Max. Nobody asked you. Uh, I'm a male slut. Send me all your moms. <laughs> Okay, uh, only when the girls say, let's move on, then we'll move on. Alright, once the girls say, okay, I'm done with this, then we'll move on. Other than that, I'm going to keep it going. Biggest insider. Biggest insider. This is fire. Everything is fine. This is fine. It's all burning. Instigator. Biggest instigator, says Asha. You can't beat punk song titles. Who was it again, Eddie? Who was that? What's that band? The dish, dish something? If you don't like it, then... Leave, no emotion. No one is keeping you here, says Alpha Wolf. I don't want you to leave, bro. I'm just saying I am who I am. Okay, yes. You can see what they put at Dust Town, but they won't see each other. Oh, I'll see. The Exploited, that's what it is. It's the Exploited, yeah, yeah. That's a good That's a good song. There's a song called Sex and Violence. It's an old song I used to listen to. Sex and Violence. What am I doing up here, by the way? Sex and violence. Sex and violence. Sex and violence. I don't know why I'm thinking of that. But yeah, anyways. Um, I don't know about all that stuff on other channels and stuff. Um, but hell yeah, brother. Like, I don't know. what. I, yeah, Alpha. Alpha. Oh, let me, let me instigate this a little more. So Alpha. The only time I've had Alpha, which did a... It was a bit of a funny one. Alpha. Can I mention the story again? I'm going to mention it again. Uh, and it made me laugh because this is when I was first getting to know Alpha Wolf. And I was like, 
this guy is strange. He's a strange kind of guy. Like, he's a nice guy. But he's definitely strange. Michael, thank you for the one month. Bro, you're losing your R rating on this stream. I love your streams. I'll be tuning in a lot more. Jason! <laughs> Jason! Michael, thank you for the one month, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely definitely losing the uh, rated E for everyone on this one. Um, So this story is uh, involving Alpha. So Alpha, you remember this. I've said this many a times. Alpha, um, let's, let's start a war, said Maggie one day. Alpha sounds like he's jelly of your attention. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I can't read too much. So, so Alpha Wolf, we got like 10 gifted members, right? Michael, thank you very much for the month. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, we got 10 gifted members. And I love Alpha Wolf. Like, I, I've, he's, he's a bit of a flirty guy and he, some jokes, but he's a great guy. Like, he's not, not, I'm, I've seen a hell of a lot worse online. Okay, I'll tell you, he's, he's, he's the least of my problems. Um, but one time we got 10, like 10 gifted members, right? And this is such a funny story. This is so Alpha Wolf. We got 10 gifted members, right? It's like, no, I'm not letting it go because it's so funny. It's just so you. It's just so you in a nutshell. And it's so funny because I was just getting to know you, right? And it's like Jason, Eric, uh, Paul, Dennis, whatever, um, Jordan, Disa, whatever, right? Like, like Michael Strapalopoulos. George something and then it was like sweet baby cakes 88 or something right like some uh, maybe it was like Re Rebecca Stevenson or some like a girl's name right so it was all these guys name and then like one name in the middle was a chick with a chick profile picture right and gifted members on the channel and then alpha just like out of all the 10 all of the guys never said, you know, anything, but he's like, oh, Rebecca, welcome to Dust Nation. Welcome to the community, Rebecca. And he's like hollering at this person who wasn't even in the chat because, you know, gifted members are just, you just get gifted members. And that's totally Alpha Wolf. Like the only girl that was there, he's he's like welcoming, welcoming her to the community. And I'm like, bro, you're so cringe. What the fuck, dude? Like the only chick in the 10 gifted members and your ass is sitting there fucking like, welcome to the community. Like shit, dude. Like. But that's just him. Like he he is he is himself, and um, it was just funny as fuck. And you know, I called him out on it. He laughed about it. We all laughed about it. And we're from there. Michael, thank you for the five, bro. Let's fucking go, yo. Russian got one. Saxon Viking Colton, Remrocks, and not given. All received a gifted member from my man Michael. Thank you for the five, brother. I appreciate you very much. That's funny as hell. It was a good story. It was a good yeah. And uh, I'll never, I'll never give that up with Alpha because that's totally him, and and it's that nature of who he is. That's the reason why uh, no emotions is like, fuck this guy, bro, like this fucking guy, and uh, you know that's how it is, you know. But I think that if they really worked on it, they could be really good friends. I think of no emotions could, if he's seen it from a different perspective. Um, he could really be friends with with Alpha, and I think Alpha is just does. He's like, hey, man. Yo, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Alpha didn't holler. Yo, I know, Russian. Why didn't Alpha holler at you? I'll be put, uh, pulling them, though, Groupon code. Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet you're pulling all the bitches. Don't you have a girlfriend? I thought you had a girl. First of all, Alpha, do you actually have a girlfriend? Because if you have a girlfriend and you're over here hitting on all the gal, all the gals online, that's not nice, mister. You can't do that. That's not nice. You can't do that, dude. You know that's bit that's a bad boy. You can't do that. Mr. Garnalio, sorry to hear it. Yeah, Casey, yeah. Uh, hope you'll find He will, dude. Mr. Garnalio is smart as fuck, bro. He'll find another job easy peasy. Mr. Garnalio is smart. He's going to get another job, no problem, dude. I guarantee you. And as of the channel membership stuff, Mr. Garnalio, don't even worry, brother. Don't worry about it. You'll you'll be back. Jobs everywhere. Yeah, bro. You'll be you'll be good, man. You'll be good, Mr. Garnalios is fine. It's my boy right there. It's not Mario, there's no levels or worlds, only the matrix. What's your, so wait, 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 Eddie, how was your day, man? Thank you for the hashtags for Michael, by the way, guys. Michael, absolutely legendary with the five. Eddie, how was your day today? I, I think I've been skipping over your comments. But he was building up to something. What was he? Gertrude was saying something. He's like building up. Is he doing good? Can you guys confirm? Did Eddie say he was doing okay? Eddie? I miss you. How are you? 
I think Alpha Wolf needs to be put in the doghouse or just give him the snip. Well, what's happening now is no emotions is getting a little more like pissed off. And he and he's getting pissed off at at uh, he's like MGK a, a poster child. I'm like Eminem at serious level and this is kill shot. So uh, yeah, so what's happening now is no emotions is getting a little bit more like fuck you, which is good. It's good to have some enemies. It's good to be yeah, fuck yeah. Right, no emotions. Yeah. Fuck you, Alpha Wolf. Suck my dick. Stop trying to hit on these bitches. Yeah, fuck them. That's fine. That's healthy. It's good. Get some enemies. But uh, Alpha Wolf wants no part of this. And he's just fucking around. Uh, no emotions. He's, it's not that serious. It's going to be a rap battle. MGK beats Eminem all day. Personal opinion, but facts. I, I, don't, I don't really like... I don't think so. I actually think Eminem's uh, probably has more of a body of work as more of an artist than uh, than than MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, I think Machine Gun Kelly's uh, a bit strange, um, but also I think Eminem's a bit strange. But I think in the repertoire of work between uh, Marshall Mathers and uh, Machine Gun Kelly, I think Marshall Mathers has a substantial um, amount of work that that vouches for his 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 career as a um as a rapper so i would have to uh, disagree with you and Shit. say that uh, God, restore power of these doors maybe that wire in, to on the whole mgk something. is worse than eminem i love bread especially french bread weird man i love you anyone like bread butter toast Shit, i missed did eddie say he was doing okay eddie how are you doing man fuck did i miss it again Shit, i think i missed it Jordan likes bread. Mm-hmm. Alpha. No motions. How do you feel about bread? I don't I don't want to see it. I don't care about the women. I don't My point is if your woman want if your if you woman want to waste your time with a loser, do it in Discord. <laughs> um I guess so. I guess. It's fucking like a chimera. It's like I'm talking to a chimera, bro. Like a, an ethereal beast. Uh, no motions. Don't bring us women into it. We ain't done anything, says DBS. Jesus, no motions. Uh, we know you don't care about women. All you have to, spoken about is jail butt sex and not caring about women. Streamlabs posted a link. What was that link for? What the fuck? Somebody posted the Discord link? Oh, no emotions did. That's my Discord link. Yeah. I like water too. So much common. Yeah, bread and water. Dude, we should honestly have kids together. Like, I think we're designed. You like bread? How many uh, uh, others like bread and water? Uh, like us. Maybe we should all get together and have sex. <laughs> Guys have a bro job and get wasted, says Casey. How are you enjoying Bannerlord? Oh, yeah, he's playing Bannerlord. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is all you and your feelings, says DBS girl. I'm assuming she's talking to no emotions. Bro, did you call me a loser? Alpha Wolf, he called you a fucking loser, bro. Water is good, ice cold. Oh, yes, I love it. So much in common. We got so much in common, DBS. I have one emotion cross a line, piss me off. Bro, I cannot write better chat, man. Shit is fucking golden. I don't care about online women. It says no. Wait a second. It kind of, I kind of get a feeling you do, though. I kind of have a feeling you might care a little bit about him. I like water. Do you like air? Honestly, Jordan Disa can't get enough of air, dude. I love air, dude. How do you feel about bread, Jordan? Alpha says, such a child. Yeah, I've been playing it. Uh, Smither. Smither? Traitor, so not even done much battles. Just making money the British way, says Eddie. Nice, Eddie. Oh, he's playing Banner Lords too. Bless his soul. Richard, you sneaky bastard. What did he do now? I don't mess with online women. You don't mess with them? They're not your jam? You're not your jam? You don't like them? Not your thing? Make make enough money to buy all the settlements and colonize the empire. Or are you are you glitching it? You're making it like a Eddie Trucker, the online trucker. Air is nice. You like air too? Not even the slightest. No emotions. My god. So what we've learned tonight is that no emotions, doesn't really like the free ad-lib nature of Alpha, especially when he's trying to appease 
to the ladies. He comes off as crude and also cringe to no emotions. We've learned this. And, uh... Honestly, just Alpha Wolf's type of personality, just cringe as fuck. He doesn't like him. He views him less as a man. He thinks he's not really, you know, it's just disgusting is the way I think we've learned that. Listen, bro, you come and chat, grab your lotion bottle, try to grab a dumb woman willing to mess with you for your sick kicks. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh... I like air depending on where it's coming from and what temperature it is. Gertrude, you're a man of my taste, the quality. I think YouTube didn't drop my message Hopefully again. Probably trick. not, Groupon. Not glitching anything. Traders is a part of the game. This is its own skill. Okay, you're boring. Your chat sucks, Eddie. Moving on. You're a loser, bro. Enough said. This is no emotions. But I still hold a grudge on breads and grains. A. I blocked him. I don't have time for his childish games. No, don't block him, dude. Oh, shit. Don't block him. Alpha, come on. Bro, I'm going to read all this chat. Okay, I think it's time we need to go to our separate way corners and cool off. All right, all right. Let's just cool off for like five, ten minutes, and then can we get can we get back in after? Five, ten minutes, and then we'll get back in. Just for Asha. Asha's not feeling it anymore. Not a fan of grain bread. I prefer toasted white bread, honestly. Okay. My wife is sleeping now. Not for long. She needs sausage. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Garnalios? Okay. Holy fuck, bro. Nobody's picking up what Mr. Garnalios is putting down. He's just trying to slip in there with a the fucking fast one. He just says... Oh my god, my wife is sleeping now, but not for long. She needs sausage sauce. He's just trying to slip in there. He's trying to get in. Holy fuck, bro. That's funny as fuck. Damn. Uh, he just mad he was called out. This is- I think this is like the third time you called- Called him out now? No emotions? I think this is about the third time you called him out. From what I remember. I, I know you've had this gripe with him for a while. And I will admit though, at first, like, before I barely knew him, I let him kind of like do his thing and just watched him. And I was a little curious as well with Alpha Wolf, like, he is very, he's particularly fond of the ladies. I did notice this. Um, but substantially harmless. He, he just, he just likes the fair sex. You know, can I blame him? No, I can't. Can't really blame him for it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, kick over the oil drum. Oh, and then oil spills out. Well, yeah, I, I was, uh, it's just annoying. Yeah, not, I mean, not really, though. Once you realize it's just harmless little, like, that's how the internet is, man, you know? That's how the internet is. It, it, it's annoying, but is it that big of a deal, you know? Do you really need to, like, oh, you're fucking talking to these girls, it's disgusting, and blah, 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 I see you do it all the time. Like, it's not really that necessary, you know? Wait, you're still playing a game, Jordan? Yeah. Leave some for the next stream, boys. You know what? Uh, if it means we can all act like adults, I'll stop. How about that? No emotions? But see, I'm having too much fun with it, though. It's too funny. That's the thing. I don't want to stop it. I know we're going to hit that point where nobody wants to talk about it anymore because it's annoying. And you guys are done with it. But God, it's so fun for me. It's just fun. But I know you guys are going to start giving up on it. Fuck. To be fair, not talking, not taking sides. But I was super annoyed by the bull milking not that long ago. It was on and on and on, and I didn't talk shit about it. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, MK. That don't forget, no emotions. Remember that time you went a little far with the the bull milking joke with DVS, and uh, everybody everybody was kind of like, bro, this fucking bull milking joke. These like sexual innuendo stuff, like the bull milk, the bull milk. Yeah, that's true. MK has a point, right? Now uh, I see what I tend to do is I let. Like, DVS was definitely at the butt of that one. And I let her fight her fight. She's a strong, independent woman. If she had enough of it, she could have easily said, I'm done. Fuck off. And I let her. So let's let's not forget there was that one incident with you as well. And that's okay. Maybe it's an incident. Maybe it wasn't. That's not for me to decide. What is my fight? I don't even like fights. I like cuddles. 
Yeah, how do I destroy this? MK's got a point there. That was true. I'm out of popcorn. Damn it, says DBS. Don't stop, says Toasty. I'm still waiting for Sue Johansson to come back. I got it. Is that the one? I think I remember. She was doing the sex advice late at night. Yeah, Dustin, don't forget to. Oh, yeah, I got to get those games. Yeah, yeah. MK, yep. I remember that. DVS girl. Probably not because uh, you have a different opinion of me. Alpha Wolf says. All good, though. Keep being a child, not even acting your age. Says Alpha. Oh, it's Alpha's. Alpha's. I, I got to admit, though, Alpha's kind of taking this one a little bit gracefully. No emotions. He's, he's kind of. He's calling you out a little. He said, he said you were a child. But he's kind of taking this one a little more gracefully. I I can kind of see that. When someone said too far what, what I do. Oh, I know you stopped. Yeah, I know you stopped. I, I'm pretty sure you did, right? No, you, you totally did. It was the person. It was the subject, though. It was the person of that, right? I think it was DVS who you were, who were talking to. And I think she said stop. Whereas like Alpha Wolf, in, in this particular case, if you're going to use that argument, it would be either like DVS or Priscilla or Asha or any of these females or buttered toast that would say okay dude can you stop that like that's fucking weird i don't like that you know which takes balls takes guts to tell people to fuck off and not for me i do it all the time but for other people it does i understand that um so it would be individual for for their cases right you know what i mean no emotions they would have to say fuck off because i'm pretty sure it was dvs that that asked you to like chill on the bull jokes i think it was was it i don't know maybe you guys can jog my memory <sighs> But yes, that was a bit weird when Alpha Wolf stopped when I told him to. DVS, yeah, Alpha did stop when you asked him to. Okay, good, yeah. I haven't seen Casper for a while. You always say that, Casey. Casper always jumps in whenever he can. Casey, he's like, he always says, I, 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 I think he's doing okay. Casey, I love Casey. Casper will be here when he's here. I just want to talk to Samson. Yeah, yo, Eddie, he posted the Samson rap the other day. She likely uh, was Dust Town. There used to be a Sunday night radio show on 106.9, The Bear. But it no longer exists. Dude, I remember seeing her on TV. Uh, can you actually see Casper? Yes, you can. We all know they like the dude's dumb comments. So why not just fuck off in Discord with your sex chat? Well, I don't think they were like, I think like it was blatant sex chat. And I think people just like um, arousing or, or a provocative conversation in general, no emotions, regardless of it's sexual. Like even making a risque joke, like, um, you know, how many cops does it takes to screw in a light bulb none they beat them all because they're black the room's black or some like provocative joke that's like oh kind of puts people off i think people genuinely uh get a kick out of either dark humor or um provocative stuff sexual stuff so it's not necessarily like take it to discord anytime you talk about sex or if you want to make a an, a risque joke right i don't think that's necessarily how it works um and I think that's exactly what's happening happening here. Like if you're seeing somebody flirt, like dude, I've been in some chats. I've seen people like flirt hardcore, man. You think that you think that's bad? No emotions, dude. I remember this one time. These fucking these people were just like hearting back at each other, like love you so much, heart, 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 heart over here. And it's like, oh god, I, I was playing. Uh, what was I playing? I was playing Assassin's Creed at the time, Valhalla, and I was like reading this chat. And I'm like, yo, these fucking, this is cringe as fuck going on in my chat. It's just weird. Happy birthday, group on man. Happy fucking birthday. It is midnight now. Wait a second. It's 34 minutes past midnight. You're late. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday, Mr. Saus. And what Mr. Garnalio say, do it, Saus. It drop it. Thank you, Mr. Saus. <laughs> um, Groupon code happy birthday. Oh, you want me to sing happy birthday to him? <clears throat> okay. <sighs> you ready for this? <sighs> One sec. Let me mute the uh, background audio. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy motherfucking birthday, dear group on code. Yeah. Oh, you want me to slutty? Happy birthday to you. Ah. Uh. Happy birthday, group on code. I hope you have a lovely day. Uh... There you go. Happy birthday, dude. <laughs> you said slutty too late, so I couldn't do it. I was in Brian's chat watching him and Maureen for four hours doing nothing but talking about fucking each other's brains out. Motherfucking Alpha Wolf, were you trying to were you chatting up Maureen talking about fucking? Is this true? 
I thought you had a girlfriend. Alpha Wolf. Were you talking to Maureen? Talking about fucking each other's brains? You're gonna get yelled out. Gertrude, watch your language. What did Gertrude say? Happy birthday. Dude, Groupon, I love you, man. Reason I say shut the fuck up is because I don't need replays of dumb shit. Ah, it's news to me, so it's fresh off my boat. Well, that just woke my dog up howling. Oh, shit, Max. Marilyn Monroe style. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday. My kind of stream. Oh, oh I better watch what I say. No emotions. <laughs> wolf. Alpha wolf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a bit of a peeping Tom. <laughs> Mad Max. Uh, yeah, you stayed for the whole thing. No, watching him and Maureen for four hours from the bushes. <laughs> you watched for four hours. Oh, you're only supposed to allow yourself to be exposed at no emotions. I stayed to watch Brian. I don't even uh, drop in Brian's chat because this dumbass. Now he's being dumb here. I mean, he was always being dumb here. We just accepted him. No emotions. Straight up. I, I always just kind of like... Like, he's harmless. You know what I mean? No emotions. It's harmless. Like, it's harmless. So, I don't know, right? Like, he's not bothering me. I mean, should he be bothering me? Am I supposed to, like, pay attention? You know what I mean, bro? Like, it's, sometimes it's just, like, it's not even worth it. Like, I don't even know who the fuck Maureen is, bro. Is, is Was Maureen, was Maureen into that stuff? You can watch it without chat. I mean, you can kind of DVS, but I'm taking up so much of the time of gameplay of just reading people's comments that you really can't watch this without getting involved. You really can't. You really can't. I don't even know how to get in here. But, uh, I mean, I could digress and be more professional about it, but fuck. Life's about a good time, man. Might as well go for so I know, but I don't know how to get around here. I don't even know how to destroy this, whatever. I mean, it looks like I can destroy it, but it's not allowing me to. If I can shoot it. Oh. That's not gonna work either. Anybody have any suggestions? I mean, clearly this is like what you have to do, but... Some 55-year-old mom or some shit looking for hookups. No, I'm not saying that to... Oh, uh, no, oh, oh, okay. You can watch without chat. Yeah, yeah, you're saying that. I mean, he can, but he, he also... Uh, oh, you mean from before with Brian's channel. Oh, DVS. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Nothing wrong with 55-year-old women. Send the 55-year-old moms my way, says Groupon. I saw it ignored, and I'm ignoring everyone uh, but, but my actual issues. Oh, I hear you no most. No, I, 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 hey, listen, dude. Like, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. Use your pew-pew and run-run. Pew-pew and run? QP and run. I don't think I don't think I can do that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Jordan's like, I don't know this game. I mean, there was a spill the oil. Did I mess something up? Was I supposed to like push the oil barrel over here? And burn this thing? Is that? You know what I mean? Okay, like, I got that lit up. Clearly did nothing. I'm thinking maybe what I should have done is, uh, pushed it over and then... Okay, the oil bell. Oh, why do I feel like this isn't... I feel like I should get a prompt or something here to, like, kick it. Uh, I need to be on the other side. Is there any... Oh, no. Maybe from the other way. Door up there. I don't know. Can you move the box to jump wherever you... No, you can only move boxes that have the slider thing on it. I don't play scary games. I feel like that fire should have been used on the wood. I don't follow pussy boys backup dancers. I go for my selected target and hit until dead nothing else matters my issue is 
You are annoying with the stupid shit. Give it a rest or just block me so I can can't effing see you. <laughs> when you can't figure out a game, Dusty, do you feel rest restarted? <laughs> no. No, I don't. No one is mad at you, bro. Why are you acting so butthurt? Well, it's just your existence. It, it makes him mad. There is one thing in this life that I know. All right. And sometimes people just don't like you because they don't like you, bro. And that's that's a fact. Sometimes you can you can explain everything. You can be nice. You can do whatever you want. Sometimes people just inherently they just don't like you. And there's nothing you can do about that. It's crazy how life is like that, you know? For the rest of the, of the backup dancers, I don't care. Blow me. No emotions. That's not very... That's not very haram. What are you drinking over there, Ming? It says Mad Max. Enough already. No emotions. No three motions. Stop con continuing a dead conversation. Giving a blowjob is on my bucket list, says Casey. <laughs> Sick-minded man seeking women only as a sex object are dead to me. I think this is a little bit of a a projection case as well. I don't I don't believe that's entirely what's happening, but uh, man, this is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot to take in. If this girl sing the song, or it won't work. It's his attitude and lack of understanding for other people that's got no emotions so high strung right now, and he keeps edg edging it on. Oh, wait, 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 what? It's his attitude and lack of understanding for other people. I got no emotions so high strung right now. And he keeps edging it on. Wait, are you referring to... Alpha Wolf's attitude and lack of understanding? That's got no emotions so high strung right now. And keeps edging it on. Asha? Or are you talking about no emotions own attitude and lack of understanding? I'm curious because his is a is a it's a it could mean either alpha wolf or it could be no emotion. And I think what Asha is actually trying to say no emotions is, is I think I could be wrong is that it's your attitude and lack of understanding for other people that has got you high strung. But then she says, and he keeps edging it on. Hmm, interesting. I'd like to hear more from Asha. Asha! Can you clarify? No emotions as Jardy jumped in and said, Asha is on my side. Russian bot, I can't sing the dogs in the neighborhood go crazy. Oh, it's Wolf. Okay, so Asha. Okay, okay. So Asha was saying to Alpha Wolf that it's Alpha Wolf's attitude and lack of understanding for other people that has got no emotions so high strung right now. And Alpha keeps edging it on. Is that what you mean, Asha? Am I correct about that? Let it go. Let it go. Stop. Stop revenge. A dead convo. Let it go. Your reasons don't matter to us anymore. Here I stand. Let the storm rage on. The cold doesn't bother me anyway. A doom doom. Okay, Asha. Okay, so Alpha Wolf must have. Asha's kind of done with your shit, Alpha, as well. Slightly agreeing with no emotion. So, no. I didn't say she's on my side. I said thank you for understanding. No, no. I, I mean, vicariously, she's she's, um, she's kind of saying like some of the stuff that Alpha Wolf has done is quite annoying, right? And, and to an extent that obviously something happened between Alpha Wolf where he um, was talking to Asha in a, in, a, in a term that she didn't like. And she's kind of stating that, yeah, well, Alpha Wolf sometimes, you know, his lack of understanding does get himself in it, which it which is does. I mean, he's he's a bit of a flirter and sometimes he might push that boundary a little, you know, I tried to stop it. Every wants to keep going. Well, we're, we're just uncovering the pie now, Alpha. You can't just give up. You don't know, throw in the towel once we're just getting started. No, no, no. No, 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 my friend. That is not the way it goes. 
We're just getting this party fucking started. You thought we were gonna quit? Hell no, we ain't quitting. Let's drop it and move on and, and keeps it going. Oh, Asha, I like it though. I like it. Why isn't this lighting up? What the fuck? Oh shit. Holy crap, I think you're right. I think we were supposed to push that barrel to the boards. Unless, unless there's one other option here. There is another option. All right, all right, now the cards are in play. I'll be honest, from my point of view, I've never seen Alpha say a single derogatory comment. No, this is all stemming from Brian's channel. They're, they're all bringing drama, or at least no emotion. Is bringing drama from Brian's channel, but he, I mean he's not wrong. Like yes, Alpha does do get a little bit uh, crazy with the women. I don't know the extent of like apparently he was talking to Maureen for four fucking hours over there, right? Maureen, who I obviously don't know as well. But um, so it's not it's not like no emotions is coming out of left field with everything. I mean Alpha has been known to be a little provocative in the chat, and obviously no emotions is uh, he's just had it up to here. You know what I mean? He's had it up to here with it. Uh, but I don't know any of this because obviously I only can control my own chat, my own community stuff. Uh, I don't control what happens elsewhere. But it seems like things are happening in the nethers that I don't know of. Russian bot, I was talking about my song. Did you like my, I don't know, I'm fully about respecting women and people's spouses. I was enjoying flirting and adult humor amongst adults. True, true, true. Put crayons on my nose. It's very sexy DVS girl. So they do blow up then. They do, but now it's making me think, Shh, will my crossbow blow it up? You know what I mean? Let's check this out. <gasps> oh no! Oh come on! Bulletproof? Come on! That's bullshit. 52 likes, let's go. Oh yeah, we gotta hit the like buttons, guys. We also need to make five more gifted members in order to pay, pay my rent. So let's bring in those gifted members, boys. Here we go. I'm gonna actually load the game from this autosave. No, I'm just joking, by the way. I'm having too much fun tonight. Only six, Eddie. Alpha do be throwing his dick at every girl, but I don't care. It's not my business. Alpha does, yeah, he, he's been known a little bit more in the other chats. See, he doesn't do it over here. I think he's... A little bit more. I think we've tamed the alpha wolf a little bit more over here. He doesn't do that that much. But then again, we don't have as much female, uh, as much as a female entourage. So maybe that's why. He's just one of those kids who never has been humbled before. So he keeps going on his childish shit. I'm humbling him with words because I can't just dump his ass in the trunk of a car and bring him on a fun ride. No, I wasn't. It was friendly conversation. She came on to me. And you know, it, no emotions. She, she even snapped on you, bro. Don't even go there. Oh, shit. Yes. Wait, Maureen. Jordan, thank you for the one gifted member. Wait, Maureen snapped as well on no emotions? Oh, my God. That Maureen gal. She, she must be the cat's pajamas. All the boys are after her. So, DVS Asha, what's happening over there with Maureen on the uh, on the old channel? Uh, not cool, no emotions? Yeah, let's bring threats. Uh, yeah, that was pretty stupid. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Dude, A.A. Ron King got himself a gifted member from Jordan Gisa. Jordan Gisa, hashtags in the chat, brother. Thank you very much. Show, do you want to ride with me, MK? You could if you were an octopus. Eddie Trucker is an oracle. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go for a smoke, MK. You were out of line and she put you in your place, so fuck you, bro. Alpha says that. Alpha, so Maureen put no emotions in his place? I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> It's just like, I don't know who the fuck Maureen is. I uh, have no clue what goes on in this chat. Oh, DVS. Okay, so none of you guys know who this Maureen is. Who's Maureen? Yeah. The fuck? She snapped on me because I called her a thotty. And I told you both to shut up because of kids in chat. Doesn't he have an 18 plus channel? Isn't isn't Brian's channel 18 plus? He, he swears and stuff, right? I'm pretty sure, sure he runs an 18 plus channel. I don't know, though. I, I always thought it was 18 plus. Because Brian, Brian will be like, oh, fuck that dog or whatever. He'll be playing a game that's fucking stupid. They're, fuck you, bitch. Sometimes I'll get him. He, Brian, I love Brian. He'll be like playing a game like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> like run away from some animals. I'm drooling and shit. She didn't do shit to me. I called her out. Are we talking about Maureen Alpha? Yeah, Maureen. Thank you, Jordan, for the one, brother. Maureen. 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 Please don't make me... 
have to talk to Alpha Wolf. He acts like it's his stream. Oh, no emotions? I don't know. I don't know. I've never been. No, Brian has 11 plus in his chat. Youngest kid is 11. No, I understand that, but it, like you can say whatever. I, 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 I'm 12 years old. No emotions. You know, you can say, but I'm saying like the the actual rating. I, I, it's something I'd have to talk to obviously him personally. Like if it's if if his channel or his live stream is is uh is broadcasted as 18 plus only. Because if that's the case, if a kid is using a different email that isn't linked to his like his age of consent or he agreed to the age of consent is 18 to watch the product, then that's kind of on him, right? So there's there's different copy uh, there's different laws for the way you broadcast on youtube um my my channel my content is broadcasted under not suitable for children so anybody below the age of 18 even if they say they're they're 11 in my chat doesn't matter to me because i i've broadcasted my stream as 18 plus only so if you have an email that is not registered as 18 plus on youtube it won't allow you to watch this uh it's not so he needs to be a subscriber or a member Somebody called Maureen to help clear this up. That's what I'm saying. Damn it, Dust Town. I sang that with you. Did you DVS? Maureen. I love that song. These idiots in there talking about bending each other over. Were they? Those disgusting sick fucks. Alpha Wolf, were you talking about bending Maureen over? Alpha? Were you talking about bending Maureen over? By God. There's 11 year olds in there. Watch your tongue, boy. Potter. I still hate uh, bread. Down with flour, burn the oats. <laughs> Gertrude. I hate bread. Down with flour, burn the oats. A DBS girl, you're welcome, says Russian. Okay, we're going to try this again, guys. New tutorial has been added. So it appears that can't really I can kick this over but it, I mean it does does absolutely nothing for our cause I've seen people get banned on twitch instantly if they admit to being under 18 on an 18 plus channel yeah it can happen yeah but for all intents and purposes even if somebody said they were 11 years old right now I would say well the the policy with YouTube is I've created a channel that's labeled for 18 plus if you have lied on your application uh, of being 18 plus that's on you. I, I, I can't I can't believe anybody that anything type anybody types in chat to the extent. But yes, I mean, yeah, it's a good probable cause for a ban. Um, them's fighting words. Pussy, go get your grandma from chat. <laughs> wait, what? No emotion. Who's grandma? Maureen's Maureen. Wait, you're Gram bending over grams. No, what the fuck, bro? Oh, you weren't doing that. Alpha. We we're saying you'd bend over Maureen's sweet, tight little booty. Never said that to Maureen. I don't even know who Maureen. Apparently, the girls don't even know who this fucking Maureen chick is, anyways. But I like the name. Russian bot, I shall plot my revenge on you. We shall take it to Discord, says DVS. Gertrude, too far, buddy. We were having a nice, peaceful conversation about sex and violence. You gotta bring up bread? Down with oats, I think he said, Russian. Let's ban him. Not liking bread, how dare he? I know. No emotions. You're on meth, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? If I did it, I would definitely say, yeah, I didn't. That's who I am, bro. You're a fucking liar, says Alpha Wolf. You're a dirty liar, he called you. That's right, Russian bot. Baguettes are blasphemous. DVS, nah, nah, emotions might think we're having dirty sex talk. Oh, on Discord. Yeah, you better watch out. You're going to catch some ideas. The song was Jolene. Yeah, a cool LQ clips. Yeah. Yeah, we knew it was Jolene. We were just saying Maureen. Um, cool LQ. I think Cool is like, bro, just play the game now, man. No, maybe we did it. Do you think that was it, guys? No fucking way. Yeah, that, that's not it. That's not it. That is not the one. That's not how we're going to do it. I think it's part of a... I think it's part of a different... Um, that's not it. Maureen! I'm not sure I appreciate this chat. Yo, it's Maureen! Maureen, what happened? Maureen, good to see you. Welcome. 
Your lover Alpha Wolf is telling us about. I mean, not Alpha. Yeah, Alpha. Maureen. Is this is this the Maureen? Maureen, I do apologize. You've never had a voice for yourself. Maureen, I hope you're doing lovely today. Welcome to the channel. Um, I I don't know if this if you're the same Maureen, but Maureen, we have a bit of a conundrum. Apparently, Alpha Alpha and you have been talking a lot and uh, pissing off no emotions with your sexist deviant talk. I don't know if this is true or not, Maureen. But um, welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing good. Just saying, song wasn't about Maureen chick. No, it was about. Jolene, yeah, cool. You're right. Is this the Maureen? No emotions. Is this the Maureen? Uh, for a start, I'm only 45. Okay, all right. Is this actually the Maureen? Maureen. Is this actually you? Someone made a fake account. I don't know. It's Maureen. Yeah, it's Maureen. Quoting sex talk from chat. Having a month ago. Totally don't care, bro. Alpha Wolf, is this... Is this the woman that you were oogling in the chat? Is this the one? Let's see where this goes. I don't know her account was blocked from my account. Oh, you blocked Maureen's account. Well, can you see this Maureen? Because if you can't see this Maureen, then the chances are we got, we have the Maureen. Who is Maureen then? That's what we're all wondering. Beetlejuice, Candyman, Bloody Mary, and Maureen. 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 Maureen, Maureen, please don't talk to Alpha Wolf Sexy in the chat. Maureen, 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 don't talk to Alpha Wolf Sexy because no emotion is going to get offended. You shouldn't be chatting here. You should take it over there in Discord while you're talking all that sexy and bending over chat in the chat. Stop trying to sexualize and create a world of compromise. Maureen, we just want you to be a nice and friendly person. Not have sex on live stream chat. Maureen. Maureen. Pretty sure it is. Fake account because she's full on blacklisted. So you can see this Maureen, so it might be a fake. Dude, whoever did that, though. Fucking legend, dude. That Maureen timing. Mwah! You are a fucking legend. Maureen. You were a legend. I, maybe it's just this random person named Maureen that actually came in. Or maybe it's an alt account. Maybe this person is just Maureen who subscribed to the channel. Loves the channel. Loves my awesome attitude and my great smile. And the way my voice, the cadence in the microphone. Maybe Maureen loves it. But um, who knows, man. The options are limitless here on the internet. Pretty sure it's a fake account. Yeah. DVS, uh, go hop on alpha or something. I don't talk to you for a reason. Oh, shit. No emotions. Uh, see, did you do what I told you was going to happen? Did you try to chat up DVS in Discord? And DVS is a no-nonsense gal. She's she's just here for a good time. I, I No emotions. I warned you about that. I said, behave yourself. And now you've ruined the opportunity. Now, now it's... Remember I told you guys originally when I said, don't do that. Because you're going to make things awkward in the chat. And then you're going to see them in the chat. You're going to see them in my chat. And then you're going to be like, I have all these emotions. and she, I told you. I said, keep it fucking consensual. And then you did some stuff on Discord, right? Now, And you can't say anything about D DVS because I warned you. She is a no-nonsense gal. And she's like every other gal. They're nice. They're fun. They want to have a good time. Maureen says, no emotions. You calm down now, big boy. This is Maureen. I'm definitely here for your smile, baby. <laughs> Aw, Maureen. Thank you, Maureen. I appreciate it. Maureen. Nah, I made a joke. You flipped out. Main reason I don't talk to you is because people come to me with lies you spread. Ah, but DVS was so nice. No emotions. You guys are both Portuguese. They were bonding, and I told you not to take it to the Discord. I said, I said, behave. And you're like, what? What, Dust? I'm not. I'm behaving. I'm like, you're not picking up what she's putting down. She's she's a very serious, no nonsense kind of gal. You don't you don't just start and you don't just come into the chat and said, let's talk about on Discord. Let's hang it on Discord. It leads to some crazy stuff now. I told you this. And and look what happened. Exactly what I said was going to happen has happened. Exactly what I said. And now the friendship is over because somebody pushed the limit too much. Now the chat is awkward as well. When you when you see each other in my chat, it's like, Ugh, I really want to talk to fuck. I really want to talk to no emotions. And you're like, there's that fucking bitch DVS. <laughs> Come on, man. Pull it together. Come on. Let's be nice to one another. Fucking love each other, man. Come on. 
Maureen asks if you calm down a bit. No emotions. Nah. Uh, okay, I read that. Michael, good to see you. Are you in a football fan? Because I am like Arsenal. On, I start on top but finish second. Michael. No. <laughs> nice joke, Michael. How you doing, Mike? Fuck do I care? I never fucking sex chat, you DVS, so go fuck yourself. I'm okay. <laughs> what was that Mr. Mackey shit on the end? No emotion. What was that mm guy? You, you pulled a Mr. Mackey. I'm going to read that in Mackey's voice, actually. <clears throat> fuck do I care? I'll never fucking sex chat at you, DVS. Go fuck yourself, I'm okay. I'm okay. Wait, did, we, did he get banned? Oh, shit. You got timed out. No emotions. Fuck, one of the moderators timed you out. Oh, shit. No emotions. My bad, bro. But it does happen. You, sometimes you get a little crazy. Sometimes you get a little crazy, brother. Let's calm down here. But don't worry, you only got timed out. You'll be all right. Quite a while, though. 300 seconds. Fuck. God damn, moderators. God damn. Like I told you before, no emotions. My words... My, my world doesn't revolve around you. You are not worth me talking about. If you don't care, then drop it, says DBS Girl. Friend is overrated. Alone and solo for life. Michael, we're friends, though. Never said you did. I did it. Thank God. Says Alpha. Get him. Says Jordan. Whew. Man, what a night tonight, baby. This is why. See, this is why I fucking live stream, baby. This is why I do it. I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for the fucking clout. I just love seeing people being people going fucking ape shit in the chat. It's awkward. It's crazy. Everybody wants to stop, but continue at the same time. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, God, can we stop it already? But you just keep peeking. You keep looking. What's next? You're sitting there with your popcorn. What's next? What are they going to say next? That's what I'm talking about. That was a minor case tonight, but it was good. And no emotions, no offense. You, you know, I love you. I love fucking... Uh, I love Alpha Wolf, too. I mean, I don't have anything against the guy. Regardless of his... I know his, his little sexual deviant shit, but that's up to him and his own, right? He's his own man. He can do. He can talk to whatever lady he wants. All this sexual bullshit online. Yeah, it's sometimes a little cringy. But I, I got other things on the go. I, I don't worry about. It. Like yeah, it's whatever. I still like the guy. When you come back, rethink your decision before you make em no emotions, please. Says Alpha Wolf. Oh, he's not gonna like you trying to give him advice. That's for sure. That's gonna be fun. Hey there, mate. Hope you and the kid and mom is good. Yeah, yeah, doing good. It's two, two at night here. Should be in bed, but I feel like sitting up for a while. Aw, oh, dude, man. I hope uh, you can get some sleep, Michael. Yeah, it's good to see you, brother. How was your um? How was your week, by the way? It's Friday. How was your week, bro? How was the Monday to Friday? And thank you. I appreciate the concern. Yeah, the, I hope everybody's doing good. Say some shit. So now add emotions. Got some shit to come back with. Yeah, yeah. Mad Max. Yeah, uh, that would be kind of good, actually. Alpha, if you wouldn't, like, I mean, it's up to you. I'm not forcing you to do anything. But you could talk some shit now, un uninterrupted, and... and uh, you could. Poke it with a stick. Maureen. 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 Maureen, welcome to the channel. Guys, we are very close to a heartbreak here on the channel. It always leaves everybody exhausted and just what the hell happened when you have nights like this, isn't it? Doesn't it just leave people like, God. They're just like, man, what the fuck? I'm here to just chill out and watch the game, brother. I just want to watch the game. Why y'all bringing me into this? Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Fire away. I've definitely had a laugh. I had a laugh at chat this evening. Oh, yeah, me too, me too. Officially, we were off Monday due to Easter. Oh, I did work for five hours. Good money. Longest week in all my time at this company. So just exhausted and spent. Oh, good money, but you can't you can't support your boy Dust Town for four ninety nine a month. I see how it is, Michael. The price of a cheeseburger a month you can't afford, but you can go and work on Easter and make that good money, and then leave old Dusty out in the cold to to cry with no money. I see how it is, Michael. No, I'm just joking with you, Michael. That's amazing, dude. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you got out there and made some money. Fuck yeah, baby. And happy Easter to you as well, dude. Happy Easter. Isn't Monday like the Orthodox Easter? Isn't it? Someone woke up and put grumpy pants on. Stinky bridges. You got those stinky bridges. Uh, uh, Huh! <laughs> 
The stream has been entertaining for sure. You know what? I, I gotta say a special thanks to Alpha Wolf and No Emotions for both laying it on the line. Um, big big ups to Asha as well. Asha came in, um, and that took a lot. It takes a lot, DBS girl. Everybody was coming in with some personal stuff, and it does take a lot. Did he get blocked? Uh, no, he didn't get blocked. He got, I think he got timed out by one of our moderators. I'm not going to name which moderator, but... Yes, he, it appears he has been timed out for 300 seconds. And I'm not saying which moderator it was, because I need to keep the anonymity of my mod team ever vigilant. You never know which one it's going to be, you know? So I'm not going to I'm not gonna bait him out. But we did have a timeout for three. And I didn't want to do it. I could have kept chatting with the guy all night. But this is what my moderators want. I got to trust their opinions. Now, no emotion is going to say, fuck all these mods, fucking bitches. But I can't, you know. Michael with the 200 Donkey Kong coins. Thank you very much, Michael, for the 200 Donkey Kong coins, baby. You got me there. So here's... No, I was just joking with you, Michael. I was just playing with you, man. I was just joking. I was just joking, Michael. Thank you very much for the 20, though. I appreciate it, the DKK. You didn't have to, Michael. I was just playing with you. Guys, can we get some love for Michael in the chat, though? Give him some love. Thank you for the, the Danish Krona, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Michael, Donkey Kong coins. Nice. Yeah, he's got that Danish Krona, baby. Um, yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Well, damn. Not, have a, not, not I have a Discord. Well, damn. Not I have a Discord message. I timed him. Blame it on me, says Russian bot. Donkey Kong coins. <laughs> yeah, Danish Krona. Mitnown er Dusthound. Mitnown er Michael. That's how you say my name is in Danish. That's the only thing I learned from... from what was her name again? Mia? Was her name Mia? I think it was Mia, right? Remember the girl we used to play scum with way back in the... I think it was Mia. Okay, she taught me some Danish. Um, I know a bit of... A bit you to drink there, tonight, so blame the booze. Hey, yo, listen, it uh, goes towards the channel. Michael, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Michael, this one's just for you, baby. Michael with the 200 DKK coins, baby. Let's get... I wish I had music for this. Bow, 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 That sounds more Swedish. What are you talking about? It's... Oh, wait, no, it's... It's Danish, isn't it? Mit navn er? My name is? How do you say my name is in your language? Huh? Uh, I know. Yes. No, how do you say my name is in, in Danish? How do you say it? Mia. She was cool. Mia Mia was a nice girl, yes. Mia was Mia was a nice girl. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Mit navn er. Yeah, mit navn er. Mit navn er. Navn. I thought it was mit navn er. Okay, I, whatever. It's close enough, Michael. That's what I was saying. Jeg or Dansk? That's different. Yow, yow, yow. Yow, let me put on my best Danish. Well, my father was your father. Your father. Well, I tried my best, Michael. Okay. Running from them. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Danish, Swedish, same, same, really, yeah? We already had this conversation, says Michael to Casey. I remember now. Yeah, there you go. B34. What is this? 58. B34. The four digit code.
I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. How do I get into like my journal section? 9676? 0742? Wait, we don't even... What do you mean? Why are you guys... What? 9676? 0742? What? I actually think he got that. Genuinely, I think he got that. I think what he did was he looked at the card and he went to B and then three and four or three and four and it was 96, 76, 69, 69, hashtag Groupon. I think he genuinely, Groupon, did you fucking genuinely get that? No way. What did the card say? That's why I need to know what the card said. Files, let me see. Slides, tutorials, files. Where's the card? Ninety six seventy six. No, he he was right. Yeah, yeah, that was what I was gonna do. But he beat me to it because he's super smart. No, no, he was he's he's right. Yeah, he's right. No, uh, Groupon. I was gonna snap on you. And you seen it in my face. I was gonna freak out on you. I tell you not to fucking but I I figured I do know my codes. Uh that's questionable. That's questionable, Groupon. Actually, I mean, I'd have to give him because he's he's just referencing the S S PC Foundation shit. That's well, that's the only thing he's referencing right now. But yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. You got it, you got it, okay. Surprised there wasn't more in here. Groupon, Groupon code. Looks like eating all those crayons paid off after all, eh, Groupon? Yes. That is right. Groupon the crayon muncher. I hope no motions is okay though. I worry about him now. Hope he's doing all right. Anybody else wor a little worried about no emotions? I kind of am like, Hope he doesn't feel bad. I don't know if that was the sp specific time in order to time him out, but I feel like he might be because we were making some progress and and uh, so calm now. Yeah, not really Russians now. Nah, I still like the guy. You know, I still give him a chance. I think he's all right. Uh, you know, I think I think he just got a little got a little heated in the moment there. I think, uh, I think he just got a little heated in the moment. Well, he messaged me and said I was dead to him. <laughs> Which one would do in such a situation, TVS? One would do. Arrest in pepperonis? Russian? Yeah. But now, now that, you know, Asha did say we got to... We gotta have a little discussion with, uh, uh, cause Asha's, Asha's a really nice gal. And if Asha said that Alpha Wolf sometimes gets a little alpha, you better, you better watch it now and stop being such a silly boy. And I'm not putting this on Asha, but it, you know, takes a lot for her to speak up. She's a very, very quaint, nice lady. 
And if she says that, you know, sometimes you get a little out of control, you got to watch yourself too. I mean, Ash is not the type of person to just come out of nowhere. So, Alpha, you got to be careful nowadays. Be careful. Be a nicer guy. Be a nice boy. I made uh, Alfredo. What's up? I've decided what to make scalloped potatoes for dinner. Oh, yeah. Scalloped potatoes. Nice, Toasty. Yeah. I hope he doesn't go and do some stupid drastic stuff. He's still a human being with emotions and feelings. I wish him well and hope he comes back with calmer and cleaner sense of conversation. Gertrude. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. I hope he's doing okay. Who is Alfredo? I'm devastated. It's this DVS girl. <laughs> no, you're not. Bring ice to my funeral. Bring ice to my funeral. You know what would make this conversation better? Arm wrestling. What was I watching? Oh yeah, the Arnold, the uh, not the Arnold, the um. This is uh, see this rocking in here? This is what happens when Alpha Wolf and Maureen get together after chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Alpha, open up. Maureen, you dirty dog. Whoa. Yeah, it was Norm McDonald ripping on Sly Stallone. Your time it is done now, says Mad Max. Why would you even open it? Because there's treasure inside. And I want to see what Maureen and Alpha are getting up to. Apparently, he's, they're bending each other over. Don't dead open inside. Don't dead open inside. MK. Classic. Dead open inside. Rocking, rocking, and rolling. These are the things I'm holding. Oh, I got that song stuck in from, uh. What's that old thing called? How do they get them back in there? You know what I mean? How do they get him in the back of that truck? Does this increase my overall health? No. Yeah, well, good to know there's a health kit back here. Zombies put themselves into a cage back there. That's awesome. What's up, Toasty? Pardon? You trying to throw things at me? Okay. Oh, putting socks on. Okay, I love you. We're going to have uh, food. Oh, you're gone. Okay. Mitchell and Sons Construction. Dude, there's a lot to explore in this game, and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. We went through here. Oh, the reason why I opened it though, Jordan, is because there's some goodies in there. Got to collect the goodies, man.
Hell yeah. Exploration kills the pacing though. First game you were moving from scene to scene in this part fails to do that oh 100 percent. yeah they like they turned it into like a last of us bullshit um but it, the game already started out very slow like the overall expectation of the game was was very slow cool lq clips and but you're right um the first game objectively felt a bit better the pacing was cool it felt more of like a resident evil style linear um good you know the story wasn't as great as Resident Evil. I, I I wouldn't say it's as great. It's harder to understand than Resident Evil. Um, the, the Evil Within. Whereas this now, they've opened it up a lot and made it very, uh, very slow. Very slow. Uh, but I, I'm still enjoying the experience. I, I still enjoy the exploring the town um, just from a gameplay point of view. But yeah, I kind of just washed it out as like a, a Last of Us kind of style. So it's, it's leaning less towards... Um, its own distinction with the evil within kind of being a resident evil style-esque and now it feels more distinct like a uh, last of us almost clone like exploration but I i'm still enjoying it i'm still enjoying it You know? But yes, I do believe the pacing got a little bit messed up in the transition to this newer style. I don't care. I ain't saying nothing more. Okay, no emotions. Yeah, welcome back, brother. Yeah, sorry about the timeout. Is one of my moderators, man. I can't control them. They're they're like their own little entity. Uh, it does have good parts still. Once you move past the exploration parts, especially till the end, get intense. Yeah, yeah. I can feel the game is still quite fun, but you can definitely tell um, stylistically they they put a different direction. They wanted to open it up, emphasize more of the exploration, the crafting. Um, the horror elements are a lot more slowly paced, but the, they're really exploring the combat mechanics a bit more. Being able to like craft these uh, these crazy weapons, um, you know, it, it's different. But as a game, as a standalone game, it's unique, and that is one thing that you got to remember with Capcom. They always strive to keep it fresh and unique. From a developer's point of view, I, I totally understand it. Um, I'm personally more. I have a more of affinity towards. Uh, the Evil Within 1, I love the way they did it, but that's because I love Resident Evil 4, the classic Resident Evil 4. I love the way they did that, so that's why I feel like that game was just, whew, whew, you know? Uh, I said my piece about what bothers me. Dusty, I explained to you in full on you the full on issue with everything. Check Discord when you have the time. Oh, yeah, I can see there. Yes, I will. I promise you no emotions. I will check it out, and I will get back to you at the appropriate time, my friend. I know we did kind of run off, and I and I don't I don't want to uh, be a bother in the sense like I'm not trying to put you on the spot or anything like that. To no emotions, you know, man. Um, so sorry if it did come off that way, and that goes to everybody, really. I know everybody's just stating their opinions, and let's not be um, let's not be rude about or cruel or harbor any hate or resentment towards anybody, any one of us, uh, all of those who participated and had a little bit of fun. Uh, quite interesting conversation and but yes, I will check out later on what exactly went down or what occurred in whatever other state Thank you brother. I hope you're doing okay Chicken and cheese schnitzel in the air fryer for lunch. Oh, baby. That's awesome. What kind of a bun are you having with it? Schnitzel I know what I'm gonna make for supper tomorrow. Is that what you're gonna have a schnitzel?
Evil Within 1 was very replayable. This one feels like a drag. Still, I'd like to see a third part someday. Um, I, I do feel like the replayability is here for a harder difficulty. Especially if you want to, you know, maximize on your investment, on your purchase. I'm really not sure how to get into this building. I don't know what else we can do here. I do, I do feel maybe the, it's not as incentivized. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I do believe this game would be fun to replay, I guess, right now. Like, eh, it seems okay. It doesn't seem half bad. I need to beat the game, really, though. Give us can talk as she wants of me being an issue. That's not cool. At least I don't lie topics. Lie topics of discussion. I don't think, I don't think the, uh, DBS was, uh, talking any less of you really she she was just stating simple you know simple things simple facts to her objective facts honestly don't think she was trying to like get at you at all uh, i and and like i said i don't know she's not she never once seems like the person to uh to really say anything that you haven't already said for yourself in your own words and and how your personality is i don't think she's specifically going out to say anything negative about you um, now some of the things you say might come off as negative, but I am okay with it. No emotions. Just to let you know, but I know how public perception can be a little bit like, you know, this guy is a little bit high strung over here is, but I have, I personally have nothing against you. Devouring a lemon poppy seed muffin right now. Susie Q. Now that is what I'm talking about. That sounds delish. I love lemon poppy seed muffins. You know what I'm a huge fan of, Susie? I don't know if you're from uh, the States or if you're from UK or Europe. I love lemon meringue pie. <gasps> Ooh, lemon poppy seed is amazing, though. Big Illusion, how could you? You are my brother in the Great Bagel Battle. We lost many, but you told me that you were a sworn enemy of the bread from that point on. The Bagel Battle, eh? When they, they took the bites. The Bagel Bites. They took my kids. My little bagel bites. <laughs> Susie Q, man, I love the. Oh, I know the lemon poppy seed. Oh. Can't find them around here anymore. Really, Asha? They're really easy to make. Uh, I sent a message to her of what was told to me by her groupies, so I blocked her on everything, even if she didn't say what's been said. Still, potential chance she involved in more than I know, so I'm done with that. <sighs> no emotions. Love you, buddy. I know we've had this discussion before, and what I told you. I'll quote myself again what I told you that time. I said specifically, and you guys will know exactly what I said. I said, don't go chasing waterfalls, my friend. Listen to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. And guess what you did, no emotions. Guess what you did. You went and you started chasing waterfalls. I told you. You didn't listen. And now all shit's going crazy. Have some cheesy bro. Oh, yes, dude. Cheesy broccoli casserole. Oh, baby. That's a nice one, too, man. That is a nice one. Any noodles in that one? <laughs> Fake illusions like, sorry, Gertrude, that's all I have left. Enjoy your supper. I was craving that yesterday, Alpha. Cheesy broccoli casserole. I don't want to make those. I want to sit and eat them after I buy them, okay? Who does lemon poppy seed muffins? I know, I think, does does Starbucks do lemon poppy seed loaf cake? I don't think it's the same thing. Damn, lots of drama tonight. Yeah, some call it drama, I just call it entertainment. Um, Haven't made a meringue pie in a long time, but now you got me thinking, Susie Q, get on it. Get on it, girl, get that meringue. I, I was so disappointed when Timmy's stopped selling the lemon poppy seed muffins. They did, yeah, I used to like the, uh, the explosion, fruit explosion muffins. Mm, mm hmm. Oh, that was good. Oh, it was with rice. Oh, Alpha. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be a friend because she was Portuguese as well. Turns out 
I can't be friends with out school girl BS. Uh, I think you just lower your expectations a little. You'll be all right. No emotions. Don't don't get too involved. You know, keep it platonic and everything's good. Don't get too involved. That's what I say. Don't go chasing waterfalls, man. Uh, Alpha Wolf, Dusty. Hey, Alpha. Schnitzel sounds like some you do say he sh shit and sneeze at the same time. You schnitzeled. Chasing waterfalls. Nah, I was just curious. I mean, I told you. The I, I told you. I said don't go chasing waterfalls, brother. It is what it is. Got my muffins at Kroger brand grocery store in the U.S. I don't know, Ash, do you have Kroger around where you live? These are definitely a great enemy. A great enemy. Come on, baby. Turn around for me. Turn around for me. <laughs> Turn around. Every now and then. Okay, I'll, I'll increase the process here. Turn around, skinny girl. One in the head. Turn around, skinny lady. Sounds like my dog's butthole. Wait, that's how your dog's butthole sounds? I think you gotta get your dog checked out, Jordan. Hey, didn't your dog run away? You got him back or her back? Oh, poor puppy. I remember that. Every now and then I fall apart. Is everyone calm now? Uh, no. It's never gonna be calm, man. It's never gonna be calm. However, there is a lemon loaf you can get at Food Basics for about six to seven. That's pretty close second. I don't think Asha has Food Basics. Uh, also, I don't care who blocked me, so don't worry about it. I, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I don't worry about anything that really happens in online internet chat stuff like no emotions I I have like a lot more. I don't mean to sound pessimistic or, or cynical or, or naive uh, I do think everybody is important, but I also don't really care about like, you know that like what happened tonight is just pure fun and entertainment for me um, I don't catch feelings. I don't harbor any like animosity towards anybody or their opinions or what they think There's people that hate my guts and I still love them and appreciate them for who they are so don't worry. It doesn't. It doesn't look poorly on your character. I don't prejudge you. Um, I treat you as how I treat anybody else. Uh, right here, right now. You know. Other than everybody else, I don't know. Asha, um, you don't have Kroger, yeah? Sp sorry, spelling is off. I can see out of one eye right now. It's not my good eye. I also have fat thumbs. I'm hornier than a college kid on spring break, but you don't see me complaining. Gertrude? Are you actually? Don't you, you have a girlfriend. Why don't you just go put your penis in her? Theme for this game was actually No Ordinary World by Duran Duran. I have to re-listen to that song, cool? Get a long island iced tea, it'll calm the pants right off you. Mmm. That stinks, Asha. I would assume Amazon sells them, but uh... If not from freshly... Baked, not as good, yeah. I second that, Michael. A Long Island Ice Team. I had a feeling I was going to get blocked based on many mods sack riding alpha. I don't think there was mods sack riding alpha, to be honest. I don't think one of my mods was sack riding alpha. I, th I think a majority of the people here never even knew what was going on. Never, like, literally here, I think all of my mods did not even know what any of this was about. They were just dealing with that, the, uh, I guess maybe the escalation when you might have said, I think I caught something about something about like raw, horny sex, something like that. And, was, and then one of my mods is like, okay, that's enough. But um, I don't think anybody was sack riding alpha. Any mods wise. And we found out that um, 
Alpha needs to be a bit, a bit, we, you know, we learned tonight. Alpha needs to be a bit better of a boy. He needs to, he needs to calm his fucking shit down sometimes. Alpha Wolf, apparently. See, not here. I've never had the issue here. But f from what we've heard, I think Alpha needs to calm down a little bit sometimes. With the ladies. So we've learned this. But I've never had an issue with him really on here. In other places, though. Because you know how Alpha is. He likes to get away with other stuff in other places. But he knows once he comes here, he's like, okay, I got to put on my big boy shoes. Can't be fucking around in Dust Town's channel because you know he'll ban my ass. Uh, but nothing like freshly baked. You got to have it freshly baked, Asha. Lemon muffins. Lemon poppy seed muffins. Oh, my God. Especially when they're moist, super juicy, and then you have a nice cold glass of chocolate milk with them. Oh, my God. The fuck was that sound? Delish. Uh, I do have a girlfriend and she lets me. Uh, but again, you don't hear me complaining. <laughs> what, Gertie? There's another stream I'm uh, I'm on in Twitch for years and years. And everybody's profile you click on. We've all had at least multiple timeouts and bands because of how often we get drunk and talk shit. Oh, really, MK? Nice. I was taking the piss out of uh, the 55-year-old part. But I was joking. I uh, didn't time anyone out this time. No, no, no. No. Um, moist. Oh, Dusty, don't ever use that again. Ew. Gross. Ew. Freshly baked moist lemon poppy seed muffins in my mouth. Yes, dude. You know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. What do we got here? What's happening? Women's Journal, the final entry on this diary penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it, but I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. I can hear those terrible, horrible things outside. They're everywhere. I'm afraid to go out there. I'm afraid to stay in here, too. I'm shivering, but it's not from fear. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? It's freezing. Just making sure I search everything in here, right? Like, yeah, you can't hide anymore in this game. So whatever it is, we can't see it. There's gonna be something here that we're not gonna be able to see. Sebastian, how did it know my name? <laughs> what Whoa. the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening, dude? Are you the chick from the last game? Holy shit, dude. It's coming for me. I gotta get out of here. Holy shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks very similar to the yeah, same woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that I can I can agree with. No emotions. She's very similar to the last one from the first one. The other one, the very first one, I I was kind of a bit skeptical about that. I'd have to look, There's but that one some way to get out of here. pretty pretty close, like almost a spitting image. I 
don't see any like cards lying around. So we're gonna have to go through where that door is. Yeah, this lady here, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. But you mentioned it previously. Where is she? She's on the other side here. Over there. Trying to serenade you and touch your pee pee. <laughs> nice, Jordan. <laughs> I'm just trying to read chat here. Let me get through this section. But I do see Alpha Wolf is trying to say hi to Asha. For some reason, I don't think Asha wants to say hi to you. She might she I think you're a little upset with you. Did what did you do, Alpha? What did you do? Why were you why were you being mean to her? I hope you should apologize, Alpha. I believe you should apologize. Whoa. Did I just imagine that? No. You did. That was it was a flashback. What was that thing? Was that real or all in my mind? Make you some food and wake you up at 3 a.m. to have some. Some pancakes? Yeah, we got a slide. We got a photo. I would never, if she is, I'm sorry, but I gotta know what I'm sorry for. Uh, that's true, I guess. Well, she said uh, sometimes you get a little... Get a little crazy. You calm down. Said hi earlier, I just wasn't reading chat, says Asha. Okay, okay. She said, you're a wild man and you're crazy. Today is 3 a.m. Scalloped potatoes. Mm. Dusty, I think she just ignores him because his behavior in other chats. But I stayed out of Brian's chats due to Alpha and his sex chatting. Alpha, you sex chatting mother trucker. I don't know what it is. I, I really can't speak. Um, I honestly don't. That's between that's between them two, but if Asha is a little uh, Asha is a kind person, and if she's a little upset, so it's probably like you know something to look into. But I think everything's okay. She seems to be okay. Bring me some toast. Do you want some, dude? She makes really good scalloped potatoes. I, I'm I'm not really gonna lie. I know. Sorry for that, Dusty. Yeah, yeah. I I guess. I guess it is what it is. I mean, see, the thing is, is like everything happens. Maybe something happens somewhere else, right? And then you guys, because you know, a lot of a lot of you guys. Obviously, Brian has raided me, and I love Brian Menard. But every it's it's a it's a big chat with a lot of people, right? So some of those people come over here, and maybe something happens over there that I don't know of. It's some inner goings, and that's fine. But it's never happened on my channel, uh, and it's nobody's fault at all. But obviously, you know. It's never happened here, so I can't say anything. 
But I think for all intents and purposes, wow, that guy's going crazy over here. I think for all intents and purposes, we are okay over here. Workbench. Rogues rogue signal. Alpha Wolf says, Ash, I'm on your shit list. I have uh, done anything to you that it that has wronged you. See, I don't know. I don't want to put Ash on the spot either. She doesn't seem like the type of person to really want to go out and just say, you know, all of this stuff. Whatever it is, I'm sure she's doing whatever she wants to do. I would hate to put anybody on the spot, Alpha, in a public place. But it is a good opportunity in a safe environment for her to say what's been bugging her. If there is something in regards to you. Ash is a very decent individual who does, doesn't involve herself in anything. She's quiet, minds her own business. The time she talks is polite, hence why, why there's no issues with her. That's what I would assume, yeah. And maybe she might not want to uh, say anything. And that's her prerogative. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, we got the girl's voice. Rogue signal. Yeah, we'll go for that rogue signal. No, no, I want to clear it up here. I don't know. I don't know if here's the best plot. It's not up to me, man. Uh, I'm heading off. My eye is burning up. I get it when I look at my phone screen too long. Have a good rest stream. Enjoy. Bye. See ya, Groupon. Have a good night. Love ya. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Peace, peace, buddy. Back in the days of Icarus. Good night, Groupon. Yeah, no emotions. I don't know. Going to bed too. Take care, everyone. Dusty, uh, still early in the game. Take your time and have fun. That's literally what I'm doing. Yeah, cool. I'm just chilling. Yeah, brother. Have a good one, man. Well, we're going to wrap it up in like 10 minutes anyways, so don't worry. You guys aren't going to be missing much. I think we went in there already, didn't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, cool. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Good night, my friend. Happy batch. Yeah, happy birthday to you, Groupon, as well. Happy birthday. Asher says, night. Anyone else read Groupon's nine night as nine inch nails? Nine inch nails? No. Nobody but you. Uh, I don't think we found any more people from the team. The only person we found are the leader and uh, the guy who looks like Red from that 70s show, apparently. Or the guy from Alien. So only two people so far. And we've been exploring and grabbing a lot of stuff, so nobody yet. Don't forget the games also. Oh, yeah, I gotta get the games. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Groupon. Oh, we'll get that after I'm done. Back there, he should go over here. <laughs> Slip in, William. Thank you for the five. The evil within Dust Town. That's right, William. William, how you doing, man? Thank you for the five dollar donation, brother. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Will. How you doing tonight, bro? Oh my god. You gotta watch out next time. Yo, dude, I seen a face on her back, by the way. When I went to stab her, 
If you slow it down, there's a face on her back. Look. You don't believe me? Look at this. See? That's a human face. There's the eyes. There's the nose. And there's the mouth. And it's forming out of her back. It's a little stretched, but it is there. Crazy, right? William, thank you very the much for the five. Dust Hound. The evil within Dust Town. That is right. William, I hope you're having a wonderful night, man. Thank you very much for the support with the channel. Thank you for the help. That's what I sound like trying to get out of bed. Rah, 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 rah. Rah, 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 rah. But yeah, we should be grabbing the stash, which is over here somewhere. 30. We are getting closer. 25. Should be right around here. Down there, right. Down there, right. What? Where are we going? Here we go. I mean, this is another operative, but he's nothing like, he's not important to the story. I'm gonna go in here. This game is freaking fun, though. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Can't get in there. Uh oh, is this a camera? Ah, uh, here we go. You know how to use the computer to get down there, right? You know how to use the computer to get down there, right? What? You're not going with me? No time. I'm heading to the auto body shop to get some supplies. Meet me at the visitor center when you're done. The visitor center? Why? I told the survivors I found earlier to go there and hide out. I Hashtag William Grant. Give him some love in the chat. Thank you, Mad Max. I appreciate it. Give him some love in the chat. Painful groans. Tonight was eventful, says Alpha Wolf. Yeah, it was definitely, uh... We had, a, we had some talks. I watched Expendable 4s this morning. Didn't even know they had a fourth movie. Yeah, I seen it on, uh... What was it? On Amazon or Netflix? I seen it. I was gonna watch it. I ended up watching, um... Jason Statham. He did a movie. Shit, what was it called now? There was War. I watched that one, but there was another one. I can't remember what the hell it's called now. Anyways, um... But this morning, I ended up watching an Angry Joe review of Battlefield 2042 and uh, Gears of War. You can actually watch a whole bunch of like cutscenes. It's like a movie of Gears of War. I watched that this morning. But yeah, I do want to watch uh, Expendables. Uh, they're, they're super fun. Night Beekeeper, though. No. Just enjoying the stream while at work. Yo, dude, William, I appreciate it so much, man. Thanks for the support. Thank you for the five. Every little bit helps out. So thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day at work. Um, we're definitely going to rock this series every... Every Friday, so every Friday we're going to be doing The Evil Within until we finish it. Now, I will admit today was a bit slack on the gameplay. We mostly had fun in chat and just uh, just vibing and shit, talking some shit. Um, but next Friday, I'll try to keep it as, as best I can. I'll try to keep Expendables 4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Expendables 4. I'll try to keep it as um, smooth, streamlined as I can. But sometimes I just like to have fun in chat, so it is what it is. But there's plenty more in the future, so don't worry. Huh. This computer's still working. Oh, you're trying to find out the movie that I watched. No. What the? One sec.
I honestly can't remember. I got a whole bunch of Jason Statham movies stuck in my head now. But the one I keep coming back to is that movie called War with Jet Li. But there was another movie. I can't remember the name of it. The one with Jet Li. Uh, does that have Jason Statham in it, though? The one doesn't have. Does it? He was in that one? He Was he in the one? I'm excited for the Fallout series to come out on the 12th. Yeah, and I think they're releasing it with like a bunch of episodes too, so we can just binge the fuck out of it. Newer or older? Eh, it's a bit older. I just can't remember the name of it. Can't even remember the plot line now. He was, okay. He was a fucking... He was a, a fighter. Turned out he was like a crazy, cruel CIA operative, and the Chinese and the Russians wanted a code, and like he had to defend this, find this girl, and defend this Chinese girl, because she got shipped from China to like say this code to the safe. Home front. There you go. Okay. Okay. Home front. Yeah. Safe. What's up? There's a safe that I missed. Did I miss a safe? Asha? No? Muppet Treasure Island, yes. The movie's called Safe? Is it? Is that the one? Okay, because Alpha's saying home front, and you're saying safe? Special force. He was, uh, originally he was a fighter. He was just a fighter. And then you find out later on that he used to be like a cop, but he was like a badass super cop. Safe. It's on one of the streaming apps. DA agent. Now, okay, this is the plot line. He was originally a fighter. He didn't. He punched a guy that was a fucked up fight. He punched a guy. The guy got knocked out. It wasn't supposed to happen. The Russian mob lost a bunch of money. They killed his wife. Um. Then he was like homeless on the streets. He's gonna kill himself on a train station. This Asian lady. Uh, this Asian young girl. No, it doesn't have James. It's called safe. I believe Asha. I, Alpha, I think you're full of shit. I believe Asha. They, it had a safe in the movie, so it makes sense. I'm out, boys and women. Have a good night. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's 8, eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. That's it for us, too. That's it for us, too. Uh, okay, We can't save it. Okay, let's get to the next. Let's try to save it here. We need a save point. Jordan is distracting me. It's called safe. I think Asha's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it makes more sense. I don't know, because there's no autosave feature. I don't know if I can just leave it here. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes more sense. It's called safe. Because the movie was about a combination, and then that combination turned out to be for a safe. Stay at the movie. Huge fan. Yeah. That's a decent movie. But yeah, I want to see The Expendables again. I wouldn't mind watching it. Broken fuse box. Powered momentarily by firing a shock bolt and a warden crossbow in them. Oh, okay. 
I don't really have one of those, but I can try to make it, I guess. Can I craft bolts in this one? Shit. Unless there's one lying around here somewhere that I just don't know of yet. You gotta be able to craft them, no? Can't do anything. That was a waste of a of an axe. Okay, I gotta figure out now. Field crafting. So what's the point on doing this? If this already opens up. I guess we'll have to figure that out. Whoa, what's this? Handgun bullets? Okay. It's always a flesh. Shotgun? Hell yeah. Nice. I'll take it. Yes, sir. I definitely will. Uh, that's going to be two, and that's going to be three. Yes, sir. It's about fucking time. Crank 2 is more comedy. Yo, Crank 2 is good, though. You know what's a nice, like, good action movie is, uh, and comedy, too, kind of, is, um, <gasps> Hardcore Henry. Nobody wants to watch Muppet Treasure Island. That's the best one. <sighs> I don't know about that one there, Gertie. Full ammo for that. One of these days. <laughs> Crank 2 high voltage. You were disappointed by it? I don't remember that one. <laughs> oh, so I guess there was no real reason to open that. I don't hear it in that range. Oh, yeah, it gave you a headache, eh? Asha, yeah.
Fine. Have it your way. I can do it like that. Let me go back and grab those other shotgun shells then. You bastards. What? Reload. There we go. Crack open a cold one. Transport is transport is pretty good. Yeah, I love that one. I, I actually genuinely like transport. It's a really good series. Um. Corner, corner say Alf. That's what corners. Crack open a cold one. Dude is a savage fighter, bad Asa. Asa? Huge fan of martial arts, saw so him kicking ass, of course. It's all stage. Actually a full on martial artist, so I'm like, yo, I'm a fan. Oh, is is uh yeah? I mean he does a good job. Just in general, the movies are fun, they're entertaining. Um I didn't know if he was or not. But yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, apparently he does some form of martial arts. Jason Statham. Comes with the territory, I guess, with the job, right? That's cool. Hmm. Yeah. No emotions? Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Cor corona coroners? Corners? Corner safe? Crack open a cold one? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, you're fucked. Corners, corners say crack open a cold one, Gertrude? Corners? Corners say crack open a cold one. Yes, you got it. Dead body joke. Yeah. So that computer just teleported me to Narnia. That was fun. 322 Cedar Avenue. I want to rock down to 322 Cedar Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. What the fuck was that? Not today, demons. Not today. Not to fucking day. It's kind of a free axe over there. You corners, edges, obtuse hexagons. Who cares, Gertrude? <laughs> it's funny. Isosceles triangles do. Oh, they do, Alpha. They do. <laughs> Either a dead body in a freezer joke or sex with a dead cold body joke. Either way, messed up. <laughs> you always take. You always find a way to take it to a whole nother level, eh? No emotions. We always bring it to a whole nud level. 
every single time. You never fail to disappoint, my friend. Okay, we are going to go to weapon upgrades because I want to see what I can do with this shoddy. Uh, ammo capacity. Yes. Handgun. Okay. Not enough weapon parts. Again. They keep dead bodies in freezers. Yes. <laughs> Nasty no emotions. So who actually knows the joke? I just didn't get the complete joke. Was assuming what it meant. Oh. Do you still have the Alpha Wolf block? Maybe that's why. It's going to be hard to follow. So, um... <laughs> Let me explain everything twice. Gertrude made a comment, uh, first Alpha Wolf said, crack open a cold one, then Gertrude says, that's what corners say. I misread it and said, that's what corners say. He said, no, Dust, not corners, corners. And I said, oh, like, you know, corners. And then he's it's talking about isosceles triangles and different shapes because corners, triangles, rectangles. So that, that was presented then. There's a back and forth between corners, edges, obtuse, hexagon. Who cares? Gertrude said Alpha. And, and then Gertrude said, the isosceles triangles care. Oh, they do care. And then we started to get into that. And then you said either a dead body or a freezer joke. A sex with dead cold body joke. Either way, it's messed up. And uh, it, was, it was a joke about corners or coroners. The people who open dead bodies. Which, just, I mean, yeah, it's messed up. But it's a part of life. Anyways. That's the end of my story. I am done for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we're going to be less chatty on... Um, you know, I haven't talked this much since the, the Sunday streams. Sunday, we do have um, a member stream, okay? I did save it there, right? Sunday, we have a member stream, so don't forget. That's way more uh, chat on Sunday. 1524, 915, yeah, we're good. Sunday is the member stream. Uh, but I talked a hell of a lot for tonight for a public stream. I'll tell you that. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Consider subscribing if you want to. Um, thank you, everybody, for the donations tonight. Anybody who contributed. Wait, what did I miss? Solar Island? Nothing much. Uh, Solar, I hope you're having a lovely night. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody, for contributing, like I said. Um, so those donations really do help out to the channel. I just want a special thanks. You know, um, MK. Thank you very much for the donation. Michael Vaughn, thank you for the five gifted members. Uh, Michael Sondergaard, thank you for the 200 Danish krona. Um, I hope he's sleeping by now. And William Grant, thank you for the five as well. And like I said, and I think it was George G dropped a one gifted member earlier, and I can't remember who else. Reason Dixon, thank you for the 10. Uh, so a bunch of you guys contributed tonight, and thank you all very kindly. Don't forget, Sunday is going to be a member stream. So 3 p.m. or 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will have a posting out for a VIP members-only stream. So if you are a member to the channel, if you're not a member, it's $4.99 a month. You can become a member if you want. It's very cheap, and it helps support me on YouTube. I do this full-time. This is a full-time thing. You can join us for the Sunday member streams where we just chat and chill. No games are played. We talk about games. We talk about a bunch of stuff, but it's pretty much my time with you guys and the people who support the channel. I devote all my time towards you three hours a day on Sunday, and we cover a load of topics and just chat nonstop for three hours straight. So tune in on Sunday if you want to be a part of that. You want to chill and have a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with me. Other than that, Monday to Friday streams are all going to be based on gameplay and a little bit of chat in between. Today was heavy on the chat. I do apologize. It doesn't happen too often. But man, what juicy, juicy stuff happened tonight. You can go back and watch it all here live on the Dust Down channel. Thank you very much. Um, Solar Island. Yes, a whole lot happened. Asha, MK, cheers. Have a good night, man. No emotions. Have a good night. Uh, Alpha Wolf, have a wonderful evening. I hope you two can resolve your issues in the future. 
although I'm highly doubtful of it. Uh, but I really do hope you will. Um, Susie Q, thank you very much. Gertie Gertz, Solar Island. When's heavy rain? Heavy rain's probably going to be on Monday. I think Monday. Uh, ladies and gents, have a wonderful evening. Take care, okay? I love you guys. Bye. See you Sunday. Mwah. We'll talk more on Sunday, Solar. And um, yeah, love you guys. See ya. Thank you.